my nano weave after making them into truffles. Uh, darn. Yeah. You wanted to try the god shrooms? I mean, clearly it's going to take some deific level drugs for me to actually get to experience what it is that you enjoy on a daily basis. But those are like god shrooms. You're not a god yet. We can. We I mean, can... no, but I fully expect it to kill me and then I come back from it. Who like, knows? You might people... get on a spirit trip and never be able to come back. Your body just might become an empty shell. Um, we can an empty just shell. like I mean I can pull magic four four magic mushrooms out of my backpack every day. We can just keep feeding you mushrooms until something happens. You don't have to murder yourself to do it. Well, no, I mean, that's the thing is that some of my people used to murder themselves as a form of psychotropic. But I mean, like, you don't have to. We can just Maybe. go about this a normal way. When has normal ever been in our Ballywick? Um, when did normal Ballywick. people even use the word Ballywick? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure Ballywick. in new threat terms that was a fairly normal psychedelic trip I, I went on last time. I Ballywick. It, it might be. Uh, I've seen it spelled both ways, so logically it could be pronounced both ways. I'm going to put ten wards of protection on my plant. All right. Jesus. This is the safest fucking plant in the multiverse, Morty. Not even we're going to fuck with this plant, Morty. <laughs> It'd be dumb. You see all those protection wardings? Something so stupid your little friend Jessica might think of it. We know better, Morty. We're geniuses over here. We're going to stay the fuck away from it. <laughs> Ten drinks later. Come on, Morty, we're going to steal the tree. Allie, can you confirm that idea. these are the uh, the ones you have? Why? I also want to know what they do mechanically. I'm I'm pr I'm pretty sure we just go into battle and they do things. Um, I don't have po oh, there's poison resistance. Why are they out of order, John? I just copy pasted them from where they uh, were in the Discord. He has copied the pasta. Control C that V. Why don't I just copy paste them from where I have them? Sure. In my character sheet. Sure. Maybe I should have done that in the first place. I should have said, Allie, what are your talismans? Now I'm doing it now. Your, Thank you for doing it for me. Talismans? My Allismans. All the king's horses and all the king's Allismans. <laughs> I apologize for nothing. I, okay. think I, I think I spelled some things wrong. Surprise! You spelled surprise wrong? My gods have given me the grand power of invisibility and stealth. And that is why wherever evil lurks, I shall be not and then shall be. And that is why I have been dubbed by ne'er-do-wells across the land as Surprise! Okay, cool. Um, I just imagine us, like, looking like space marines with all these fucking talismans on us. We are loaded. He played himself. We got damn 12 campaigns in. Chapter champions over here. If Children, if you don't quit sounding like you're murdering each other, I'm going to murder all of you as a matter of course. Ooh. It only makes sense. Child. The child. So. What yes. is the plan? The plan is for you to get in roll 20. Shada, can you log me into roll 20, please? <laughs> <laughs> Zero. 
the second part of that plan is to figure out what these talismans do. I mean, I think they're pretty self-explanatory. Like resistance-wise, they're plus ten, same as the talent. Um, I don't know what resist against uh, talismans gets mind control does. I don't know if it's like a strong-minded. Um, it could just be a plus ten against that sort of thing as well. Magic resistance, I'm sure it's a plus ten. Talismans for sneak, is that also a plus ten to uh, the sneak roll? What is talisman for good vibes? It's just like you get like a. We just vibe real well. Real well vibes. And just you just really you just really good at vibing. Does talisman for fatigue like uh, get rid of your first fatigue you get once it's used? It just burns away. Same with curse resistance. I'm pretty sure these are one-time uses too, right? Well, no, basically she pre-made a bunch of these so that later on when we ran into these things, she could, like, yeet them at us and be like, you're protected from that. Well, she already gave us all kinds. Yeah, I gave you each one, and then I've got I, I've got them on quick draw if you need another one. But, like, yeah, we don't even know what they're going to do yet, so. From a girl. And then Allie can put these beside them so she knows what they do. And we just know to double them because of the fire team stuff. Yep. Trinkets, man. They're gooch. They're gooch. Darling beloved, you are pro tomato, correct? Okay. I don't know. These are things that I just... So, like... So, like, like this. Is this an appropriate level of tomato? Cool. All right. We're cooking. Cool. All right. Kick it. <laughs> Check it. Yo, kick it. Um, oh, hey, Riggs. Sorry for smashing the guitar last night. Whoa. It's just like new. How does he do that? Yeah, I'll try not to smash it so much this time. <laughs> All right, yeah. I mean, is this some Bill and Ted? No. No? Okay. Uh, this, uh, did you ever play a game by this little band, or this little group called uh, Double Fine? No. Nope. It was called Brutal Legend. Brutal Legend. Reminds me of the Brutal guitar legend. one. It's uh, uh, Jack Yes, that's that's the one. That's the game. <laughs> that's the one you're thinking of. Um, Brutal Legend. All right, Matt, are you still alive? You still with us? I am. Uh, Alex is in the chat. Uh, oh, he's on the The F in the chat. That's me, homie. Oh, too good. Rocks fall. Oh, good. I'm impervious to rocks fall. Everyone die. Matt, do you like, like need an hour to have a power nap here, or are you okay? Um, uh, no. Just need to wait for my tea. Okay, I'll wake you up. Yeah, got strong. Brewing some strong black tea. Does it got to be a strong black tea? Because it needs to be powerful. Uh huh. That's fair. As long as it has a fro. Um, no, it doesn't. I made my second cyberpunk character. Mm -hmm. And uh, was really tempted. Really tempted as soon as I saw Danny's fro as a hair option to make Danny sex bang. I see. It would have been glorious. Unfortunately, you just can't make your character tall enough. Mm, yeah, it's going to be nice when the mods are up for PC. They can do some more character creation. Yeah. I was expecting more from character creation, to be honest, but different you priorities, know, I guess. Like I said, they did really well for the game that they had. Um, I definitely feel like there's going to be some patches in the future. Oh yeah, no, uh, they do free DLC for a lot of the stuff, and then big expansions. So I'm expecting the same. 
Me too. Uh, I don't know why the fuck people are suing them because PlayStation are fucking whiny bitches. Yeah, this is the first, I wouldn't say of its kind, but like every other game, a lot of them have been like this and they haven't been this butthurt over it. No, so. no, it's because people want to fuck with CDPR because they're trying to, you know, have some fucking integrity in the industry. Yeah. And uh, they can't stand the idea of it. It makes me mad. I'll plant some weeds in their yard. Hire their gardener not to dig them up. Can you get a trash bag? They're right there. I just... Nope, no trash bags. Shut it, you! Quiet, you! Did anybody ever find out? I don't know if anybody ever, anybody else here ever watched Futurama. Did y'all realize how powerful the engine on the freaking uh, the Express was? I never really thought about it per se, but I mean, it was definitely <clears throat> space worthy, as they'd say. Well, there's a whole there's a whole thing. Um, if you look at it in the first episode, where they go from gr from the ground into orbit in like three seconds, two seconds. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's long. Um, and then later on, the 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 kid, the chubby kid, who's like a clone of the doctor of the professor. Okay. <laughs> uh, at one point, has a realization. The yeah, the professor had a clone. Uh, that was basically like his kid, uh, but he was a really shitty parent. Uh, surprise, surprise, right? <clears throat> but the clone at one point is like, no, no, no. The engine doesn't move the ship. That'd be too normal for the professor. This engine moves the whole universe around the ship. That's why it's capable of doing what it's doing. The ship's just got to be tough enough to have the whole universe pushed against it lightly. <laughs> Did not know that. Before he gets in his face. All right, so we're continuing past the Fountain of Runes. Fountain of Runes? You have met a big... big, yeah. big Fountain of Runes? Big fuck-off door? Yeah. All right, let's go kick it down. Let's make that blue drink like the Chosen Undead and kick it down. We could try Sorry. opening it. It's dirty. Is there any uh, ruins or anything um, uh, descriptive upon the uh, the door? Ruins? No, no ruins. Oh, that wasn't just me. Okay. You mean carvings, designs? Anything detailed? Yeah. What does the door look like? Um, it is one of those doors you would find in some sort of in like a church it has um uh kind of a angelic comes from down uh, from on high and then grants blessings to those below. But the faces of all of them have been chiseled off. The faces of the angels or the people getting blessed. Both. Oh well, damn. Sounds like some face steel bullshit. Sounds like um, a faceless door. Why don't you try opening it then? Okay, I'm gonna open the door. No. I'm gonna push it. No. I'm gonna pull it. No. Oh, I'm gonna kick it real hard. Ouch. Oh. I'm gonna steal the door's face. No. I'm a Nova Bomb it. Don't Nova Bomb it. We're close. I'm going to serve it some tea. 
Back up, I'm a Nova bombing. No. <laughs> I'm going to draw a smiley face in the place of one of the ones that's carved off. <clears throat> um, just, just with what? Your, your sharp knife? Uh, yes. Just going to, just, just going to. Well, now just the scratch. door is, now the door is bleeding. Why did you do that? <laughs> the door is bleeding. Yeah. Can, can right. I do a Medicaid on the door? Yes, please I think do. the door wants you... a mask, guys. Yeah, I think so, too. Fuck that. I think it wants a Medicaid. <sighs> no. Aha! Nice. Okay. Pretty weird, Holmes. Door's bleeding and shit. All the shit we've seen so far, this is the thing that weirds me out a little. Uh, so it seems alive. That's interesting. Uh, um, I give it some gentle pats. Yeah, you pat it. Pat the door. The door I'm, uh, I'm going to get warm, and then I'm going to command it to open. Sure. Mm, nothing really happens. Hmm. So you said it. You thought it wanted a mask. Yep. I think I have some white mask. There's some, yeah, some white masks in here. Somewhere okay. in my giant bag of stuff. Oh this is why I was afraid to put my tree in here. Pull the tree up. Yeah, I will. I will pull out my tree while I dig through my bag of stuff to look for masks. Have you asked the tree if it can provide any useful input on this door? Um. I have not tried to communicate with my tree yet. Yeah, I have two masks of solidarity. You I'll, see hand, I'll hand one to Folly. I'm going uh, I'm to try and put the mask of solidarity on the door. Uh, where? Uh, the angel in place or the lower of... ones? Let's try the angel. Why not? In place of a face. A face place. Okay. Um, the mask, uh, upon touching it, disperses into particles. Orange particles. Oh, neat. Fluidium, I'm assuming. Or something like it. I'm going to do the one who wears the mask on the door. Let's see what the guy sketcher is God telling me. Damn about. it. Okay. Ooh. Nothing. What'd you oh roll? My. 93. It wasn't good enough. Uh, yeah, not good enough, sir. I'm going to check out its karma. Okay. Door is evil as fuck, yo. I wanted to do something on the particles, but I'm sure. Uh, uh, whatever. Current law, 19, 7 degrees. Um, the door has neither good nor evil karma. It is true neutral. Or is a door. You have found a door. I'm going to tell the door a joke. What's the joke? 
when is a door not a door? When it's a jar. Cha cha cha. Oh. A lock appears on the door that wasn't exited previously. Fuck! You get close to it. It opens up a panel and a, and a boxing glove with a spring <laughs> pops out. Bats you over the head. Damn. Is this canon right now, or should I be scared? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is just... Yeah. So, uh, we know the masks are doing something. Uh, particles, uh, are they still in the air? Or have they dispersed? What's what's happening uh, with those? No, the door has absorbed them. The door yeah, has cool. absorbed them. I push on the door. Nope. I pull on the door. Nope. And the particles have finished absorbing into the door. Uh, one of the faces has a white mask on it. The angel. Mm -hmm. The person receiving the blessing below still has no face and is still scratched up. I figured. <clears throat> how, how many faces are there? There's two total. Two? Well, should I give up my last mask? Last mask of solidarity. Solidarity. Might as well. Yeah, she has a better I, one. I have my green one. Okay. You want to give it that one? Yeah, I got a cool tree last time, so I figure this is fair. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll give it. I'll give you my. I'll, I'll, no, I want to put it on this time. I'm going to put the mask of solidarity. On the other person. Okay. Do it up. It disperses into orange particles. And slowly uh, uh, formulates a mask on the guy's face. Oh, 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 oh. As expected. Um, now I'll push on the door. Well, that wasn't over outright. No. No, that's. Well, that's... I'm finding a thing. Yeah. You okay. guys are super cool. The angel oh, and supplicant come to life and start beating us to death. Fuck. I sure hope not. I would be overjoyed. Yes. So we know some things require fluid in them in order to move. That's good to know. Uh, excuse me. Mm. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Apologies. Too much fizzy water early in the day. Oh, I love fizzy water. I know, right? Powerful, powerful stuff there. Apparently, I drink it wrong and it goes up my nose. Oh, oh. well, I'm mm. going to stop drinking mm. it with your nose then. Yeah, <laughs> nose bad. It's really Can hard. I don't naughty. know how you guys do it. We'll snort champagne by candlelight. It's a mansion party. Hey, man, that tiger's super tight. Ew. Not like that. Sicko! <clears throat> it's a sad day indeed. Can't even talk about a tiger being cool as shit. Dude got a joint in his mouth and everything. I'm too busy. Thinking perversion. What? I think I'll put a joint in my mouth after this session. Oh, yeah? yeah. What joint are you going to put in your mouth? Some lemon something. Some lemon something. Ba, 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 ba. No, that, that's... Lemon skunk, probably. That's, uh, that's going to be a three from the Russian judge there, Jazz. Good try, though. No. No, go was in it, but I mean, right now, I feel like you should go. Otherwise, I'm going to have to eat some cheese at you, because that was really bad. You want to scream at some cheese? Think about your failure? Okay. 
I'm not sure how this child was born without a sense of humor, but I mean, we'll get a transplant one. I mean, one of those. I mean, I might. Johnny, that is to say, Commander Johnny is suggesting that we just engrave it into her skull. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> How old is she? I lost my sound She's effect. Uh, we were going to sit here until I find my sound effect. I see how it is, Matt. I know. It's leaking out of your ears some days. <laughs> Yeah, usually ten year olds are pretty funny. So No, she's uh, if you were like funny. if you were like she's thirteen, I'd be like, that makes sense. But what happened? What did she put in his hair? We're gonna have my sound effect. Okay, I'm so we'll happy wash his I found face. one of the two that I'm supposed to have. <clears throat> And I'm better. We'll wash his face. Wash it. It is no longer. We're going to listen to some partial music while we wait. Partial music. Go listen to the music. Is that like the instrumental screen. with the, the vocals? Or like what is Sitting partial music? We're going to listen Grand to some music. Magazine. Yes, we are. Okay. With a Tuesday. This is it, pal. Root Canal. Root Canal. That's a weird L song. Oh, yeah. Nice. He is a gem in our society. I know, right? He's he's the purest oh of creatures. Sorry. Well, it's either cold or smoke, and one of those will kill you, and the other will just make you unhappy. No. No, they'll kill you. I'm sorry, dear. The weak flesh must be purged. Iron is the only way. Iron and fire. Are you dancing? Kind of. My fingers are. I guess I am dancing if my body's moving. In a way that goes with the beat, right? That's how that works. That's that's so. literally how dancing works. That's the definition of dancing: is <laughs> yep. moving your body in time Except to a, a, a musical piece or beat. That's literally how dancing works, Holmes. Mm-hmm. Yo, man, that tag is super Instead tight. Instead, it's in the state of my fingernails. Why? What have they done to you? Which state are they in? They're, wanna... like, chipped and covered and not even covered, like, dabbed with half chipped off polish. So, West Virginia. Um, That's the state of your nails. Do you want to okay. tell them about your uh, your cancer device and why you can't I, use that anymore? I, I think I already have. He okay. already knows about that. This is just a continuation of the saga. Look how short this one is now. You just flipped me off, that's all. <laughs> ah! it's teeny tiny. It hasn't been that Don't tiny. Don't flick him off. He only months. He only wants off. the best for you. No, no, no. He wants the best of her. I can see how you'd get that confused. I guess, I guess that'll be it for the uh, the wonderful. The best of you. Yeah, good session, Matt. Thanks. Thanks for uh, you know <laughs> letting us play. <laughs> you are all welcome. This oh, man, hey, man, I want my special sound effects, and unfortunately, sometimes my. Oh, I mean, you, you tell me what those sound effects are, Matt, and I'll make them. <laughs> I'm already. I found them. Oh, okay. We're good. We're good. A minute Let's after my services, you find a game. reason to refuse. So yeah, I had, had him. I had him. And I have a big sound effect file box. And apparently, I went and found them. And I didn't add them to the game before I put them in the file. 
or the the folder where I keep them all. So, um, Sounds like Matt's unprepared. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah I, I was. Yep, I know. Well, you gotta yeah. call me out on that. That hurts. Well, you shouldn't have been up so late it hurt last night enjoying your yourself. Just to open the door. <laughs> Remember, Igor, you went to others, huh? Before they do to me, master. You gonna try painting them again? Okay, so, yep, here we go. You uh, put the thing in, and, um... Shady, can you make sure I'm unmuted on roll 20? That's not too... Oh, that's not too... You're unmuted? I don't think you want to be unmuted. No, roll 20. I'm not hearing any choice. There you go. Okay, ready? It's fine. You, yep, you good? You good? Oh. You good? Do okay. it. All right. This, um, the outline of the door kind of lights up in this bright glowing orange. And then this whole building shakes. Ooh. Sepulchral tones. Ah, oh, perfect. You even got the sound effect. Yep. And it is, uh, nice. the door is ready. Are you are you just super big right now, Kuroko? <laughs> Group up. Door is ready. Let's not take the miss with you. That'd be bad. Well, I see Miss Lane to the side, maybe, but we'll see what happens. Uh, baby. Yes, the rest for this. We are on our way to. Zip, zip, zip. Shloop. Oh, the map. Oh, we're here. Please bearing in mind that I'm making dinner for five people and I will need somebody to pilot Jaeger style my body. No guarantees. That's fine. Just as long as I'm not punished for not moving around. Oh, there we go. That's supposed to be map layer. There we go. Y'all can go back when... Oh. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll sock puppet you. Hey now, you keep my hands away from my ass until you buy me dinner first. Uh... <laughs> 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 well, um, first thing Kuroko sees is some uh, some faceless. Yep. Are we gonna um... light them up, up, up? There is a, um, first thing you do notice is the door behind you. It's unlocked, and even if you were to push it closed, it can be opened. But there is a, um, that, that outline, that beautiful or glowing orange red outline that goes around the frame of the door and fills the door with, uh, um, kind of light with the engravings and you know kind of like uh, the way a neon sign does um make me an awareness test all right seven ever so just a smidge fraction of it is missing of the door you, no the the, the, the orange and as you continue to watch it, Kuroko, with your superior sight, tick, tick, tick away. Yeah, I figured as much. So uh, we have a certain amount of time in here, and that's probably dependent on the mask we use for yeah. the uh, um, the uh, fluidium. So yeah, uh, that they, were, they were lower grade, so they're not going to be here for very long. Hey, yo, the tag is super tight. Eat food.
Oh, Smoking. now I have to drink inferior. Well, not maybe not inferior, but just not as good. Sparkling water. Blah. All right. Well. Somebody complaining about the quality of their sparkling water. Yep. Oh, who do we see? No, me. me as oh, DM. you, you, USDM, <laughs> our, our the disembodied, disembodied ready space, reggae space voice. That one. Like I, I have a name, you know. Oh, really? What's your name then? It, it's disembodied reggae space voice. But you didn't know that. Oh, look at who is so sensitive all of a sudden. Hey guys. Hey. I hear E1M1 in the background. We might have company. Um. So, so what? What should we do? Should we go in? Um. Look for giant armored people. Uh. Yes. Let's go. Let's roll initiative first. Get out of the way. We gonna fight these guys? Yes. Okay. This is the hunting grounds. We're here to hunt and ground people. Chayla, eat your food. Good being sleepy person. I know, but you must stop. Rise from the shadows. Make a fist of the pain. Should I take the burger back? Okay. Claim this burger in the name of my stomach. Uh, just like a vampire walking into a church, there's none for you. I thought it was funny. Screw you guys. No, I, I chuckled inside. Sorry. I didn't um, get it. What? I said, just like a vampire visiting a church, there's none for you. None of what? A nun. Like a physical nun. A holy figure. There's no nuns in here. <laughs> no, not literally. Like, just a church, uh, right? Oh. Hey, Ali, did you hear that, that airplane <laughs> traveling overhead? Because that's how high it went over yours. Uh, yeah, I don't get it at all. I'm sorry. That's okay. We'll work on it. We'll workshop it. Okay. It'll be a work in progress. Okay. Shamna, what would you like to do first? Uh, all I right, got... Matt. Ooh. Are you on uh, wireless again? I don't know how to tell you this, Matt. You sound like a robot. Uh, that was like worse than a robot. It was like more like a. Hey, hey, hey. Shush. The place with the Terminator. I knew it. Oh, you're not in your room right now. No. You're using your wireless headset, and you're not. I got you. I got you. <clears throat> yep, I'm calling you out. That's all it is. Um, he so, needs that tea. Uh, Chaminet. Yeah. If oh, it's John. in the name of tea, I can understand it. Um. Wow, is it my turn? Oh, yeah, you were first to act. Fuck. I don't like being first. Okay, team, what's the game plan? Let them up! We don't have a certain amount of time, so I'm going to leave Halo by the door to yeah. gauge our time. Some, somebody's um, got to watch that. I will. Um, it's probably best to stick as a team. Um, I can be more effective by myself, though. Mm. Um. You got <clears throat> Shit, usually you guys go first, and I just, like, stay out of the way. I don't even know what to do when I go first. Uh, what you can do is hold your turn, if you want. Um... 
Sure, I'll hold my turn. Okay. I was trying to think of something cool to do, but I was not prepared for this situation. Groko, what you doing? Groko's going to get cold and uh, then do one, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, we got some peeps. Um, I will be doing a punch here and a punch here. First attack, failure, second attack, pass. Um, so how cold am I right now? I am going 120. Um, so there are um, 12 plus three stacks, 15 stacks of frostbite on that individual. And I'll be like, it is time to rest. You have done well to last this long. You did a good job being alive up till today, but now I'm going to kill you, homie. Okay, that's my turn. Full action used. Okay. Um, constant beam down. Look over. Yeah, that's. Hmm. Got crowded over there. Watch it for the mist. Yeah. I don't think I can squeeze by you, though. No. Touching it. I can push it back. Well. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Watch it for the mist. You're not back yet, mm -hmm. are you? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're back? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold up, hold up. What's what's in front of you though? What is this? Is it a wall? <clears throat> like what what's this uh this thing? This yellow and black thing. It's a DM, tell me what I see. A set of bars. Mm hmm mm hmm so is it like a cage, or is it like can you jump over it? It's more of a, uh, it's more of a cage, really. So is there um, a top part to it? Yes. Okay. Also bars. So this whole section is actually raised. Right. Um, before you can even get to the bars, there's it. It goes up to make to make this kind of lifted platform about up to your head, and then the bars start, and they go up. Um, another ten feet, and then they form a cage. But it also means you can see it's about head height for a normal person, so you can see in past the bars. That's why I left it visible. Just, right. Um, mm -hmm. What's I'm, in I'm there? Just gonna blink. It looks like a dude is held hostage or is chained up. Either that, or it's a big old book. Kind of hard to see. Um, like I said, I was just gonna blink and not fuck with all of this, uh, this nonsense here. Does blinking work, Matt? Could I mean, can... you can blink up on top of the bars, but. I can't blink through the bars. No, you cannot blink through the bars. Okay. But, I mean, on top, well, it allows you to move, right? You know, compared to being stuck <clears throat> between everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't fall through. Blink just lets me cover a half move, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. Um, I'm going to eat a grenade down here so it hits these three dudes 
that Kuroko is laying in two. Okay. Woot! Swiggity so swooty what's your, boy! What's your, what's your movement for half? Three. Three meters. You cannot blink on top of this thing. It is over three meters high. Fair enough. Well, you fuck me, I guess. You can blink up and throw it, but the uh, it creates almost these like channels, these pathways um, in between here. That makes it very uh, kind of dicey. Because you have this okay. the stone pavilions that go up to about head height, and then you have the yet again the um, bars go up another ten feet. So you're looking at probably six meters. So my a warlock jump could do that though, couldn't it? Be a full move. Double double jump height, triple jump distance. Yep. But that would be your full move. So I'm not going to uh, get to do it. Go ahead and roll that ballistic skill for that grenade, though. <clears throat> which one are you using? Solar? Or are you using uh, which subclass? Um, probably void. I want them devour stacks. Okay. Can you scratch my shoulder? Scratch Johnny. Scratch it. Yeah. No, keep scratching. Mm. Keep scratching. Yeah. 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 This is adorable. <laughs> so, did you pass your ballistic skill though before you do 50 damage? Uh, 52 damage. Nice. Yeah, Single digit. It. For sure. Yep. You pop it in there. Um, well, let's devour grenades to get devoured and then the devoured the dead. Huzzah! Can I just say, I'm having the time of my life right now. Have you ever felt this way before? I've never felt this way before. I swear. Uh, there is the a truth. lot of gunfire further in. Okay, good to know. So Fuck very yeah. muffled, though. So, what, do we suspect someone is using um, suppressed weaponry? Uh, not that type of muffled, as in it's far, Program. far away, or someone's firing through a pillow. <laughs> How we doing on door time? Um, barely, uh, not much of it has moved. Um, uh, probably 1%. Excellent. So we could assume like a hundred rounds. Which one is ten seconds? So honestly, not that much. We have a just shy of two minutes. Minute forty. Minute thirty now. Yeah, white masks do not provide much. <laughs> well, now we know. Yeah, we figured it out. That was the that was the thing. Figured out how this door works. Uh, so let's get some masks so we can come back through this door and not have to, you know. Yeah. Sacrifice the ones we like. What's what? I just want to know what this the the thing in the middle is first. What is this thing? Yeah, we were studiously ignored when we asked questions about it. Um, it is yet another uh, antechamber of. Uh, a cage within a cage. Um, it also looks like it's sealed with a uh, multiple types of cages, like <laughs> even more so than just the the, the iron bars that you'd you'd almost find in a. Um, uh, you're looking at an obulette, is what you're looking at. Okay. So in essence, it is. Um... It's where the big spoopy boys are gonna be. Maybe. Does he have so, a mask on or trinkets? No, you don't see anything in there. 
So what the obulet basically is, um, the 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 concrete goes up. It's about head height. Um, on this particular once the, those little squares, the obulets, they go down. They're not. They're not. You you can see the tops of the bars, the the seal, so to speak, on top. But the contents are dug in downwards. So you would actually need to get into the caged area and look down to really be able to see what's truly in there. Good to know. Shabana, are you going to do anything else with your turn? I don't know. If we're not going in any further, I don't really see the point. We beat up some things. Are we going in further? Barely gotten started. Like, we didn't beat up some things. We rolled in and rolled on some fools. We did the equivalent of a drive-by. Okay. Well, okay. Void grenades leave nothing to loot. Motherfucker. (laughs) <laughs> no, you told me the Nova Bomb left nothing to loot because of its destructive power. Why the fuck would I ever use Void if it's going to disintegrate everything every time? I mean, you rolled uh, an ass ton of damage. <laughs> so? It doesn't disintegrate loot back home. Um. You can pull whole guns out of dead dregs. Do I calculate my movements? Yeah, <laughs> those are Ingram and Matter created. Like, uh, you, Void here does a lot. Fortunately, those guys aren't very... Uh, those are the ones you got, uh, if you remember correctly. You remember those models? Those those, those models before? Tier 1 faceless, yeah. The they ones have that nothing. We killed in droves. They don't even have masks. <sighs> They're the ones... There are people who got their face stolen. Might want to switch to arc. Yeah, I just might. Um, if you want to uh, make it sure, make it so that it does not disintegrate, you can choose to have the damage of your grenade, and then there it'll leave loot. But you need to tell me if you're going to go for the devour or um, just just the kill. That didn't make a whole lot of sense. Hit me with that one more time. Uh, you can choose prematurely before you throw a grenade. If you have the damage of the grenade, there will be stuff left to loot. But if you go with the full damage of the grenade it, and you end up killing it, it, it devours it. It destroys. There and is doing a that size, won't rock. Is, Oh, no, both will proc um, your devour proc. As long as you kill something. But uh, there is such a thing in my game as overkill. You overkill something, loot's not protected. (laughs) Sorry. Okay. I've had people lose great loot because they overkilled. That's just part of the game. No, it just seems like a punishment for people being too successful. It can be. If you that's what happens when you just use if you use explosive ordnance on people, do you think they have much left? Uh, or use say, explosives? If, I if mean, the, if, if the gear they have if is they mortal, have the dagger of humiliation, which can bypass realities and slice at the souls of its victims, then yeah, I'd expect that motherfucker to be just fine if I use a brick of C4. Right. <clears throat> but like, these guys had mortal possessions armor, uh, you know, maybe a gun, a backpack, basic supplies. You used a paracausal void grenade that did 52 damage. 
their particles. It's like in Fallout when you hit them with, or you crit them with a laser gun or a plasma gun. Nothing. And unlike in Fallout, you can't loot it. Fortunately, we don't have six here to call you a dirty, filthy liar. Exactly. It's too much of a loot gremlin anyways. No. <laughs> Wholeheartedly approve of all the loots. Continue. All right. So I guess that makes it Chaminade's turn. Chaminade, there's a bunch of mess. What would you like to do? What would you like to do, Chaminade? <laughs> Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some protection wards along here. Um, okay. nobody sneaks up behind us. Is that okay? Absolutely, you darn well can. How much paper will that take? All of it. I'm just kidding. Uh, depends on how strong you want the, uh, the, the big, um, barricade of no. Um, I'll use, uh, ten big sheets of paper. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, yeah, no, that's, there's, uh... That's a lot of law nope. I don't want those spooky boys coming at me. I mean, <laughs> it's almost like you trust them less than floating magical hot boys. Yeah. Um, there is one extra thing. You do put that secure thing up, but there is a breach in the the, the iron bars here. So climb up or drop down from that spot. Okay, that's acceptable, I guess. <laughs> but that also gets you behind the ward. Um, should I seal that part off to you guys, or? I think it's fine. Holiday, who be buddy? So, so, there are some breaches that, um, Shamini has found. Um, in regards to the, uh, uh the iron bars. Like, some of them have been ripped open. From and the inside or the outside? Inside. Uh, oh, I see. And there's an opening right here you can use to get onto the next area. Or you can have Shaman I sealed it up to, so that there's not an extra thing. I want to shoot the stuff. It's up to you, Shaman. Which which way are which way are we going to go shoot the stuff? Um Karka was going down. Yeah, sense. I figured we were going that way, which is why I was trying to seal off this part so nobody came up behind us. Yeah, we can, we were going we can, that way. We can seal that shit up. There you go. Sealed off. Two more extra oh, pieces of you. paper. Two more pieces of paper. Now you got Two 12. Two pieces of paper? Okay. <laughs> boom. Boom. Is boom. As boom. Okay. <laughs> Talk to KGP. K9 unit says right, he's bomb. Did that. Also, um, woof. Kuroko, you up. Uh, so, Kuroko's going to uh, adjust her, her domain and then push away the, the, the mist that is uh, currently. Uh, How big is your domain? Um, it can be up to. So, it's going to be one meter around myself. And I'm just going to push, push it into it, like push it back. New will part test. Yep, I figured. Yeah, nice. push it back. And uh, then the rest of my move, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. And that's a half move, another half move for that, pretty much. Uh, how big? How big is your um, thing? It's just a meter still. Okay, something enters your meter in, in stealth. Ah, well, that's too bad for it. I'm minus 120 right now, so it's 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 cold. Yeah. It's going to attack you. 
Good for it. And, uh, but you will get your full reactions. Mm -hmm. Um, because your domain alerts it to, uh, alerts you to its its presence. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> mm -hmm. It does rather well. Good for it. Uh, let's dodge. Okay, you did beat it in degrees. That is good, considering that it does have inescapable. Perfect. Woo! By the way, for Thank those you. who who need to know if an individual has the ability called inescapable, whether to ballistic skill or weapon skill, the degrees of success on the attack dictate the equivalent negative you get to avoid it multiplied by 10. So if I get four degrees of success in hitting you, you get a minus 40 to dodge or mm. parry. Actually, no, she not parry. No, you can parry parry normally. You just can't dodge it. I'm gonna escape. Um, that's both. That's both. Yeah, that's reaction. It's reaction it's based. So anything reactive. It's... Oh, it's just reactive. So yeah. So inescapable is kind of a powerful like um, ability. Definitely. Very very powerful ability. Especially you if you have roll. massive massive you know, pools yeah. of to hit. No, it, eventually, you just you can't you can't. Okay. So um, this thing. Uh, fires these kind of red corkscrew like chopstick sized needles mm -hmm. and it sprays the wall where you were and you're like nope and so, you can actually hear the cracking of stone as they continue to turn and twist to dig themselves deeper into the wall I'm going to uh, use a free bonus action whatever to uh, just relay this information that someone's within me within my domain and uh, that they just came from stealth so uh, watch out uh, Constantine's going to come around the corner and he is going to oh gosh he doesn't want to do that doesn't want to do that um He's going to grab one of his tattoos and unfurl a whip, a chain whip, out of his arm. And his tattoo come, uh, disappears along with it. Flagellate the guilty. Cast and uh, he's going to... Um, he's going to try and strike it. Oof. No. Uh, he tries to Belmont it, but no. All right. Lord Miller. Tis I! Never fear, Simon Belmont is here. The power of Christ is infused in my spirit. <clears throat> Alright, can I get up on this godforsaken It'll take cage? Turn. Fuck it. I want I want upsies. Alright. Um you are to stick to the periphery. Okay. Because otherwise, there's a really good chance that you have your foot fall through and you snap something. But if you stick to the periphery, I won't have you make rolls every time you move because it's very, it's a, it's where the the two um, stresses meet, and it makes a really solid edge for you to walk on. Okay. Um, you need to also let me know when you want to come down because what I'm going to do while you're up there is I'm going to increase your vision. Before you come down, you need to let me know so that I can. Reduce your vision accordingly. Okay. So that big empty space right there is that where the monsters hide? Or maybe it's to another uh, floor. The, down space? the black space. No, <laughs> that's a black space. You guys know that one very well. Oh, very well. Yeah, right. so that's where the monsters hide. Uh, some the, of the, the face one of the face dealer hide. types, yes. One of the face yeah. dealer types. You guys should make you guys should. I'm gonna give you a handout. You oh, mean the handout you were supposed to give us, Matt, for the tears? No. I made no. notes. Remember, remember that thing I asked, and I never got anything back from it. Oh uh, yeah. I'll get you. For I now. Got you. Yep. Um, I'll just give you guys a face dealer's handout, and you guys can fill it out. Sure. But sure. The um. 
I knew I was forgetting something. Let's see. Uh, uh, oh, one of them baby. is the child that hides, hides in the right. dark spaces. Will attempt to trip and swarm you. Trickery is afoot. Sneaky Don't ass trip. children playing pranks on people. Yep. More swat the ass. Uh, I believe in corporal punishment, little girl. Wow, that sounded dirty. Remind me to never do that again. I'm taking that back. I'm putting that in the pocket. Let's pretend that never happened. He's uh, got these sessions recorded. Yeah, I know. Just edit that part out. Edit that part out, Johnny. <laughs> I'll do my best. You're not going to edit that shit out, are you? No one watches these anyway. I watch oh, them. Oh, you do? Yes. He gives, he gives I go me back likes. over them. I like it. I've liked every last one of them so far. I watch yep. all of them so we can go back and I can go back and listen to things and make notes. They are quite handy for a time. You guys think. are hardcore, man. I uh, might have spent several dozen hours in Cyberpunk re listening to all the old stream. That's a good place to do it. They don't have a lot of good things. They don't have a lot of good things to say in Cyberpunk when you're killing stuff. Right. You know, I went through I did all the cyber psychosis missions. I did all of the freaking side missions, cleaned out all the NCPD dispatch missions. It took me a lot of a lot a lot of time. It took me a long, long time. Uh, uh so I needed something to listen to. So yeah, I went back through all the previous sessions. <laughs> so uh, are you going to move, or was that your full movement to get up there? Yeah, My yeah. full movement was getting up there. I get to be useless this round. Now you gave us a lot of information if you want to relay it. Hey guys, I see stuff. Nice. <laughs> Here's the stuff I see. There's like some tier threes or some shit down here. And there's a face stealer girl inside the, the spot right next to you, Kuroko. It's a, more of a desiccated mummy, almost. Oh, also there's a mummy standing next to you. Oh, God. It's a child and it's mummy. Uh, take 50 damage. <laughs> oh, good. That won't kill me. <laughs> Let that be your warning. <laughs> Exfoliate. Exfoliate. <laughs> I'm more concerned with the uh, things below. I'm not worried at all. I don't think they can climb. But I, I'm sure they could shoot. Uh, yeah, no, you're right. Those are those are almost certainly people who are not the dead. They, they like seem robots. like robots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Anyway, it is uh, the hunted's turn. Um, this one's going to try and maul Kuroko again. Oh, really? Okay. Oof. Damn. It got, it got an ambush. This one's a lot better hit. Um, this one's going to be a minus five zero. Cool, cool. Five zero. And, uh, that's a that's a hit. Okay. Um. Is this multiple hits or is this just like no, what this is thing? This this thing has. Whip like arms. The like okay. the arms they go all the way down to the ankles. Right, right. There are the wrists too, and the the knuckles actually drag along the uh, the stone, and it just kind of crooks the arm. It swings it forward with such uh, momentum it you can't even see the arm when it moves. Right. 
Uh, and of course, there's these nasty, nasty claws on the end. Um, the rest of it, uh, it looks like these those little uh, spike-like protrusions that it launched at you earlier. Um, they're growing right back out of the skin. The, the ones that were fired do not return, but there's new ones growing out, ready to okay. fire soon. Okay. Um, can I redirect it within my aura? Try to at least. Uh, which ones? The one that he's attacking with a, a whip, right? Can I try to redirect it? Since uh, his whip-like whip arm? Yeah. Um, unfortunately, no, not with the amount of... Um, I suppose you could try and add your degree <clears throat> of success in your willpower. Right. To see if you can nudge it, but you're going to need... It's not enough. Okay. You're still going to get hit. Fuck your nono square dog! Yeet! Okay. Shield first. That's it. Um so he has a, a stack of 15 uh, frostbite with um, mail. Frost mail. Yeah, this. No, it freezes on the spot. Can you scratch my shoulder again? <laughs> You're so adorable. <laughs> my nails are wet. Mm. Up a little higher. Up, like here? Yeah. You had it when you were first oh, there. Oh, right there? Right there, right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, right there. Oh, this is the spot. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Cool. I'm Bichet from Burger Time. I'm making the burgers. Um, gunfire, Sorry. gunfire. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I just railed you with my itchy shoulder. What are we waiting on? Um, NPCs to do the thing. And then it's Shamane's turn. Shamane has an idea which he'd like to do. That is a... Okay. I have an idea? Is that what you said? If Shamane has an idea if that I he'd like to idea. do. Okay. Because it's your turn next. I'll probably just like move up. Okay. Check things out. Maybe do some awarenesses to look for spooks. Um... <laughs> Let's see if you have enough room. Uh, no, you don't. I was going to say, you can move up to here for a full action. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't really want to move much farther than that. Anyway. Move up by Constantine. Just hang out with Constantine. He's pretty cool. He's been cool so far. Real chill. All right. 
Um, it wish if Bay should whip before yeah, I yaw. You gotta move, actually, Shamane. It's my turn. Yeah. Okay. Oh. What? Oh, I understand what's happening. Yes. What? Really? You just wanted to talk to me, didn't you? Okay. That's fair. I'm proud of you for admitting that. It's December still. It's almost January. So, um... So, um... Oh, there it goes again. Uh, four attacks um, for my full action. Half and half. It's both frozen. hands. It's frozen solid? Yeah. Oh. I did 15 stacks of frostbite to it. It's, it's, it's a fucking popsicle. It's a popsicle. Um, all right. That's cool. Resident, um, are you classified as human? Negative. I am a meat popsicle. Uh, I'm just going to let the guys know that I see things and I see some uh, things that aren't faceless. Um, you know what I will do, though? I will do a survival on this um, on this thing here. Let's uh, get more information from it with the uh, one who wears the mask. Shit, 92 again. Um, all right, so there's that act uh, free action gone. Um, all right, so I think we should let them move past before we continue up or i can also clear out this room a bit more to get a better idea if you guys want me to go ahead first i'll uh i'll go and crouch and uh, i'm gonna say like stick uh stick two back away from halo and i'm gonna extend my aura around and then i'm gonna crouch and go into stealth Two degrees, and uh, I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five. Can we mute for a second? Sure. Oh, God. She's talking about us behind our backs. Now, don't Perfect. be silly, me. Nobody would talk about you behind your back. No one cares enough to think about you when you're not there. <gasps> but we are here. Right now. Oh, shit. You might be onto something. How much effort would it take to talk behind someone's back while they're there? A lot. It's really hate us. Should we plan for inevitable betrayal? Of course. We have to be ready. It'll be sudden. Uh, the Hunter's turn, and then Ludmilla and Constantine. I'll put an icon for myself so you know I am stealthed. Gunfire. Bang, 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 bang. Red uh, it's bitch. more of coo, coo, coo. like big, big caliber. Uh oh, and then big and then there is the and then there's the uh, burst uh, of uh, burst fire weapons or uh, assault rifles. Yep, and then there's like big old almost yeah. Is that what they taught you in the Navy? Uh, I wouldn't know. I never went to the Navy. Oh. He's Marines. Marine. Yeah. The, the Marines is the men's branch of the Navy. You know, because we have a big M. <laughs> Why is that funny? I don't know. 
<laughs> okay, sorry. Have the rest if you'd like. I don't know. I'll pick up some more. Time. I just thought that was really funny. Thank you. Um, you want me to go get you some now? I do mind, but I'll do it anyway because I love you. And I'm amped up on depression and eight gallons of sweet tea. That's my life. What's that quote from? I want to know. I have no idea. Uh, I heard it on uh, TikTok. There's a guy called Case D20 who's a bodybuilder uh, cosplayer. Oh. He does he does D and D TikToks. Okay. It's fucking hilarious. I love him to death. I'll send you a link. Camilla. That's me. Is it my turn? Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Yeah. Time to go airborne. Yeah. Um. So this guy is a popsicle. Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> um. He hit himself. It was great. <laughs> Uh, punk ass fool played himself. Fuck is this? Uh, it's some some individual with this massive bell like helmet, kind of shuffling around. Uh, just okay. Kind of just 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 shuffling around. Looks shuffling distressed. Shuffling around. Looks looks distressed. Oh, I see. But um, do we ask him what's wrong? Might be the lost soul. Probably. Probably something that will murder us in one turn. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to yeet myself into the air and golden gun. What are you golden gunning? Uh, you were uh, you using those void. Tier twos? You were using void. You have to clear your bar yeah. first before you, you, you go to a different super and have enough supercharge for that we talked about it that's only when i'm yeah you said that's only when i'm wearing the red mask though when i'm wearing the red mask i have to pick uh which super uh i use the first time i max out my bar i thought it was for all masks but uh, that's, that's what I was no because it was the super or the red mask specifically limited me in that way because i could just keep supering over and over and over because of the because i could uh trade wounds for light i'm currently wearing my blue mask and i have okay. switched in between elements multiple times okay like i have traits from the red mask remember if you fire your golden gun you will the, 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 if you have a chance to overkill the chance especially if you hit it for like more than 50 fucking damage. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I'm using the the one where if I kill things, if I precision shot things, I get the uh, I get more super bar back, or I get some super bar back. So it's not the one. No, it's not the golden gun that deals all the fucking damage. Six it's shooter plus steel. Yeah. Yeah. Six shooter. I don't have like a celestial nighthawk or anything on. Are you using precision shooter or six shooter? Um, six shooter gets you up to six shots. They're not as powerful. The tr the precision shooter does uh, three shots only and does extra damage on precision hits, which have to be called shots in your case. Uh, um, eh, it's you know been. I'm a hunter man. I'll use I'll use six shooter. Um, isn't six shooter the one where you kill somebody and you get more light back? Up to six shots. You get three shots initially. You can get up to six total. You don't miss as much. Fair and enough. And then after that, it depletes completely. <clears throat> yeah, now I get dead. Yes, I will go. Give me a second. It's literally my turn. I think that's an eyelash. No, that's not an eyelash. All right. Um, so I'm going to yeet myself into the air. Okay. Uh, do, 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 way up high. Um, boom, boom, boom. 
Uh, where, I hope your shot where? doesn't go through this and hits this person because I feel like that's the lost soul right there. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. Yeah, this person out here, do they look like a soul that is lost? Um, this person is just kind of staring at a wall. Yeah, nah. Dripping so blood. That's, this is why I have an incredible amount of height so that my shots don't go yeah, through a person. I, I got you. I got you. Yeah, That's I'm angle. shooting down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, boom. First, second, third, and then we'll follow up as necessary. Okay. And they're not five meters apart, so you should be fine. Yeah. Not more than five meters, I think. But I can stick a moon. Mine's champion. Uh, boop, ba doop. Uh, do I get any bonuses uh to hit or on my ballistic skill with golden gun? No. Does he get okay. any high ground advantage? Um, I'm reducing the penalty. I'm using the high ground advantage to also reduce the penalty to um, shoot through these bars. So, right, so. cage. They're caged. Right, that makes more sense. Okay, top one first, or the closest one? Just top, guy. middle, bottom. Oh, I thought it was top, middle, bottom. Um, 57 I mean, that that might is make going more to sense. be... That actually might make more sense. It's body. Just phantom. Boom, boom, boom. Massive damage that I think's chest. No kill. Uh, okay. But like you've seen um. before... Or no, you weren't around for these ones. That's right. You didn't yeah, get to was. fight one of these. Yeah, I did. I uh, oh. golden gunned it in the face last time. Oh, that's time. right. Wiped uh, it out. Yeah. Shooting in the chest didn't kill it instantly, though. No, that's cool. Um, what do you guys think? Should I just put a second round into it? Did do damage to it that um, <clears throat> doesn't seem to be healing, though. Yeah. Because these are the these are the tier twos, and they have the fucking. Fuck you need your... to kill it, otherwise it regens, right? Yeah. Well, no, they they don't care about uh, mortal weapons. Yes, they don't. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> Disregard, as Matt's words. Yes. Um, what do you guys think? Should I put another round into him, or should I keep shooting at the other two? Uh, I continue um, shooting into that guy. Otherwise, you might just waste all your, your rounds. No, nah, that's fair. Um, four degrees of success to shoot him again. Get him again, Phil. Um, twenty-four. That is going to be a left arm. It is missing an arm. Thing's still not dead. No. <sighs> Where do you get twenty four from? You swap. You, you swap. You swap the dice roll. Uh, so Forty two. You swap. You go to. You swap the numbers, and then you go look at the di the hit chart locations, and then is, you yeah, look yeah. at where. It, yeah, and it's a left arm. The arm comes right off. Yeah. Disintegrates. Just. <laughs> sure. One shot left. You have to kill with the shot. Uh, I'm going to spend a point. I'm going to spend a fate point. Um, you're also, you might need to get a headshot for a kill. Oh, well, I wish you to fucking... Uh, that's the thing. You I don't know. I didn't I can't last time. You did shoot it in the head last time. You I did. didn't make a called shot or anything. I just pulled up my golden gun and blasted him, and it used like 20% of my light. Because that was all I had, or like, he's no, he's ten percent of my light. Because I had half afterwards, and I just gunned him down. I don't remember there being a, a hit specification. Well, this one, unfortunately, um, they're not disintegrating. You probably used the precision shooter last time, which does significantly more damage per shot. Six shooter is meant to hit more targets. You also put it all in the one bullet because that's. You also put it all in the one bullet, like a celestial nighthawk. 
All right, then I'll shoot him in the face. What's the penalty for that? Minus 20 unless you have the talents attached to um, reducing cold shot penalties. Face. Oof. Gone. The head disintegrates. The body just slumps. You have a round returned. Two headshots for the next two. Finish yep. Long. It's going to have to be. Oof. Good uh, try. Spend uh, a fate point. Okay. No. I said go poof. Fuck you. Feels bad. Uh, you are yes. now completely out. Fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Mm. Holy shit, oh fucker. That's good anime. Mm. Did you watch that with the kids or with Shada? No. I didn't so, even watch it. It was oh, just, it's memeage. No it's raw right. memeage. Yeah, 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 I got you. What anime is that? That's uh, Caroline and the music one with their own uh, Mars. Um, I only got like partway through that one. I enjoyed it though. I don't remember why I stopped watching it. Carol on Tuesday. Carol on Tuesday. So, we've learned a valuable lesson here. I'm a warlock main, and I shouldn't deviate from that. <laughs> the sword was way more useful. Would have been really hard to shoot through the or land those through the bars, though. That's fair. <sighs> Should have worn the orange mask. You can always swap now. As it turns up. I'm just gonna take cover here. I told Constantine about the the aura effect, right? Yeah, ducking away. Okay. So we get real cold if we get in three meters of you? Two meters. Two meters. Thing gets jolted back by your wards. No, you're fine. No. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm so glad. Doesn't understand. Probably gonna just keep doing it. No, backed off. Oh, good. Glared at it though. Domino. Um, I guess I'll just like move up. And this uh, this zombie guy's frozen. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Oh. Smack him with your sword. Turn him into ice cubes. Give him the business. Do it to him. Put him in my tea. Cool down my tea. <laughs> zombie tea. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna no. hang out here and see where how this goes. Oh, gonna hang out with the zombie. I'm gonna check out this zombie's karma. That's what I'm gonna do. What's a zombie? He doesn't have any. He dead. He does fuck. <laughs> There's no karma there. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, I'm done. It was a zombie jamboree right in the middle of the cemetery. Uh, 
That's my turn. Mm, I'm just a okay. second. Um, you hear barking orders. Yeah. Uh, not in a language you can um, you can particularly understand, but you do get the um, you do understand that they are uh, military in their movements, yeah. and um, you can definitely tell that they're orders, and they move in uh, pretty tight formations. I figured. Um, the orange isk ones with the the lamps they have big old shields and mm -hmm. pretty heavy power armor. Um, they almost look like uh, bomb suits. Yeah. Um, they also have these. Uh, uh, the closest you can think of is a um, big ass fifty cal handgun. All right. Um, ooh. And it looks like the arm <coughs> gauntlet. Uh, whenever it it runs out of ammo. Uh. The arm uh, bracer opens up and swaps mags for them. Convenient. Yeah. Turn my word down. I'm in stealth right now, by the way, with two degrees. Uh, I need you to make a willpower test. You wandered a little close to something. Okay. Yeah. Um... I'm going to unfortunately stop here. Uh, you are mentally assaulted. So I have a ward from, uh, from ah! Ali's thing. <laughs> yep. So which ward? Uh, there is one for mind control. Uh, where is it? The there's poison resistance, curse resistance, um, magic resistance. Probably it's it's probably going to be a magic resistance type thing. Do any of those ones? Um, uh, it is a um, it is a mnemonic hazard. It is assaulting your mind with sheer psychic uh, power. So I gotta add sheer psychic power resistance to my. Um, basically, what it's trying to do is literally slash your mind as if a, it was slashing you with a sword. Like it's okay. it's using a mind thrust. Pretty much, yeah. Some kind of thrusting motion with its mind. Let's, uh... Let's re-roll that, then. Okay. So... It's trying to touch my mind. It has touched my mind. With that, I would like to, um, with with the willpower resistance here, um, affect it with my cold, since it's it's touched me. It's touched Bad touch. who I am. Okay. Uh, influence. time there's something hollow something missing there for you to actually follow back to and you may not want to right so my ice shield does not affect um mind it just affects spirit gotcha uh -huh. sounds like something to spend some merit on yeah okay you can move forward Ah, uh, yeah, cool, cool. Unless you want to deal with this thing instead. Um. It is fuck aware now. Fucking in his vagina! Uh, the only way I'm fighting with it is within my domain, and I can't really extend it too far and deal with Constantine at the same time. Um. <laughs> I'm just going to keep moving. You're like running little things there. You want to be there? Let's see if... 
Oh my god. That guy just rolled a one to detect you. Shit. Uh -oh. I can't deal with that. Um, yeah, he kind of narrows the beam on you to help further distort the... the, the, the um... Right. Um, I will... There's a couple orders barked. Uh, they do not open fire. Good to know. Uh, I'm going to continue moving this way, then. Or look into the mist. Or actually, I got a clear view here. Oh, so. um, Groko, you were looking this way temporarily. Uh, I turned like this. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I went like this. Turned like this. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then you walked that way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Keep going. I just need to remember how far I went. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna move to here. Right. And you get to there. Yeah. Um, I need you to make me a willpower test. Um, something runs up to the nearby bars and howls at you. Okay. okay. You're not you're not making any noise. Uh there's, there's something in there. Something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ludmill, you're going to get a um, beat on the comm. Uh, we should probably um, stick together. I got some information on this side, but we need to deal with the uh, the hunted. I've been spotted. These uh, This military group. Oof, that guy's dead. Um, you hear gunfire. Of course. Lamilla. Mm. Alex, you still with us? You muted otherwise. Welcome back. Hi. Uh, sorry. Is so my my turn? All right. Cool. Uh all right. So uh, after spinning around, spotted me by the way, and I relayed that back to you. Cool. Uh, did they shoot at you immediately? No, they didn't. Awesome. Um. All right. So I'm currently on solar. Toot. There's you. Let me a kick, and then there. Uh, and I'm going to hit this one with a throwing, with an explosive throwing knife. Um, Apparently, no, I'm fucking not. Roll scatter. 1d8. Goes more this way. Um, you were aiming at this guy. I thought this one. Oh, that one. Oh, it goes. It has a chance to hit that guy. Go ahead and uh, roll one d four meters. You're looking for one or two. Nice. Yeah. Hey. It hits the other guy. It hits that guy instead. Whack. It, cool. It's like. And it explodes and kills him instantly. There are bits to loot. Um, nice. Uh, does the explosion hit anything else? Does the blast hit anything else? Because it was an explosive knife? Uh, yeah, it would have a blast of one. Cool. Maybe kill friend. Wow. 
where you manifest the knife, put it in the sheath. Um, that's a half action. I moved. So, uh, throw, move, shoot, I guess. No aim. Uh, one, two, three. Cool. So that's point blank. Standard attack. Modifier five. Um, and I shoot this guy with Desperado as free action. Oh, okay. Just wham. Oh, yep. He's not precisely gonna dodge or anything. Dice roll sixty-seven. You're looking at four degrees right, like, of success. He shoots leg off. Okay. Um, how much damage? Twenty-seven. Um, he needs to make a toughness test or die from shock. He makes he does not die from shock instantly. Wow. Nice. He does not have a leg though. <laughs> he he a, he a tough boy. He a thick boy. All righty. Uh that's my turn now. Um, can I have, actually, last thought, can I have Vic, uh, try and transmit a burst communication to these robot dudes? Robot dudes? Uh, the military group that's in here with us. The ones that are looking decidedly robotic? Uh, no, that's just military gear. Power armor. It's, it's like spec ops gear and military. Uh, power I mean, here. Mm -hmm. They'd have some kind of onboard computer, wouldn't they? Uh, yeah, they would. They had a communication system. Cool. Can we send the like standard first contact package of a uh, hi? Please don't shoot us, and we won't shoot you. He certainly can. He will attempt. Uh, he is also. He has already broke their comms, and he's attempting to uh, translate. Cool. Very um, unsophisticated technology. It might as well be a fucking radio, a car radio for for all he cares. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I'll roll for him every turn. To, it won't take that many that many degrees of success, but he does <laughs> have to borrow your polyglot to. I mean, he's in there. He just has to translate. No, that's cool. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? I'll do it. Water doing its thing. Water trying to kill us all. Hydrogen dioxide in our schools. Threatening all our children. <laughs> Dihydrogen oxide. It'll get you. What's Constantine doing, Matt? Um, he is going to actually start casting a uh, blessing. Because he can bless. And he's going to try and hit Shamane with it. Uh, um, he's going to try again. <laughs> yes. All right. Um, Shamane, uh, uh, offense or defense? Defense. Okay. Um, if something attacks you, you get a plus 20 to dodge. Sweet. Um, it also, um, either, it can also proc as a, uh, allows you to use once. The ballot blessing will go away um, if use it for its secondary effect, which is um, it allows you to be not surprised for one attack. 
which normally if you're surprised, flat-footed, you don't get the dodge. You just get hit. So when you say one attack, does that mean, like, I know the attacks are coming now, or just one attack, but I have two attacks, so the other attack hits? Is that how that would work? Um, well, the enemy would have to roll for both, but it's it's basically one surprise attack. Okay. Um, unfortunately, if there's a secondary follow-up, um, you actually are no longer technically surprised after the first. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, right? Once, once, once you're alerted, you think you would know. Yeah. But... yeah, which will give you a chance to dodge the second, but it at least lets you not get just geeked instantly, because that can happen. Uh, but if you use it for that, you lose the blessing because it uh, that's it uses all its power. Um, well, that sounds very useful. Thank you, Constantine. Okay, uh, gunfire. Um, Drogo, uh, yes. stomping of legs, and this thing runs through all these people, scythes swinging, and crashes into the wall. Whoa! I see. It has, um, well, nine mounted masks on its kind of oblonged head. I see. Has a little bell too. Let you know it's coming. Scary. Mm. Okay. Thor. Chamine. Um, what's behind me? Is this like a cage? Yep. Is there anything in it? Nope. Old blood smears. Dust. Um, I'm gonna move up by Constantine, yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Um, it's like, hey, take cover in the stairwell. Yeah. I want to try and make some um, some talismans to just like slap on this cage and distract these guys. I just want them to be like pretty sparklers or something. Oh, yeah. Uh, Baits. I guess we could call them bait talismans. Yeah. Or just firework talismans. Yeah. There could be different types of bait. Master bait. Uh, sparkler bait, yep. um, actual fish <laughs> bait. I'll um, do some sparkler talismans. Okay. Should I roll karma? Do they have sound too, or are they just it's visual? Are these? Yeah. I well, think they'll have sound. I don't know if these guys can see. Okay. So. Um, and they'll smell. They'll smell a little, like burnt. Is this quick talisman stuff? Wouldn't this be yeah. your side of hand? Yeah, okay, sleight of hand. Okay. Okay. It wouldn't be sleight of hand with a minus 30, I think. Counteracted by your actual sleight of hand currently. Minus 30? I do believe. Sounds accurate. And you got ah. it. So can I... Can I like throw those onto the cage or do I have to run over and slap them on? Uh no, you just you can you can go ahead and slap it on for a guarantee. Or you can just talisman throw. What's the list of skill. What would you like to do? I'll, I'll throw them. I'll see what my ballistic skill can do. Yeah, please do. Oh, okay. Uh, you throw it a little low. It's sparkling on the wall now. Below it. 
Can I run over and move them? Uh, I mean, they're already used. They're already sparkling. And okay, I mean, if you want to take, uh, you want to get your fingers again. in there. I'll try again next turn. Okay, Kuroko. Uh, Kuroko is uh, kind of engulfed with a few things at the moment. Uh, I know this is our face stealer, big boy, um, just from logic. Um, but I also have this dude that I need to worry about, too. These ones, if I stay here, I can get ganked by these boys, which I don't want to do. I tried to distract them for you. I'm sorry. No, it's good. It's good. Um... I don't want to deal with this boy yet. And I'm not going to go over by that guy yet. Hmm. All right. Um. So I'm gonna move down. Um. But first, what I'm gonna do is retract my aura. Uh. So he's not alerted by a frozen presence. Um. So I'm at 120 right now. I am bringing out a clone. Us. And uh, I'm going to get my clone to hug. Okay, him. you have entered the pro. Oh, that's the clone. The clone enters the proximity of the creature. The creature gets nine awareness tests. With the and Wait, it off. What? It has nine faces. Nine masks up on its head. Which creature is this? Your boss. Yeah. You, you don't want to know. Um, oh, this one. From its, from with underneath its ribs, fires out a chain. Mm -hmm. Towards Kuroko, <laughs> the clone. Yeah. Lands. Perfect. Um, it can dodge, but it has a minus 50 to dodge. The chain so, is unescapable. Matt, my mm -hmm. plan was it for it to run at and, it, and like explode on it. So okay. I'm just going to let it take it and then explode it when it's closed. Okay, uh, it hits, uh, the chain hits it, and then the thing spins 360, glaives outwards. I see. And uh, it actually disperses the ice. Okay. In the shock wave, the sheer shock wave just as it does, it does literally a spin to win with its arms out, which are these moon crescent blades, and it's, okay. and uh, disperses the clone immediately. Um, from your estimate, don't get hit. That'll go right through your armor and shields. Good to know. And it just kind of, it, it looks over at the others, but you can tell the other faces on the other side of its head just kind of crane their, kind of squirm in place to kind of watch what happened. And they're just like, hmm. Yeah, it's dead. Yeah, it did. Did. Okay. Uh, you've so, learned some things about the boss. Yeah, I have a question, though. Um, um when it dispersed, was it still within my aura? Uh, yes. So have have I used the charge then, or is it still... Again, it's within your aura. Okay, okay. So I can reform it if I want to. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, though, because it must have been able to um, pick up thermal, because that's the only way to detect this thing. So yeah, yeah. All right. 
three is definitely a, a good a good awareness. <laughs> yeah. All right, perfect. Good to know. So I'll just leave it dispersed for now. And um, I'm not going to get near it quite yet. Um, I will relate to my team, though, that this is something we should probably not deal with head on. Because it will um, fuck us up otherwise. Um, yeah, you you've seen stuff like that. That's a that's a pure combat class. You you go toe to toe. That thing will. Which that one? thing this will. One? Yep. Oh okay. No no, let me get at it. I'll stun it, and then we can snatch its shit and run. That is a strategy. Yes. We'll leave it for somebody else to deal with. Make it real, real mad. So I'm going to reabsorb my clone. And then I'm going to... Hmm. I'm going to wait. Uh, I'm going to uh, delay my turn. Was so I should know these things now. Um, do this clone creation free action? What is clone creation? Um, it'll be a half action until you upgrade it. Okay. Okay. So um, with with that being said, um, I will just um, end my turn here then. Okay. Gunfire. Damn, it got real quiet. The middle. <clears throat> oh shit! What? Uh, uh, uh. uh, all right. So, uh, only one thing to do. Um. I'm going to need to do some full move action so I can get down there uh, amongst the nitty gritty. Um, damn, sure wish I had that sneaker trinket now. That'd be real fucking nice to have. You could try dealing with these things. What's that? You could try dealing with these things. Yeah. Okay. The ones in the cage? Is that yep. what you're suggesting? Yeah. Okay. Are they actually like throwing heat at you or are they just being annoying? Uh, no, they can definitely kill me. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Make sure I'm doing this right. I've never sprinted before. Uh, Did you use the sprint action? Eight, nine. Uh, you mean the run action? Yeah, I mean, did you use like run? Is that what you did? Um, what is the difference between run and charge? Uh, charge, you need a melee weapon. Uh, run, you it's a full action. Okay, but if I charge, I get nine moves, my nine steps, and I can do a melee thing. Yes. Okay. Um, I guess if you had your blade, that's that's currently a, a melee. It would be considered a melee weapon, but okay. yeah, it's it's usually like running into a person. That's what you would do with a charge. But you can be creative here. You just have to figure it away. Oh, I mean, uh, no, I threw that last round, so I need one more round to reach in that. Um, uh, 
Could I use my blink as part of my charge action, DM? Well, no, you said the blink won't get me through these bars, will it? No. What's your cooldown for blink? Um, it, it, it just replaces his move. Okay. Yeah. So if he wants to do a blink as a uh, his half action. But unfortunately, the blink can only be done as half action. You can't use it to do a full move action blink. Not, yeah. not until you upgrade it. So it's only meant for short bursts of movement. Where his, his glide... Is his actual glide is um, significantly. Yeah. It's a lot more distance, yeah. Um, Cause you said uh, my excuse me, <clears throat> my glide would triple my distance, so I would be able to move nine squares with my glide on a half action. Okay, well, fuck, then I'll do that. But um, it is slow. And you, you you go up, which, you know, instead of keeping your, your body on the ground, it, make, it exposes you in the air. It makes you very predictable to hit. Yeah, that's cool. Um, okay, so... I'm gonna... I'm going to use my uh, my strafe glide to move the nine squares to where I'm currently at. I'm going to use my uh, run and gun to free action shoot the guy who uh, lost a leg on the ground. No aim. Short range. Oh, you're, you're shooting the guy with the, who's on the ground? And, and not your yeah. the guys that are underneath you right now. No. Well, so the thing is, is that if if I move, I can immediately free action shoot something, and then I can use my other half action. That's true. Uh, so this is my free action shoot uh, to plug the guy on the ground back there. <laughs> Get that kills him. Cool. Because that gives me rampage. Uh, so I'll turn around and uh, I will uh, shoot this guy in the face. Called uh, shot to the that, face? Make that a called shot. No aim, but he's at point blank. Uh, Remember, point blank's blank. only three meters, so if the cage is above three meters, then you wouldn't be in point blank range. Just got to get another height distance. You are yeah. three meters up, yeah. Okay. I am, so I can hit him? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, and then it's plus 20, minus 20, so we have five. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's one degree of success. Uh, hitting him in the fight. Okay, uh, you shoot him in the face. The um, bullet disappears into that hole. And it looks up. I was hoping you would like aim for the mouth or something, but... Uh, well, I, mean, like... I need you to roll me a willpower test. It's going to try and crush your mind with psionic ability. Oh, well. Um, you hear a uh... plink as your bullet has been not only stopped, but crushed. Go on. Uh, that's three degrees of success. All right, you shrug off the effects, but oh, that—that's unlike a hive witch. This is just this is raw, like uncontrolled, just uh, psychic power. Like there's there's mm -hmm. no finesse to it. It's just it looks your way and it screams at you mentally. And it's like blades. 
Knives on my mind. Uh, it's more like feral claws. Na- nails far too long. Um, poisoned. Uh, tainted. Uh, yeah. And after it rakes you, it tries to crush it. Yeah, that's not great. Uh, all right, uh, that is, uh, by all appearances, my turn. Um, I'm going to pull 100% light from the lantern. Uh, and bring myself back to 100%. Okay. All right, I'll be back. Where's the card? No, I don't. Not in these pants. All right. There we go. Cost of people seven wearing clean up. Okay. Eh. All right. So, yeah, that's my turn. Yep. Uh, did Vic get a roll for um, doing the comms thing and the translation and the whatnot? Working on it. Um, cool. Constantine is going to run over and try and Belmont this thing around the neck. Yes! And then he's going to run this way and pull it to the bar and then pull so it the, the thing slices through the neck and pops the head off. Good call. Oh, nice. It does. It kills the thing. You killed one of the ones inside the cage? Mm-hmm. Good okay. job, Constantine. What's the DC on a throat shot? Called shot. Or what's the, the added difficulty to a throat shot? Just an additional plus 10. Or an additional 10, so it'd be instead of a 20, it's oh, a 30. Okay. okay. Um, I am out of the house, so... It's like a turn yet, so you're fine. Yeah. Good to know, though. Should be back by then. Uh, Shada is, however, at the computer, so... Um, we'll shoot her a message and get her to run my rolls. Unless she sucks, then they don't count. So whose turn is it? It's the hunted's turn. Uh, um, well, this thing's gonna steamroll over these afflicted. Figured. And is going to spin the win on all these dudes. Oof. Uh, yeah, they they can't dodge. It's not enough enough for them to dodge. As it gets into uh, proximity, chains fire out from underneath its rib cage latching on and it continues to just and you hear a as it hits a wall This thing is going to walk right under Ludmilla, and it's going to scream at you. Oh, no. It's a poor scream, so you get a plus, 10 to your, plus 20 to your willpower. Okay. Uh, somebody take Shada and tell her to do that. Roll, roll a plus 20 willpower test. If Shada was in the call, we could tell her. Um, maybe we yeah. Can. Uh, I don't see her online, sorry. She's online. Oh, shit. Be careful while driving, please. Yes. I'll 
although I die doing what I love, so maybe it's worth it. Depending on how much faith you're willing to put in me, Matt, I have a die roller on a different Discord server. I could roll it on there and tell you what I got. Take screenshots. Don't worry about it. Please, please don't text and drive while while doing this. This is complicated. I'll roll, work. I'll roll it for you. All right. Okay. Uh, I have updated the face dealers and the afflicted. Uh, cool. Uh, you can definitely look at it. I'm in a parking lot now, so it's fine. We live literally up the road from the, the grocery store. But you are right, the text and the drive is um, uh, somewhat illegal if I remember correctly. Now. Full power, plus 20. Damn it. Oh, you fell. Uh, what? Did you include his uh, blue? Are you still wearing the blue mask? Yeah, I am. I have plus 30 to my willpower. Does that modify that number at all, DM? Yes, it does. Okay. Because I, uh, I was rocking a solid um, equivalent of an 85 willpower. So I shouldn't have been able to fail that because... Uh, I could roll 104 and still pass. Well, technically, no. If you roll a 100, you failed out of your like, Well, sure, but... And you weren't here, so whatever I roll, that's what happens. It's official. No... I still have three fate points, though. I know, you're fine. It, it, it screamed at you, and you're like, ew. <laughs> Be gone, <laughs> pop. So, um, they did some stuff. Mm hmm Hold on. <laughs> um... Those poor fools got blendered. Yes, they did. <clears throat> Uh, not that I can see. Not really much more hunted. Door. Chamonix. Um, is this a freaky guy trying to get up behind me? Which one? Um. You have a door here, by the way, right? Yeah, the big door. Okay, so there's a door between me and this guy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Watch me trying to get up alone. Well, I think I'm gonna try and draw up some psychic <laughs> resistant talismans. Okay. Do you have time for that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. Quick draw. Oh. Slide high. I don't know. <laughs> Quick draw. <laughs> I love it. Oof. No. Waste of paper. Um, I really don't know that there's a whole lot for me to do besides hide in this corner. A lot of shit's going down, and there's a big scary guy out there. You can prepare healing Shum talismans. Shum okay. You can Should prepare healing another? talismans. You know so... what else you can do, Shamane? What? You can get in there with your damn sword. Yep, and get blasted. <laughs> uh, against the mind eater guy in the cage or against the giant guy with nine masks? I mean, yes. How brave you is. 
Uh, I'm gonna go with the healing talismans. I'll try to do that. So, um, you can have a sword. This is a half action then for her. Roll another sleight of hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll try and make five healing talismans. No. Good try. Welcome, Hello. valued customer. If you have your shopper's card, Hush, scan Nancy. it now. That may have seemed really mean, but I'm not actually talking to a person. I know. For some reason, all of these damn uh, pay-for-yourself uh, self-checkout counters, they're always Nancy. I mean, don't know why. It's been a thing for as long as they existed. So, Matt, how high is this guy up? Three meters, did you say? Or uh, So the, the dais is head height, and then the cage is three meters high. Okay. <clears throat> so what I want to do then is I want to extend my aura um, by five or two five to uh, get this guy to be included in it. Oh, that's too much, actually. Uh, where are you at? At the bottom. The screaming oh. guy. I'm gonna go yeah, that guy do... looks like he's still humanist. Maybe he's just trapped. Yeah, I'm gonna do a um, survival to see if he's faceless or what kind of uh, idea with um, one who wears the mask. See what this is. Uh, with a failure, I uh, I do not pass that. Um, uh, uh. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, sorry, hold on. You know, I want to make a note of the fact that when my girlfriend D and D is going on. I don't ask her to get up and do a bunch of shit. Let's just state it for the record. It's okay. Um, what I'd like to do, Matt, is um, I kind of want to freeze this guy that's within the cage, and uh, he seems to be in pain. Can I get a maybe? Can I get a whiff of his emotions? He seems like he's screaming. Like that's like what I got from that, right? Yeah. But I, I, I kind of want to just get a um, <clears throat> like I want to um, I want to figure out if it's all right for him to pass, like, you know, move on if to help him move on because I'm just going to end his life through frost and cold, but I need, oh. I want to help him move on in that process. I want to ask want to if you. he's, um, you know, if this life is too much or if I, I can help, uh, you know, un unload kind of deal. I just want to I want to try and help. Okay. Uh, um, plus 10. Hey. Bazinga. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, look at you. So, and, uh, um, roll a 1d2 for influence. Anybody. Cool, cool. I'm almost, I'm at 27 right now. Almost there. Uh -huh. Okay. 20. One. And now, what we'll do 
is um, add a boon to this, of course, because this is the kind of thing I want to do with things. So uh, mm. we're going to apply a boon to this one as well. Okay. One penny costs the coin used. Okay. Um, well, this is going to get you a lot of extra information you probably didn't want, but <laughs> your character now, unfortunately, is plagued with if you are going to move someone on, you get to see their sins and where they're going to go. I see. So, so um, yeah. this guy is just like every other individual who has sinned minorly up until now. And unfortunately, um, he has been critically wounded, but not enough to die quickly. Right. Uh, For some reason, he's in this cage. He has either found himself there or something put him there to right. draw attention. Um, all he can do is lash out, hope something finishes him off. Um because of that cage, nothing has taken his face yet, and I mean that, that'd still be a worse fate than death. Yeah. Uh, he has killed quite a few people. But that's the, that's the nature of this place. Survival of the fittest. Um, he has lied. He has uh, cheated others and betrayed them for survival, and um, he is going to end up uh, a block of ice. <laughs> Or worse, uh, if he is judged and not repentant of his sins, uh, he is going to be locked in um, nothing forever. Which is, you float into the existence of nothing, there's nothing for you to do, there's nothing for you to feel. There's just, you are nothing, and you are part of nothing, and that is your eternity. Which is extremely cruel. You are forgotten. Very bad place. Deprivation will quickly drive you mad. Yeah, but this is this is this is the uh, let's take that a bit further type of sensory deprivation. So, unfortunately, the um, uh, this guy is uh, not going to have a good time. Um, to move him on. Uh, you need to pull a Lucy right here if you want him to move on successfully, safely. Because he's not going to get his chance at reincarnation until his sins are removed. Right. So, there's no S to collect. There's just raw. Right. Or, um, you can or move him where he needs to be in hell. There. Right. And that's... And, uh... Or you can move him to a icy subspace where you can deal with him later. One sec, I'll be right back. Is it my turn? Uh, about the bill. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing anyway. You're making health stuff. Oh, my God. I have something for this. He has something for this. He has something for this. He has what has he got? For this. <laughs> Shorty got the apple bottom jeans. So if I'm gonna pull Lucy, I need to uh, I need to enact my instrument. Oh. Oh shit! Do you have a fiddle made of gold? Please tell me you have a fiddle made of gold. No, I just said my I need voice. to hear the word. I have a fiddle made of uh, gold. You will break stealth if you sing. Yeah. But your boon has helped you create a icy subspace. <laughs> you can pull that person, which you unfortunately you do have to kill them. But if you do, you can pull them oh, into that the llama. subspace to be dealt with. Dealt with later. You need to hear those words exactly in that order. So, um, I'll sing a quiet tune of You're cold as ice, what are you willing to sacrifice? 
I can take the cold out of you to make your life anew. Just make your choice and let's see this through. Let hope be your guiding light into this endless night. All right. Well, he froze the death. Yep. <laughs> he did. Your cold is that. Okay. So, um, icy subspace. That's um. That's that's good. That's good. Um, Matt Boone gave you a um, a hell corridor. Right. As long as you stay away from any butterflies, you should be okay. No guarantee. Um, yeah, uh, that's my turn, I guess. Okay. I was that was pretty much ten seconds to do that. So. Hunters are moving away. Um, uh, Kuroko, um, yep. a shot rings out from the dark. Uh, it's gonna peg your leg. Oh, god, she has a peg leg now. Going this way, <clears throat> yep. So my aura is large. I should have detected the shot come through. Can I not dodge? Um, yeah, you can dodge. I'm sorry, Kuroko. It was simply irresistible. <laughs> Let's see what that could have been. Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Would that have one tapped you? No. no. A sniper round. Uh, Last through. Where'd it come from? Where'd it go? I uh, felt it, it come from this direction, didn't I? It came yeah. from the dark space here. Where did it come from, D'Angelo? All right, you dodge. Um, also out from the uh, subspace, uh, or the dark space, uh, mm -hmm. a grenade satchel. A grenade satchel. A whole satchel? <laughs> yes. Um, I'm going to attempt to uh, freeze it incoming because it would be slow, um, but I'm also going to dodge uh, acrobatically because that seems like a good idea and uh, move away from this thing. Okay. The moment it starts to freeze, another shot rings out and shoots it. Cool. cool. I'm still dodging with acrobatically to move. Um, Lanilla, this blast, uh, the the force of the blast is not with you're not within the range, but you are definitely within shrapnel range. Can I try and do something about this grenade as well? Um, on account of I can shoot as a free action on some rounds, I just want to shoot it when it's you know in this you have neighborhood. Have to build the power to 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 quick draw like that. I have quick draw and shot on the run. Got any merit? I have two. Mm, not no, unfortunately, yeah. uh, there's not. Because that would allow a lot of just. I do this all the time. You know, you have to build a, a movement ability to do that. A movement ability or a swiftness? Swift, yeah, it's a swiftness ability, yeah. To be able to do additional things on your reaction. Uh, okay. Um. I don't think the shrapnel will do too much to you. You have your overshield still, don't you? It does, it does five damage mm -hmm. to you. Yeah, no, that plinks. Like, that won't even beat my toughness. Uh, shields first, then armor, then toughness. What's your willpower right now? 40? Uh, uh, my willpower right now is 85, effectively. So, bonuses don't affect your um, actual. So, let's let's... Drop it down. So you said thirty plus fifty, then, right? So it'd be five. So, so I have should, a fifty-five. Yeah. So with the modifier is, or the bonus, let's say, is five here because it's the first number, and your guardian overshield is based off of your willpower, correct? 
Uh, I believe so. Yes. Right. So it, it broke your shield, but it's like a what? A, a three three turn. Guardian three shield turn is up. int mod plus will mod. Oh, so right you didn't now, even break it. Point. Yeah. Yeah. And break I just have to take bit. no damage for three turns to refill. Yeah. So I go blam and take half damage. Yep. The guy inside the cage eat any damage? Yeah, he you, you got shrapnel bits all over him. It doesn't seem to care. Didn't give a fuck because it's a mortal weapon, huh? Well, it's not that it's a mortal weapon. It's just he's. It's not enough damage to really kill him. And they're, this type of individual particularly doesn't perceive pain the way you do. Uh, okay. I am back at my house now, by the way. Mm -hmm, figured. If the sound of screaming children wasn't obvious. Can't hear it. <laughs> Sounds just like that. <laughs> my feet are getting warmed up. It's a good time. I had to scream a little. Oh, man. Oh, the Mr. Spin to win. He went, uh, he he went, went hell and gone from us, didn't he? Do we want to fuck there. with him or do we He's deal still with there. I don't want to fuck with him. I am afraid to get out of this corner because he is still there. A little stupid ass. It's one of our biggest concerns. We know it's their biggest concern besides the lost soul. So That's what you're here to hunt. That is going to yield you the greatest gains. Yeah, right here. most masks, maybe some trinkets on it too. We know that, so... Um, so I got you the information you wanted. So there you go. Um, Johnny. Mm -hmm. Got you your face dealers and afflicted. Face dealers. It's uh, your turn, Alex. Oh, holy shit. Um, I, I got to bring this up. This dude in here with a psychic face hole. That motherfucker's a face stealer, isn't he? Mm -mm. No, he's the not. The difference between a face stealer and an afflicted. Faceless, you mean? We inflicted, Face right? Inflicted, yeah. Yep. Okay. I, I wanted to do a, a survival on him, but I'll do it on my turn if you don't kill him. But feel free to kill it. I can look at the body after. No, no, cool. Inf um, basic information about them uh, is in the handout that I made. Got got some good, good info well, in there. I yes, see. I believe you, and I wanted to uh, ascertain the veracity of it because uh, if he is a a face stealer of tier four or lower, he can't see me because I count as faceless and maskless because of my conflux power. Any face stealer of tier four or lower doesn't it's know I exist a face until I attack is them. An afflicted. Which is important to know. Afflicted because... specifically are those who have suffered like you have. They've had their oh. face stolen. This guy had more than his face stolen. He literally has his brain ripped out from his head. That's, uh, that's a problem. I didn't know that could happen. That's probably something you don't want to happen to you. Yeah, that sounds like a highly negative uh, altercation there. Um, oh, yeah, a little bit more powerful of a face stealer. Took that one. Took his whole fucking brain. <laughs> I will end your horrible reign, but we're just playing Twister. I rip out your brain. Roof. Okay. Right, so blasting. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I started blasting. Excellent. Uh, so I'm gonna quick draw because I has that. Um, my what you call it? Uh, my shrapnel launcher. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. 
Uh, and I'm going to uh, did you make any hit more this ammo dude. for that? Yes, I did. How much? Uh, I have 46 rounds right now. How did you get that many grenades? Uh, stick grenades, remember? <laughs> you used all the we had a whole crate. No, I used half of them. Because we had a bunch of uh, of C4 that we that I cut into chunks to make mm-hmm. the original set of grenades. And then I used half of our stick grenades, our individually wrapped stick grenades, to make even more ammo. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, nah. I got fat stacks. Um... Rate of fire. So I've never actually shot more. No, I have before. Um, so I'm gonna hit this fool with the uh, the second rate of fire, I believe, provided that that's still a half action. Uh huh. Boom boom boom. Uh. Making sure that I'm not a moron here. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. No, we're just going to do the full auto burst as a half action. On the thing below you? Yes. Don't hit the uh, the bars at your feet. <coughs> yeah, that'd I'm be down a problem. At, if you, if you, uh, the burst... Well, I'll actually have you make a strength test to make sure that burst doesn't deviate so that you... Don't shoot the bars with an explosive round. What about, if it, what about if the gun goes like in between the, you know, the bars? Oh, you put the barrel between the bars. Okay. Yeah. Put the barrel between the bars, sight on him, and just blam, 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 blam. Sure. Let's, uh, not, get, let's not get headshots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they're fucking useless to get this guy. His brain is empty, so he keeps hitting people with angry brain powers. He uses some kind of brain magic. <laughs> Uh, no aim, point blank, uh, full auto. <laughs> um, did I have anything fun on this one? Uh, no, this one has, uh, masterwork stability, meaning, uh, strength, uh, and I get a plus 10 because of hip fire grip. So... Because I'm not spending an action to aim. Uh, so, fuck it. Yeah, you're uh, shooting. Uh, that's two degrees of success. That means that uh, I get to hit him with two damage points, right? Let me just check. Two hits. Yeah. So two grenades actually hit this in the area, but at the same time, full auto with explosives kind of counteract <laughs> that. Full uh, auto burst. Character takes a minus ten to the ballistic skill, but every yeah. target, re- uh, yeah, the target receives uh, one hit for every degree of success. So I basically roll damage twice, and it all adds up. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, it's each end. It doesn't add on top of it. It's each individual okay. hit is its own separate so thing. Resolved. So if they have they armor resolved. or toughness, they get to, yeah. Right? If they have an armor yeah. or shield and a toughness modifier. They get to apply it to each individual hit. But that's a, that's still a lot of hits. So that's thirty six pin four on the first one. Mm-hmm. Forty pin four. Or excuse me, uh, thirty six pin four on the first one and forty pin four on the second one. It kind of explodes. Does it affect the uh, the cage? Uh, no. Uh, well, this thing does it hit whatever's in here? No. Okay. Cool. I, I was wondering for the explosion, so that's all. Um. All righty, and for my next trick, uh, whoop. I'm going to eat grenade here because my grenade cooldown is a real low right now because of my mask. Okay. Uh, so I believe that I was solar. 
Um, yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna throw the uh, the solar grenade. Mm-hmm. The one that fills an area. Yeah. Uh, the, the fire one. Yeah. I love you so much. I love you too. Do, do, do. Cool. Uh, one degree of success. Okay. Um. And uh, I guess I'm going to choose to have damage on that on account of uh, do not want um, do not want melty melty badness. Uh, do, do, uh, 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 I have to retake the recycling uh, down. Hmm? I have to retake the recycling down. Uh, is it tomorrow recycling day? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do not let me forget again. Oh my god. Do it after. So session. that's a uh, twenty-six. I assume damage rounds down. I, I'm a I'm a unit no, grenade. You, you cut the dice in half. Oh. So you go uh, four uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Good try though. You know. The, I mean. Maybe averaging it could be correct, but I mean we could just take the first four dice. I'm not that messed up about it. So fourteen, fifteen, twenty. Twenty damage. Yeah, twenty wound. Uh to this spot and all the ones around it. Whatever the explosion is. I think it's like a blast one or blast two is what he said. For some reason, my dumbass didn't uh, write down what the radius of it was. What was the call on that DM? Do you remember? Sounds on a grenade type, friend. Uh, this is a solar grenade, the one that makes double, like a a bubble zone. A bubble zone or a line? Uh, no, this is the bubble. Boom. That's just all immediate squares. Okay, so blast one. Uh, do, 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 do. And grenades are a half action. So that is uh, my turn. Hey, Shamane. Ye? Let's uh, let's try and see if we can build up like a trap or something. So we got it. Let's 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 have you prepare a bunch of um, talismans and kind of construct a trap for the big critter. You know, mining traps or something. Uh, well, the talisman thing hasn't been going so well the last few tries, but I'm ready to try again. Well, you're gonna give up on me. Me no, I said coach. I'm ready to try again. Oh, oh, okay. do this. Uh, no, I like I I like that attitude. That, that fuck yeah, Let's do it. <laughs> uh, what what did you have in mind? Um, either something that binds its legs or slows it down, or what about something it, that makes it really heavy? That that too, yeah. <laughs> that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, I'll just I'll just reverse engineer the ones that I did to that I made to lift the gold out of the place. But you're gonna make it heavier instead. Yeah. yeah. Just the opposite. Yeah. Um. So I'll, should I roll for that, or should I wait for my turn? Um, we'll wait for your turn, but you can use this. Um, Constantine is going to um, try and bless your talismans as well. Okay. Yep. Alright. Uh, it's gonna turn around, and it's gonna look for Kuroko! 
Uh, wow. It does not find Kuroko. Oof. <laughs> A little oh. brush with that. Oh. What that? Concern. Mm hmm. It, it already rolled its nine for you. It didn't see you. Okay. Good. 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 It just kind of ran over into a corner. Door. Door. Yes. Chamine. Bring that! Dude, why? What was that for? You okay, Hello? Alex? Huh. I am concerned. I'm gonna mute him. At least it didn't blow my eardrum out, but it was loud. That was weird. He probably was yelling at a child. I'm guessing he was. That's very rude. Um. So I'll try and make ten big paper mm -hmm. talismans to try and fuck this guy up. And you got this. Do it up. So. Okay. Well, do you want to um, do you want to like make the recipe first, then do it, or do you want to just spend ten doing it now? You know what I mean. Um. Yeah. How long would it take for me to not have a minus thirty on my roll to make these? It's been a half action for each one. Type into Alex, I think. Mm -hmm. All right. This is the third time today that my son has let out a blood curdling scream like someone has stabbed him. And it's because he and my middle child are roughhousing like fucking animals. Yeah, that and was, was that he his gets, noise? And or when was that he you gets, turned around and yelled the, at him? When he gets the slightest fucking hint of pain, he screams like he's being murdered, and I, I just fucking snapped. Okay. Well, please do not do that anywhere near the mic, or that was our eardrums, and that was horrible. Sorry, uh, I actually had my microphone up. But I hit the countertop so hard that it disconnected the USB drive because it's a wireless headset. Yeah. And Why? you guys heard it through the through the computer. Yeah, we uh wish we did. Yeah, we was um it was not it was the opposite of fun. But now we're back to fun and uh Allie's gonna make some cool stuff. Yeah, I'm do good. it. Do fun things. Um, I was, um, I can I take um? So they're taking me an extra half turn to do the quick draw talisman. Can I take a little bit longer and like get these right? Yeah, you can. You can take multiple turns and set this up. Okay. Um. What, uh, how many turns would it take to do 10 heavy talismans on full sheets of paper? Uh, it'd probably take about three turns. But I'll have you roll on each. Right, if you roll really well, it might take you less. If you roll poorly, it might take you more. Okay, so roll sleight of hand. 
Or is it rolling exorcism? Yep. Um, it will actually be exorcism. We'll roll exorcism. Okay. I'm just wondering because you're not doing the quick wise this time and you're actually taking your time to do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oof. Nope. Minus one. Oh well. Uh, it'll take you a little bit longer. For my turn, I'm going to be creating both my um, ice clones. And um, so for clarity wise, it takes half turn to make one of them. I'm guessing it takes another half turn to make the other. Um, so after I make those half turns, does it cost me more actions to move them? Or are these as like as they get a full move, or they get a full turn as uh, as you do? Okay, so once I create them, they get a full turn. Please, please differentiate with with little um, markers yeah. like you did for the other one uh, to let me know which. Uh... Sure, sure. Um, let's just do. Hmm. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to have them kind of crouched and ready to move. And that's my turn. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, if you use a sprint, they can get over there. Yeah, the hunters, they left the, uh, the dark zone, yeah, the dark at, a full, zone. At, a full, at a full sprint. Good, because I was about to uh, fuck your day up. <laughs> well, the, you survived a, a piercing sniper rifle shot mm -hmm. and uh, dodged it. And um, one of your teammates has a high ground. And uh, yeah, you were doing some fuckery. So they decided, you know what? Not fuck it. Right. We're, we're done with that shit. <laughs> They've you guys learned do information. What you do. Yeah. <laughs> they tried. Cool. Um Save those tokens. I think I save those tokens and get rid of them. Yeah. Matt, how much longer are you good to go for? Would you like to go for another two hours till 12, or do you want to go? I'm feeling pretty good right now. I'm actually, um, the only break I'm going to need is when I get my food because I'm ordering, um, I got a free pizza. So I'm going to order nice. free pizza from Domino's. Um, that tea woke me right the fuck up. That's good. Yeah. You seem very awake right now, so I'm, I was just curious. Yeah, it was, it was kind of weird. Like, I, the moment I had that tea, because I was feeling like shit, mm -hmm. and then I'm just, it's better. Like, I think Allie cured me through her power of tea from Canada. <laughs> like, That's I, what I do. So I'm just sitting here having a great no, time. You guys are like experiencing. I've experienced the sheer power of Yorkshire tea gold. <laughs> Stifling Brit. Right, let's see if they that. <laughs> they do. Uh, they're not going to be surprised this time, so they will shoot that fucker. So, did they go barreling past Kuroko, or did they go no, away they went, from re us? They retreated. They, 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 retreated. They, they took the the best route they could to get away from any of your firing lines. Oh, I see. Yeah. 
I'm not sure how I feel um, about you did, that. You did, you did get a catch a glimpse of them. Um, they would be uh, high level scavengers. Um, they are well armored, mm-hmm. uh, well armed mm-hmm. for basic human military. I like their um, ability to shoot through the, the darkness. That's that's yeah. interesting. Um, thoughts? Maybe a um, maybe a camera system. Maybe. Possibly. That's my thought. Um, if they're scavengers, they mm-hmm. likely have some uh, ability or, or some item that allows them to see through the shadow. Or they could be, you know, not human, and they have uh, differing sensory perceptions that allow them to see through it. It just seems that it's been very static in, in these darkness areas that your sensory organs do not work the way they should. Okay. Um, sorry, I was... People were... All right. Okay. So the hunters have moved. Lidmilla... Um... All they do is remind you of um, Hawthorne's scavers. Like, they're human. They saw crazy shit in here. Um, they struck first because, you know, that's, that's what you do in a situation like this. Yeah. Um, especially if you're desperate for stuff. Um, and you know the price to get in is fucking steep. So. Um, yeah, they ran off. There, you didn't really see anything special about them. If you want to chase after them, you can. Probably wouldn't be too difficult to take them out. Sorry, my daughter was talking to me. Hit me one more mm-hmm. time. Um, the individuals that you saw run away mm-hmm. reminds you of uh, some of Hawthorne's scavengers. Mm-hmm. Um, decent gear, but uh, definitely not a guardian, or could take on a guardian. Um, they definitely shot at you guys first, because uh, you know the price here is steep to get in, as you well know. So, um, um, they probably wanted to see if they could recoup some costs, uh, and they don't know if you guys would attack first. So, in the law of the jungle, you know, strike what well, strike when you can. That didn't work, so they're probably gonna bug out. Uh, you could probably easy, easily pursue them and take them out, but again, um, they're they're definitely going to hightail it out of here at a very, very quick pace. Yeah. Um, if we chase them, we risk losing our loot, don't we? Um, <laughs> they probably they probably have whatever they collected, but I mean, you guys got all sorts of stuff to collect, so. Yeah, well, no, that's what I'm saying, is that if I spend a bunch of time chasing after them, I probably won't. uh, It's just time detracted from us being able to acquire the wealth we've currently. I think we should focus on this big mask guy. I mean, nine masks could pay for a lot more time in here. We just need to remember that there's also the hunters that could swoop in and take the ship from us after we do the dirty work. Just uh, yeah. remember that. That's, that's a... Those would not be them, because uh, those, those, oh, those, those, those three individuals who ran away, uh, no. <laughs> no. Those guys were like, oh no! Those guys are... <laughs> You know what? Honestly, I'm not super worried about it. I say we let them go. Um, we can always, given the nature of what we understand about them, we can always roll on them I later. Know. Yeah. I mean, Kuroko's probably got right, their scent. Yep. <laughs> Just not wounded. I smell weakness! Yeah, weakness for sure. They fucked up when they tried to shoot me, but it is what it is. Yeah. Well, not everything. I mean, the moment you start popping out level. ice clones, they're like, "Ooh, yep, no." That's uh, that's going to be a negative Ghost Rider. Okay. Uh, alrighty. So I see this uh, tier two motherfucker here. Hmm. 
Hmm, it's raining pretty hard now. Mm -hmm. uh, that was what reminded me that I need to take the recycling out is how badly I don't want to go out there. I feel that. Uh, <clears throat> see if they're grenades, so this should be fresh. Uh, I'm gonna takes a full action to reload uh, the big gun. So that's going to be like my entire round uh, yes, uh, if I go that route. Unless she got, um, you know, talents for it. Nope. I'm a talentless hack. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I've been spending the whole game burning paper. So, like... Yeah, but I mean, you have a Schrodinger's uh, paper supply. Like, you have Schrodinger's printer. You have a potentially infinite paper supply until you don't. I don't have <laughs> infinite number of turns, though. That's true. Uh, all right, you guys want me to... Like, what's the biggest target you think I should focus on right now? Uh... Hey, some peeps. Yeah, some peeps appeared. Yeah. Yeah, those 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 scavengers, they, they look a little straight familiar. up lit a campfire. Just for fun. One of well, them looks a little boy. familiar. Yeah, very familiar. <laughs> well, I think you should murder um face stealers. That guy. Oh, and okay. Then, um, we'll all gear after everything's cleared out. We'll all gear up and go in together as a team against the big guy that ran off this way, I think. Down below me. Down here. Somewhere. All right. Uh, really? Because I thought he ran this way. I thought he, uh, yeah, I thought he ran this way. No, this way. He came back. He doubled back. Oh, okay. Though he might he... run this way soon if these idiots don't put out their fire. Put it out, you fools! Put it out! Alrighty. Um... Well, what are you doing? What did you just reload? Don't pressure me. Uh, I'll know the doll. Yeah. I'll know the doll. No? I'll know about the doll. Uh, Le oof. All right. Uh, okay. I'm going to, uh... Sorry. Okay. You know what? I'm going to, uh... No? Mm, yes, step please. into into arc and run way of the current. And I'm going to, uh, eat the knife. At uh, at this homie, um, mm. I'm a melee him. I don't think. And, um, I don't think Wave the Current has a knife. Uh, Arc Striders don't have a knife attack. No. What is their melee then? It's an empowered melee. You um, you punch. Literally, it's an empowered fist punch. Uh, the only ones with a throwing knife is. Um, the solar classes. Uh, that's the but... void class has a smoke screen, and the arc straders have an empowered punch. One disorients, one is just does extra damage and heals you. That's right. Oh fuck it. What can you do? Mm -hmm. Ow! 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 Mm -hmm. 
You hurt uh, all right, then. You know what? It's worked the first time. I'm just going to throw the knife. So you're not switching to arc? Nah. Okay. Like... <clears throat> Because it's, uh, honestly, going to do me better uh, to be solar right now. Because that throwing knife lets me hit things at, uh, at range. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to... I'm going to eat a knife at him. Um, let's go ahead and take the, uh, can I hit him with the entire fan of knives if I knife trick him? Mm, there's a fan of knives and then there's a knife trick. Pick one. Well, no, the knife trick is the fan of knives. And then there's, uh, playing with fire and burning edge. Well, no, you can't knife hit trick him with all three. You'd, well, have no. to be, yeah. you'd have to be literally right next to him to try and hit him with all three. I'm confused, because those are all different perks. Get it from my like, the one perk, knife trick, thing. throws a fan of knives instead of just one. Hmm. I know, it's the middle tree. Anyway, uh, you know what? Either way, I'm gonna have to hit him with the uh, hit him in the face. So, uh, yeah, yeah, let's pop the knife and eat it at him. You pass. What'd you aim for? Did you just uh, aim for the head? Yeah, I gotta aim for the head on these guys, or they don't die. So it's nope. Stop that. Do that. Uh, and then minus twenty. So that's just a flat roll on ballistics. No, nope. did you roll? I don't see it yet. Boop. Miss. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna throw a fate point at that. Really? Already? Okay. Didn't didn't go so well for me last time, but. Oof. Are you? Again, the same shit. Last time it was in like an eighty-five, so you, you know you're you're well, getting more. Last time more. it was literally like I know it was a what? sixty-eight and then a or sixty-seven. 69. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Two, one difference for sure. Now I remember. Yeah. That. It's just a waste of fucking fate points. Like I was saying, you didn't have to reroll. <laughs> yeah, oh. no, so much garbage. It's like if I don't roll with a massive bonus, the game's just like, nah, fuck you. So was that a half action or what was that? Uh, yeah, that's a half action. So what's your move? Um, uh, fuck it. Um, my DFA is is light infused, right? DM. Uh, yeah, all your all your abilities are light infused. Well, the gun. Okay, yeah, fuck it. I'll plug in with it. Uh, last time you tried to shoot it, it didn't do very well against it. I just it's coming to mind. It's a mortal weapon, right? Uh maybe, but I have more light now. Well then bang bang it. Yeah, right. That's I'm I'm asking for a, a clarification here, DM. Um, like if I shoot it with my DFA, is that going to deal damage, or is the DFA not empowered to do that? It's not empowered to do that. You need okay. A, you need an exotic weapon for that. Okay. So, literally, the only thing I have that can hurt this guy is my uh, shrapnel launcher. Or a melee attack. Um, shrapnel launcher won't... Um, do it either. You'd probably have to do a melee attack. 
No, the shrapnel launcher is specifically light infused. I sunk a fate point into oh, it that's right. to yeah, make it did. so. Yeah, no, that would do it if you hit it in the head. Yeah, but I have to reload the shrapnel launcher, so. Yeah, there you go. Half action. Uh, that's half reloaded. <clears throat> Cuckoo. That's Cast my turn. Him. All right. He's um, gonna prolong that. Um, this thing is going to, since it's so damn tall, it's gonna take mm -hmm. a try yeah, and take a certainly. swipe at its at your feet. It will actually take. It'll uh, slice your toes off. Do I get a dodge on that? Yes, of course. Okay. This one does a lot of pen, by the way. Uh, yeah, so dodge is agility, so this blows 20. Go! Ha ha! Four degrees of success. You can jump out of the way. Nice. Nimbleness! Nah, no, I probably don't actually move, but. Door! Thorpe. Chamine. Making some rolls, bay. <laughs> Nice. That's that one. Very good. Damn. Yeah. She's getting her exercise on. I mm -hmm. am. You're getting close. Constantine will go and bless them. They're very <laughs> blessed. Excellent. Take blessed. Kuroko. <clears throat> um, Okay, so from Halo, I'm going to uh, relay a message to Constantine and uh, Shamane as I'm watching them kind of make uh, make some stuff. All right. So trapping the monster is probably going to be the best idea. We know that. Um, if we can get it um, disabled, in a sense, I can blast it with ice with my two clones and uh, do a, a combo attack kind of deal. But if I get close to that thing, it's going to shred me, even with through stealth. So, which thing? Uh, the the big boss. Oh, the spooky uh, boy, or the, yeah. the, the, the the slicey boy. So, what about if we uh, like dull its senses? Maybe we can uh, flash with light or do some blinding effects to it. Maybe that's uh, I've got some flash grenades, but I don't know if it's going to work on something like that. Just a thought. Um, I'll keep things um, off your guys' tails for now um, and make sure it's not coming our way. In the meantime, I'm going to deal with uh, creatures. Proko. Yeah. As you are moving through this area, okay. your ice ice presence picked up a very passing signature. Okay. Probably a face stealer, but you can't see it with your eyes, only through your domain. Okay. Um probably something and but it passed very, very quickly. Like it was okay. just a brief but so it does no... let you know that something's there. Okay, okay. Probably right. one of those invisible ones. Yep. The tier four that originally took my face. It's quick, that's for sure. Um, so now it's time for me to experiment a bit. Um sure I'm gonna... tier two. So mm -hmm. tier two? Something? I'm pretty sure that it was a tier two that took your face. No, no, it was a tier one. four. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We were, no. I, I we can, can confirm. We can go back and pull the freaking thing up because he recorded it. Because that's why that I have the the ability that lets the tier fours ignore me. Or I that, just that makes anything up to tier four ignore me. Yeah. Um. The reason why it comes to mind too is just I thought um things of tier 
four could take faces and make trinkets, but maybe that's not the case. So that's that's an assumption I'll take away. Um, so with my ice clones, I've just moved a full action 10 right there. Um, but I want to see if my ice clones can actually form combat or are they just um, um, just here, go that way kind of deal. So I'm going to see if my uh, clones can uh, start attacking this thing. Um, they did move. Uh, I don't know if they are... Um, they could do a basic attack action. Can do a basic attack action. Can they use both hands or just one? Um, as basic. Basic. So nothing. Nothing fancy. No martial arts. It's just they get one standard basic attack standard each. attack, and then of yeah. course they get your move. But of course that's something you can upgrade. So you can yeah, of course. have just a barrage of Kuroko. Um, my my thoughts here are just um, does um my <laughs> frostbite. Um, still, like when I hit something with these clones, they're going to be yeah, affected by frostbite, right? Pure ice. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just going to do two standard attacks um, off of my uh, base weapon skill. No bonuses from anything else. Uh, there's a failure for the first guy, and here's the second guy for an attack. There's no inescapable, so it's just basic. But it does not dodge. <laughs> okay. Um, so these guys are cold. Um, I don't know. They're you know, twelve. They can, plus three. they can apply your direct dice. Okay, so he's they're, they're pure ice. They're basically right. you. So um, I think that's a uh, eighty-four is a what? Let me look. Uh, eighty-four is a right leg. No, left leg. Right leg. Eighty-four. It is a leg. <laughs> it's one of those. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so movement a little, little slower. It's going to be a right leg. Yep. You have. How many degrees of frostbite? Uh, it's <laughs> uh, 15. Then that ice is completely frozen. That, that leg, that whole leg is just yep. frozen. frozen. It's, frozen it's, you can get. it's 12 from the um, my basic being this cold, and then a plus three from my Geist Catcher Mask. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's, he's, yeah. Uh, he, his leg is completely froze. Completely froze. Rats, you're a dick. <laughs> um, that's the end of my turn. Okay. We're going to have some hunter boys run and run. Uh, they're going to run into the barrier though oh <laughs> and they ran into a they ran into a shaman barrier <laughs> that's unfortunate no. Alex, if you want to go steal some shit, now's the time. If I want to go steal some shit, yeah. Um, the uh, the scavenger the scavenger guys got trapped in a in the barrier that Shamane made. Oh, well, they they just can't. They're not trapped in it. They they cannot use this exit. They have to go find another one. Yeah, which which was yeah. Okay, is that a thing that we're doing? Or are we highway robbing other people? It is up to yeah. you. I'm just giving you the option. We can if we want. They're there. How are you guys feeling about me going and stealing everything these dudes have and probably having to kill them because it's a death sentence either way? Shamane mm. does not want to know about it. <laughs> is that what I am? Is that what I am to you guys now? I'm the one with the dirty hands. You I'm your dirty sinner. hand friend. You are the sinner. I mean, clearly. I mean, that I choice is on you. You don't have to go murder those people. Yeah. I you mean, can, you can put your greed aside and your grievances and be like, nah. Uh, you can also, we can also get information from them too, I guess. But 
that's uh, that's not highway robbing them. Just uh, you know, tit for tat. They tried to they tried to attack us. It's just not return the favor, but uh, deal with the issue. So is again those oh the hunter guys, not these dudes over here. Not the dudes around the campfire, the other crew? These guys yeah. up here. Oh, I see. They tried to uh They're like the ones that threw the shrapnel grenade and tried to shoot me with the sniper round. That's true. I'm uh Yeah. Um, I'm currently um, protecting our supports to uh, so we can get this uh, trap made. So I'm not going to be moving up, okay. but you're welcome to parlay. Okay. Uh... You would have to venture into the mist, though. They They wandered straight into the mist. I'm not too worried about the mist. Um, would it be possible for me to just drop a grenade on this thing as I'm running past? You don't need to. I, I can deal with it fine enough. He's already you frozen for, ah. for a right bag, so... It didn't have an icon or anything on it, so I wasn't sure. There's still another one over here. Yeah. I want to be... Yeah, either you need to deal with that or... There's also this creature. Don't forget about this big, big boy. He looks scary. Oh yeah, what's that guy looking like? Uh, he looks more incorporeal, actually. Maybe a ghost. That'd be more Kuroko's path than mine, then, wouldn't it? I'll figure it out with my guy's catcher mask. See if it is a ghost or a faceless. Um, the things that aren't a threat, we can just let go. It's not a big deal. We don't have to go deal with those scavengers. We should deal with the current threats around us. Like, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm thinking it's like, uh, homies, this is not really something we need to fuck with. Did we notice them stealing the shit from these guys that we killed? No. They ran over them and didn't even, they didn't give them a second glance. Didn't even hesitate. All right. Then that's going to be... Yeah, yeah they, they, they didn't even stop. They didn't even look at them. They just ran over them and just was like, nope, see ya. Yeah. You know, they haven't, let's, looted, they haven't, looted, any, they haven't looted anything that you have killed. Okay. Then you know what? I'm not too worried about it. You said this guy is frozen? His leg is currently up. Oh, okay. Uh, this guy is seems like a ghost? Seems it. Um, yeah. Um... I'm not really particularly bothered by those scavengers. We can we can always kick their asses later. Um I'm gonna uh soften this fool up. Uh so that if he is in fact a ghost of the ghostly variety, um <clears throat> then uh Kuroko can just slorp him. You have that or put it to my subdomain? Yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna... Not wanting to fuck with, uh... With trying to keyhole the, the prison bars. I'm going to... Toss a grenade. Toss an arc grenade. The, uh, storm cloud above his head, so it just rains a bunch of lightning strikes down on him. Mm 
Alright. Just lightning it is. Bless the scale, bless the scale, bless the scale. Mm-hmm. Boom. Uh, six degrees of success. Nice. What are you, single? Uh, 24, nice. Use... Yeah. Um, doesn't kill it, but it does hurt it, and the ice on the leg explodes. Destroying the leg. It's gone. Um, on, that, no, on, on, on this homie. Oh. Yeah, this one. So that if he is a ghost or is geisty enough to count, Kuroko can just nom him with the mask. Whoosh. Good try. He dodged. How how high is his dodge that he beat my six degrees of success? You don't have like is, an escapable or you anything don't, like that. You don't have an escapable. <laughs> six I, degrees means you just pass. Even if you pass okay. with a single degree, means you just pass. I thought well, he no. had to beat my degrees of success to be able to dodge. No, no, that is not at all. Now, if you had like area of effect stuff or like things like things like that, yeah, like, the cloud hits a zone. No, what you have to do is just if you pass, you pass. If you hit, you hit. But if you dodge, you dodge. Like it doesn't matter the number of degrees of success, unless it has to do with um, explosions, area of effects, scatter, um, full auto. That's a tough one. Full autos, that's where that's 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 where the um, that has to come in. Same with burst. But if it's a single ability or a single fire, as long as you pass with one degree of success on a dodge and there's nothing hanky panky about it, then it's just a dodge. No I mean it's still a it grenade. Oh, you threw an arc grenade? Yes. It, yeah, it's the the storm cloud grenade for the warlocks, the one the that just rains is, a bunch of lightning bolts down. You can still pass in a dodge as long as it has degrees of success um, and agility bonus to move out of the area of effect. It's at the end of it, so I, I just as long as it, you know, can get out of the area, it should be fine. Uh, you'll shock it. But yeah, good, good. Okay. So, do I roll damage on it, or does he just go, ouch, and and no fucks are given? Um, no, it looks like you might have dispersed a part of it, but nothing... Uh, it definitely, you definitely have its attention, though. Okay. Uh, Kuroko, eyes up. Is that a geist? Uh, on my turn, I'll uh, check out. Do a survival on it. It's kind of like out of my view right now, right? I mean, these things are high enough to see. Like the floor comes up to your head. Oh, Constantine, good for you, buddy. Hey, hey, hey upgrade. <laughs> upgrade. <laughs> Upgrades, people. Upgrades. I'm so proud of him. He's he's holying that holy talisman's real goods. Yeah. Um He'll be the holiest. He will definitely get the an upgrade. And um the trap you guys will set will summon an angel to fight as well. Ooh. Neat. Nice. I can see that going badly for me, but it should be fine. <laughs> Just like put on a hat or something, no one recognizes. Wear a mask. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. (laughs) We'll get you like some glasses and a mustache. (laughs) Leopard disguise. (laughs) Okay, so uh, while you think about that. Um, uh, go, go, he's gonna yeah. slash you. He does the so minus 20 to dodge. Okay. And he's trying to kill one of your clones. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna murder late one of your clones. Nope, he dodges. All right, mm-hmm. 
This thing's gonna slash it. No, no, I guess not. All right. Um, the specter comes over, and it's gonna try and soul siphon you, Ludmilla. Oh, it does not. What a what a joke. Oof. No, you stop that right now. That's mine. Door. Shaman and an and an and an It's me. I will roll another exorcism. It's been like four ones this uh, this session so far. One on NPC. Another on an NPC. Myself and yourself. Where you at, Ludmilla? You gonna you gonna show us up or what? Is it my turn already? No, no, no. I was just thinking for your one. Oh, Everyone else I didn't roll one. one. I know. Oh, idea. I won't get one. I won't get one. <laughs> like I, my luck is horrible, as we've witnessed. If I don't have a higher than a hundred percent, a hundred on my roll, then I almost always bomb it. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> That's why I need the mass. I need them so much. I suck without them. It's okay. Um, so that's a nice. Universe six degrees starts against me for for exorcism. Did I make the talismans? You did. I did. <coughs> Huzzah! Huzzah! Good sir. Indeed. You put Huzzah. the talismans okay. together and. Uh... You're going to need to um, somehow deploy these without getting noticed by mm. the thing. Can we slap them on Kroko's ice clones? I guess that would make your ice clones real heavy. We should put them in an area and then lead it to the area. That's my thoughts. Would that work? Could we set set up some kind of um, trap? Yeah, some kind of circle with them that'll that we can lead the monster into. Well, absolutely. You just gotta kind of figure out where we're gonna do that. Um, Ray. Okay, I will communicate with my team and be like, hey. We've got a trap ready if you guys want to get the big bad in a trap. Uh, Halo will speak over and say, um, right in front of you guys seems to be a common area. It's gone back and forth from there, so maybe it would stay in the same same spot. Um, but besides the point, um, we'll do my turn. Are you guys ready for trapping? Trippy trip trips. No, yeah, we should clear the area first before we do that. It's a big area. Uh, just the immediate surroundings. Like this is this guy's on me, and I have another guy within this. Um, Matt, I'm curious. Does my domain detect anything within the darkness? It does. Okay, that's really neat. That's really neat. Okay, um, so. Um, I'm going to do two standard attacks again on these bad boys. There's the first one. There's the second one. Um, a hit. Um, that's a uh, left arm. Uh, I'm then going to do a, um, a survival roll with my mask, one who wears the mask on uh, this creature here to see if it is a face stealer, faceless, um, with 89. I think 89, 86 has been every single one so far on this thing. It is a ghost. It's a ghost. I can at least tell that. That's good. It is a soul-sucking kind of ghost. Yeah. It wants, it wants your soul! Um. So 
So what I can do, since this is in my aura, is just like surround it with cold ice. Just kind of like, like make a little blizzard with, within that area. Okay. That little square. Just going to make it real real frosty for him. Um, good little influence from Pulse Pan. I need okay. to get rid of there, but... Yeah, yeah. Let's see what happens in the meantime. The 90. Dosa. And I don't really need a fake point that much, I guess. I'll uh, save that for another time. I just don't want the uh, sex souls for anyone else. I don't know. I might be near nap time. It's okay. It's mm -hmm. 11.04 for those guys right now. Fret not for the weak flesh. We okay, that's from success. Through tribulation. Okay. So, um, I failed my influence. Uh, it sucked. Um, I can't suck it into my um, domain, my subdomain yet, for uh, this soul, even though it probably doesn't want to yet. Um, I don't know if there's anything I can really do. Uh, so this um, concentration attack, is this like a uh, a full action to do this, or...? How can I, like, is this just, no, like, on a will? If it was a full, if it was, like, a full concentrated effort to, like, use your full turn to do it, mm -hmm. I'd give you significantly more bonuses and maybe right. not have you use influence. This was kind of, I thought you were kind of just doing a, like, a turn and Thanos cool. snap that area of just, yeah, that's, yeah. that's fucking. It's within my domain. Wow. I can kind of do that because, you know, that's, that's the way it goes. Um, but all right. No, I just, I was, I was curious. So let's say that was a free action. And, um, uh, no, I don't want to do that yet. Um, I'm going to delay my turn, actually. That's what I shall do. I shall delay. I'm waiting to, for the time to strike. Okay, the hunters are actually going to scramble over the wall, which is not sealed off. Yeah. As they're scrambling, can I do something? 
Sure. I want to whistle real loud at them. Be like, hey! And just make a finger gun at them. No, they just keep moving. Um, but when you get to the door, make me, you, know, you can definitely see it. Um, they take a couple things off of their packs, leave them at the base of the door and leave. Oh, oh neat. Interesting. Um. Kuroko, did you find out if this is a geisty enough thing to geist with yes. the geist catcher mask? It is, but I didn't cool. even pass, pass the survival if I wanted to. Um, this would fill up my last um, slot, though. No, this wouldn't, it wouldn't. It wouldn't actually do that. No, I have two more. I have two more slots. Do you oh. want it, or should I kill it? It's a soul sucking thing. So I mean, maybe it would pair well with my subdomain kind of thing going on here, or I could just suck them into that, but I I really um yeah. I don't I, yeah, I'll 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 suck it up actually. And and then if it's in my geist, maybe I can do some funky stuff because I have a soul and I could just move it around kind of deal. I'll figure something out. Cool, cool, cool. All right, it's on you, long as the option's there. No. Yo. Uh, all right, so I'm going to spend a half action to finish reloading. Archon, shrapnel launcher, ready to go. Um, So I'm going to, uh, you know what? I'm just going to sink around. Would Are your uh, ice clones going to get hurt in a blast from this dude? Uh, depending on how many meters it is. It's three meters up, right? So, Yeah. Is it? Or, or maybe yeah. like a meter and a half up from the ground. Like, is it all floaty floaty up there uh, out of range of a nice solid blast to Kuroko's ice clones? It is... Uh... Pressed up, it's not entirely pressed up against the um, the bars, but it's close. You could reach through the bars and touch it. Um, but it's behind the bars. Oh, uh, that's cool. If you want to go to a different target, I can literally just use my my turn, my half turn now, and then suck it up with a uh, a geist. Well, I mean, I was gonna weaken it so that you could pull that off, but I mean, I think I should too. B two anyway. I should be fine. Okay. Um. All right. Where did biggest dickus go? Uh, I think he went that away. From below. Okay. Boop. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Before eight. you keep going, by the way, they need to set up their trap before you lead it towards us. Okay. We do. It's true. Canine. Uh, then I'll use my float, my big old floaty float power, and uh, I'll scoot this way. Oh, hey, there it is. Uh, all right. And I'm just going to point my gun in the direction of the... That uh might be my food. <coughs> Good timing. The Deuteronomus. All right. So this guy will ignore the fuck out of me. Because he's a whirling dervish by the looks of it. (sighs) 
Yeah, you're in a good position because you are a, uh, you know, faceless. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so even if he notices me, he's going to have to try and pull my mask off and he's going to fail. Oh, and if he does try to take your mask in, instead of just annihilating you, um, he, he gets frozen, right? So yeah. that's, that's good. Well, the, the bisected mask compels them to try and take my face and puts them in that stun state. It's like one of my more powerful ones. That's why I didn't want to trade it. What about, what about you distract it, make it um, be distracted for a turn up to four. We have Constantine and Shamane put the wards around you guys. Get out of the way when when it's in that that state of like not moving. Activate it and then uh, combo attack it. Just alt it. Whatever we need to do on this thing. Is that is that is that thoughts? Is do you like that? Do you like this play? Because I like this play. You wanna uh, you wanna stun it and then build build an arena and then me and him go full Thunderdome. Um. Not even that. You get out of the arena because the area of effect is going to, you know, the, the, the wards are going to affect you. We're going to fucking bring in an angel because of Constantine. And I'm going to check Kuroko's at it um, with, like, ice ice bombs, it pr it pretty much. Um, you can super it. Uh, we, we can have lots of fun with this. But I, I, I feel like, garage. but I feel like you are our opener here. Because okay. you will you allow it because it is a face stealer to be stunned for up to four turns. And this this okay. gives us time yeah, to in, instead of making a trap that we don't know it's going to go into, we can make a guaranteed trap and then activate the ruins or the the talismans when it's stunned. I I feel like this is a good play. You step out while it's, you know, it's stunned. Um, talismans are activated. And then we just go to town on this thing. Or even yeah. take its trinkets so while, while it's... clarify, yeah. where are you, Ludmilla? You right here. In the air or on uh, the ground? I imagine I'm on the ground. Um, okay. Yeah. Okie dokie. It's just coming your way, probably. That's what that okie doke is about. No, nah, it can't. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't know I'm there. Like it can move this way, but it'll completely and totally ignore me. But um, mass going that way. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. Nah, like if it if it comes, then I mean I'll do something to distract it, and then it gets, you know, it'll get caught by the bisected tr uh, mask trinket, and we can we can move from there. The bisected mass trinket may not work here. Because it might just blow you up. Is it a face stealer? It does, but each face stealer to archetype has a different way of stealing faces. The other ones literally rip it off of you. This one um, rips it out of you when it hits you with a chain. Okay. I mean, it would still and be compelled to, to do that. You first. This one actually loots you after death. That's fine. I mean, like, there's a progression here. First, it has to realize I'm there. Then it's compelled to try and steal my face, mm -hmm. which means even if nothing else, I can still serve as fine bait. Constantine's like, all right, I'm ready. I'm ready. He's ready. It just stands there. Yeah. Um. So I'm going to interject my um, my half action here, Matt, with, from my delay. Um, I'm going to suck up this thing here with um, a survival or whatever you want me to use. With the guy's sketcher mm -hmm. mask. Say you said. Can I can I, have a, can I have a fate point, please, from somebody? This is this is bullshit. I've I've had 89, um, 90s. You might want to roll an uh, influence test. You want to? 
bullet into an eye. Oh, I thought I had to do survival for that. Survival to figure out where you live. Okay. Uh, no, I, I've I've failed. I've just I don't think I've ever used influence for it. I think I've I've always used something else. So um, there goes that half half, half turn. You, yeah. Is he gonna try uh, and soul suck me? What's going on? He's gonna try and figure out which one's you. Oh. <laughs> he's gonna soul suck that Kuroko. Oh. Sip sip sip. Empty glass. I mean, so technically, it's est in there, so he's gonna start eating some est. I see. Um, but it's um, infectious cold est, so uh, good luck yeah. with that. Yeah, I know. Okay. Um, miss. All right, that one will lash out at you from the. Um... Okay, I knew it was there, so it's not a um, a thing, right? It's not a uh, surprise, so I can at least mm -hmm. try to dodge. All right, Ooh, so yeah. I will dodge. Wow. Well, well, good guys. So, um, once these hunted turns are over, it's my turn after this. So, don't just don't move my 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 thing because my ten still stays there. But I get to do a half move because I just interjected the other half already before. That's that's how the lay works. Immediately after their their turns, you go. Um, and I'm just going to do a double attack on this guy. So I'll just get out of the way. Oh, is there a faceless right next to you? Yeah. Afflicted. No. Damn. Oh, no, I failed. So uh, that's okay. Door's turn and then Chaminade's. Chaminade. Constantine's like, get ready. Let's go put them up. <sighs> so got... I'm, I'm putting them up. We're putting them up like around here. Seems like the best option. Okay, let's do it. What if I get to roll for that? Do I roll? Um, um, you've already made them. I need to roll acrobatics to do it real fucking quick. And stealth, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any checks of stealth? Uh, yeah, I do. Nice. All my checks of stealth. Yeah, we I was wondering if you... At least one stealth. Oh. So you got fate points for so let's got, check the stealth I've only though got first. One fate point, and I want to see it. Nice, nice. It's going a little slower than I expected, but I'm super sneaky. <clears throat> okay, yeah. It'll take you one more turn. Get them in right, just the right place. Got to do this right, guys. Good one chance. Okay, I'm going to try it again to um, suck this thing in. Uh, with the medium life, I fail. Uh, I'm going to get two attacks off with my clones. Uh, boom and I get the feeling maybe I should have bludgeoned that thing a little harder so that you got some bonuses on that. Ah, that's okay. Um, so... With a a body and a um, right arm, I think. Um, so body and body on that uh, those two hits there, Matt, for on this mm -hmm. guy. Um, I failed on my um, my sucking ability. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, roll your um, survival against it first to learn more about it. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I literally can't. I can't pass my uh, uh, my uh, my survival. It's uh, so. It's uh, not meant to be. Then it's not meant to be. So I have a a question. When can I bring this soul into my subdomain of like I did with that other guy? Like when is it? When I. 
but you know what? I'll figure it out later because if I get in the guy's smash, I can at least transfer it over. So this is you can later. Yeah. We can, we can talk about this later. Um, in the meantime, I to suck it. Is it a full action? No. Is it a half action, free action? It's because the no, mask's no. doing it. Okay, so yeah. I. Okay, so with my a bit of focus, yeah. Yeah. So with that other half action, I'm going to then attack this guy in here, so I can at least try to uh, slow him down. Um, uh, there's the first one, and here's the second one. Aha! You're gonna try and dodge. He's not. Okay. Oh, good, good, good. Um, that should be. If we were doing this correctly, that should be a headshot. Um, it is. Touching yep. the face. Yep. Touch him right in the face. Yep. And he's cold. Very cold. Yeah. He's frozen. He's a popsicle. Mm -hmm. Now the... Uh... Ice Kurokos. Um, one of them hit. Um, Wait, if you wanted... did, did you hit the guy in here, or did they hit this guy? So, Ice Kurokos hit this guy. I did a half action in here. So, if we look back, um, it was a weapon skill, weapon skill. Both of them hit. Both of them hit these guys. All right, which one was the headshot? Um, on this guy down here. Okay. My last, my last one. So um, they these ones were him. bodies, bodies, both body hits. I'm pretty sure, 55 and 34. I can't really dodge. He's a popsicle. Yeah. Out of okay. curiosity, what's up with the little fairies? Yeah, they're just dancing around on the water. Little water sprites. Oh, neat. Mm -hmm. I know nothing of this. I wish to know more. They're rather pleasant. And then some of them walk by, they wave at you as they skate across like, hello! I wave back. <clears throat> this is a very familiar map, Matt. I, I think you've used this map once upon a time. Yep. I was told that if I'm never going to reuse my maps, might as well just delete them. And I'm like, I, I spent way too much time on this fucking map. Mm -mm. No, no, I know. I, I like this map because I didn't really get to do much in it. It was more John doing it, but uh, I do remember it because it was the, the nightmare map. So it's, uh, it's nice. At least you used it for nightmares. It was about time. Yep. No, it's been a while. It's it's been uh, it's it's been a, it's been a couple uh, couple games. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Blood. Milla, 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 milla. You still with us, Alex? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm here. I'm sitting here uh, contemplating the plan. Uh, are you guys ready to do the plan? Shaman needs one more turn. All right. Then I'm going to hold my action uh, in case this fool decides to charge, and I'll hit him with the shrapnel launcher. <clears throat> okay. Um, and Constantine's well, well, this guy's gonna soul suck some more. He does a terrible fucking job. Really, just go shoot that guy in the face. So it was the forty-seven for it, or the eighty-seven? Oh, no, it was eighty-seven. Okay. Does he have a toughness now for the infectious cold, or is that affecting his? Is that just uh, going? That's just going. He's he's just, he's just freezing, man. Okay. Door. We got a minute and a half, guys. One second. Come on, and 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 and
Stealth me, baby. Shaman Nene. Ugh, sorry. I was taking out the recycling. Taking out the trash. There's mm. plenty of it Canadians on this. Canadians are so responsible. I know, right? <laughs> Except that we've forgotten for like the last two weeks. Um, so it's... Uh, Acrobatics. Acrobatics, thank you. You've already well, passed nope. your stealth. No, you need another stealth. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, you need another stealth like you would not believe. I'll do both. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. A three Why is she stealth thing? Um, because she's literally standing in an area where the, the creature can see where she is now. Um, I'll uh, reroll oh, that. See. That's what okay. you got. Faith point for. Yeah, that's what I've been yeah. doing for. Just exactly that. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. All right. All right. You did have to venture out a little further. I'm going to roll. Did I use a fate point this session? Hmm? No, I didn't oh, use a fate point this session. I didn't think no, you did. I <laughs> it talks <laughs> ahead. One of the masks vibrates and it starts to move forward. <clears throat> I need you to uh, make a raw agility to see if you get it completely done or if you have to rush one more. For Chaminet? Yep. Okay. Uh, For agility. And agility. And that eight was towards Chaminet, not our little unnoticeable friend. Okay, that's good to know. No, no it, 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 several of the masks kind of shimmer. Oh, no. Okay. You're going to need. Even with def- a three? I got a three. Yeah, no. You, um, you got it all got down it. to the last one. And. Does it notice you? Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. He kind of stands there and it's like... Oh, Livia Osa. All right. No, yeah, Shamane, your, your, um, <sighs> your thing is uh, ready. Is it? Okay. <clears throat> I will let everybody know. Um, I can't get out of it right now, can I? I have to wait for next turn. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll let everybody know that it's ready, but I am still inside of it. Okay. Uh, uh, All right. Kuroko. Kuroko is going to... Stare at it with your mask? And try and take it. Stare at it with your mask first. Um, Stare at do, it with my mask. Do, do I get to use my held turn? <gasps> I pass. You want to, uh, but it's Croco first. I pass. I should have used my mask first, like you were telling me, and then did rolled influence because I would have gotten that. But it is what it is. Uh, so um, I rolled with my mask at seven degrees of success. Um, uh, that is a uh, soul shrieker, guys. Uh, <clears throat> It might as well be a fucking honorary face stealer because it sucks out your soul. Specifically, it only likes to feed on fluidium, so it actually eats your masks first. Ooh. So it's just a giant battery leech. I want this thing. All right. So um, I failed my influence to suck it in, unfortunately. But, um... You can try one more time, but this time with a plus 20. Now as it, as you, it? your enhance your understanding of it went up. Wow! All right, it is going to get a feeble <laughs> attempt to resist. And no. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um. Which which size of eye is this thing? Uh, it is one of the mediums. Okay. It's not a big. It, you have one. Big, I know. mega big one. It does yeah. not use that one. You yeah. have not run into something that needs that. Yeah, that's good. Uh, that's but good. these are the medium ones. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're running out of those. <laughs> um, the 
this particular geist does only do two things in particular. One, it has an enhanced dispersal ability. As in, it has a really good uh, ability to avoid damage. Okay. Um, so it would basically allow you to um, have an extra line of defense. So if you were to lose your ability to get out of the way, you have an, uh, a dispersal ability where you can go uh, basically ghost form for brief. You, your body turns into mist or um, whatever the... the um, fluidium particles and the, the yeah. whatever would hit you would pass through. Um, it would be considered a secondary uh, dodge type of thing. All right, right, right. It's, so it'd be another line of defense. Or okay. you can be one of the best Hoover vacuums that uh, this 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 game has ever seen because it does have a, a fluidium. Um, yeah, I like that. I like that. Um. It, you, it's very limited in what you can, how much you can hold. But again, you can use one of your lesser eyes to be a reservoir. Yeah. For the fluidium drained. Mm -hmm. um, you cannot pull it from people. You can only pull it from pull mass. mass or fluidium. I can only pull it from fluidium, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, people have that have fluidium in them. Fair enough. Their soul, for example, or right. But it's more. It's a specific part of the soul. Right. You notice that. These people, when they die, they still have a soul. It, it's the, the soul. The face dealers only want a specific part. They want your potential. They want your right. talent, your ability. Right. Um, which is fine and all, but uh, that actually affects the karmic cycle because that is stolen from you, even if you reincarnate. It does. You does not come back. The next cycle, okay. you have to earn it back by living again and again and again and getting back that potential. Right. So basically, your next life sucks if you get a new one because you, you, you are talentless. You have very few life opportunities. Uh, you have no potential, literally. Um, usually, you die prematurely or you're just somebody ends up killing you or you have a terrible accident because you have no luck. <clears throat> So they so they fuck with people's reincarnation, or they fuck with mm -hmm. people's rebirth. Yep. This is good but information. It's not, it's not permanent. Yeah. Because, you know, it'll take you three, four, five reincarnations to get it back. <clears throat> That's a lot of lives that you just... just yeah. You sucked. you sucked at it. You sucked the suck. Yeah. So, um... White masks give you a plus 20. It's, it'll be an influence test to pull. Okay. But uh, you can pull just raw fluidium out of masks. And this is where the charged and not charged feature actually really comes into play. Um, because masks without charge give you nothing. Right. They it's are almost like wasting its potential because you just destroyed it. So well, it, it, well, certain masks crumple immediately if they're made of fluidium. They're fluidium right. constructs. They're man-made. If they're stolen, or if you, if you get it from a face stealer, if it has no fluidium, it's just inert. You get none of the stats, none of the protection. Yeah. It's just a face cover. Yeah. It's, it's almost like I mean, a... It's a ballistic a mask at that point. Yeah. Some it's, of them are not... really shitty ones. So... Uh, you make sure your masks have enough fluidium. And with that understanding, you realize that the more you use a mask, the more you use the fluidium in it. Meaning, if you have somebody who's using masks all the time, they're draining the charge. Interesting. So you need to, re you need to juice them. And the more powerful the mask, the more juice it needs. Right. And that's where... Fluidium really starts to become important because if you have some juicy masks, then you're going to you're going to need an equal amount of juiciness to get that that uh, shit running. So now you're seeing a couple of the flaws because the masks are stupid powerful. Where's the drawbacks? Well, now, there's there's several, but uh, this one apparently you got to have a little bit of you got to juice them, and you could probably find out how much they got. 
by using this guy's okay. ability to pull a, just a smidge from it. I was gonna say I can I can tell through the one who wears the mask anyway how much palladium right. is within a mask. So mm -hmm. that's uh that's so good. It's a really good thing that you're gonna need to keep track of because the guy's catcher mask also needs to be juiced. Fortunately, it's a powerful enough mask that yeah. when you catch something that has fluidium, like this geist, it pulls juice from it. That's okay. why you don't get all of the effects from this geist. Mm -hmm. That's why you have to pick one or the other, because it self-powers. So you're, you're telling me to choose right now between these two things? You have to pick one of the two. Yeah, you have to pick one of the two. The uh, the the draining power or the the extra extra defensive ability. I'll tell you a little bit more details about them um, once you've picked, but that's just the general gist of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gonna go pour myself some more tea. Good call, good call. Because I, I didn't think. He 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 he. Tea time, baby. Gonna be awake for this game. So glad I went out. <laughs> you so glad you want a pizza? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I'm fucking hungry, man. Ooh, had it delivered like an idiot. Pay like a bajillion dollars. You know what? Yeah. I'm the GM. Unfortunately, I can't really step away. No, it's okay. Yeah. Um, how long do you think you can last for Alley Girl? I'm a little bit more awake now that I've been out in the rain. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like... Oh, it's full. Oh, full. Putting your, getting it's yourself full. into a shower or something, I guess. I've got my fluffy coat on, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright. Um, um, so, so I really yeah. like the idea of taking fluidium from masks, because I can tell which ones are full. But at the Good. same time, well, I'm... This, this can also be done to people who are significantly more powerful than you. Right. Because they're using masks. Not everyone does. You can even use it to defeat opponents you can't normally defeat. Because Okay, you... I will I will take the soul sucking ability instead of the because enhanced on, like on the ability. third floor, if you come across someone you can't beat, they lose their face instantly if they lose their mask, and if the mask is not charged, it doesn't count. Yeah. So I will I will but, take that. But at the same time, one. having a powerful dodge ability when everything else fails, is rather silly. Oh, no, for sure. Um, the only thing mine is that we're about to face a face dealer here, and uh, it would be um, helpful to take away some of its uh, ability here. It um, would. The fluidium is a better long-term investment, I'd say, like stealing yeah. fluidium, because that's going to be something that's going to be useful all the way down. Yeah. And if either of you guys lose your faces... We can put those back on. Besides me. But I mean you guys could start using you guys could start using masks as well, and that would be a huge boost to your to our, our sustainability if we could harvest fluidium directly out of our enemies. <clears throat> like as much as it would hurt to let it go, that orange mask could probably fuel like the party like of lesser masks for a considerable period mm -hmm, for or sure. you could sell it for a significant sum yeah. yeah and i mean shit we could sell raw fluidium and make bank everybody needs this stuff and us being able to just snatch it out of effectively the air mm -hmm. so um even though I do like the enhanced dispersion ability, because that would work for multiple things, either mm -hmm. through souls, mind, body, um, mm -hmm. I will be taking the uh, the soul sucking of, of okay. the uh, the guys. Um, so, at your current state, the mask system under the colors that I've already been listed. Mm -hmm. um, I think we did the floor information. Um, oh wait, uh, oh. Uh, 
kiosk info. So those colors? Yes. Uh, start with a plus 20. Proceed with a minus 10 addition stacking for each color you go down currently. Because it does get a lot harder to pull any significant sum or any sum at all from a more well-constructed and more powerful mask. Right. White ones are rather defenseless, which is a little, a little concerning because some of the more powerful ones are white masks, like a.k.a. the Geist Catcher yeah. mask. But it also means they're a lot easier to fuel. They don't need that much juice. They're very efficient. They're very efficient, but they're not as heavily as defended. <clears throat> and with uh, the, the green ones, it's a plus 10, and then a 0, minus 10, 20, 30, and so on and so forth, until it, you start getting into the, I can't pull fluidium from these masks. Um, it has to do with density. Right. It's like picking out yeah. a stone. Fluidium is a particle until it's a liquid. Yep. And then it's a solid. Yep. And then you're like, how do I pull <laughs> solid fluidium out of a mask? You don't. It's literally, you just don't. And then it's a wave. And then it's a particle. Plasma. We've come full circle. Yeah. <laughs> so, some of the ones you, some masks down the line, until you build a special ability that maybe like, hey, I just turn your solid fluidium mask into a liquid. And whoop. Yeah. It pours off your face and hits the ground, and then we eat it. Or it just rolls off your face in a liquid cascade, or turns into particulates, just poof. <clears throat> what happens if you eat fluidium? Again, you, that would be an experiment that you would have to take. Sure um, sure to up for that. I mean, given the nature of fluidium, there's a chance it could go well. Yes. So, um, good information on the kiosk for the the types of mask and what the negative is for influence. Um, mm -hmm. So, what about when using this against face stealers? That's difficult. Okay. They have a natural defense that people don't. Right. Face stealers get a significant buff to defense because that is what they are. The mask right. that they wear, they don't have an identity behind it. That is right, it, it's it's they're taking it from someone else. I get that. Right. That. So there's a difference between pulling fluidium from the masks on their tr on their trophy belts. Mm -hmm. That's not as well guarded. It still will be more guarded. Yep. It'll have a defense, but you can still pull the fluidium. And so, in fact, some groups might just we don't want to fight the big scary, but we're gonna as he patrols, we're just gonna harvest from him from his his trophies. Maybe he might notice. Maybe he has so fucking many masks. And we only pull from the white ones, which are super easy to pull from. We just make bank. And he just, he does what he does. And they refill every time he makes his patrol. Like, there, there's there's way to make extreme amounts of money like that. Or resources. To, by not even fighting. Just by being a sneaky deaky bastard. Good the time. ones that are attached to their actual construct those ones those ones are going to be really hard okay. um it's, it'll it'll be almost better if you build a distortion ability to confuse the masks <coughs> that are the face rather than actually drain the life from it because you're not just draining energy from the mask itself you're actually draining the life energy from the entire creature not yeah. just one thing so you're basically draining its soul. So you, you'd have to drain all the mass simultaneously and the entire, all the energy out of the entire creature to drain the masks. <laughs> and they get a significant defense because it's, it's, a, it's an attack of spirit, attack of will, and they can rebuff that. Mm -hmm. They also will notice, unlike yeah, sure. pulling from their treasure belt. <clears throat> they have a really small treasure belt, they'll notice instantly because they're fucking gremlins about it. But if it's a big sweaty boy who's got thousands and you're really small and quiet, probably not. He got that try hard sweat on. In fact, um, uh, go ahead and make me an awareness, uh, Lemilla. You, you're just kind of there. You get a good look at him. He's not doing anything. He's actually gotten closer. You can peruse his belt. Oh, fuck the hell yeah. 
Yeah, you can look at what he's got, not particularly touch it, because it doesn't matter if what, what defenses you've got currently for them not seeing you. If you go and touch the belt, it knows. Yeah, no, that was the thing. Is it like, <clears throat> as long as we don't try and steal from it. Yeah, they even keep the they keep their abilities for a certain amount of time after you take mm-hmm. them. So, yep, um, it's got about three hundred white masks, and give or take several dozen. Um, roll one d four for trinkets. It does at least have minimum of one. <clears throat> so. I'm not going to roll 1d300 on this mask ability when it comes by, because there's no point. Um, what would you like me to do when I'm using it? God a damn it. Did you roll one? Yeah. Can you, I you roll, roll you a, use a fate point? point? Yeah. I kind of want to use a fate point. I'm going to get a two. Do but... it. Do it. You could also <laughs> roll Fuck it. A four. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Immediate payoff. <laughs> But is an immediate payoff in the long term because this wouldn't have this wouldn't this also have abilities depending on how many trinkets it has? We're gonna it. The only way you can guarantee the only way you can guarantee it doesn't exact revenge. And it will, even if you do kill it. But I mean We got this. I believe mm-hmm. in us. So the um we got four trinkets. Um, roll luck. Four different 1D100s for luck. Slash R space 4D100. And you get two of them. Okay. Uh, it has a green mask. Uh, it has a blue mask. Oh. Two colored masks. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so what's the Very. verdict here, guys? Murder. Murder Maybe is the only answer. Allie has spoken her specific outlook on this. She wishes this vile, karmic-altering this... evil creature to to die. He's it has been get decreed. What he deserves. Okay. Gonna serve up some justice. 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 Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ludmilla suddenly flicks out a pair of aviators. It's time for Detective Mulligan to serve up a steaming hot plate of justice with lemongrass on the side. Why does the justice need lemongrass? Because that way it tastes sour in the mouth of criminals. Well, with the way you deal with them, they won't be able to taste it. They'll be dead. They'll taste it in the afterlife, deputy. Now there's no more time to talk. Let's do this. Okay, we've uh, we've been immersed. <laughs> you, and Vic, now. you and Vic had a grand old time there. Let's yeah. uh, let's let's do this thing. <laughs> All right, are you guys out of the hole? <laughs> uh, so can I pass through this thing with minimal difficulty? Uh, which thing? This right. thing. Yeah, it's not meant to catch you. Cool. Don't ban it when it activates. <laughs> okay. But I have... I not like what happens when it activates. I have effectively two rounds now because I held mine. No, they do not. No. They do not. You get one round to hold over. If you hold over more than one round, well, the, 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 the most... The, um... Only the current one stays. So okay. you're just kind of standing there. Which is fine. You were observing your environment. It's true. Mm-hmm. If you want to look to the combat right. actions, um, you can see what it actually does for holding a turn. For your delay. Okay. Um. <sighs> 
Okay, boys and girls, this is where the big money happens. All right. <clears throat> so, um, everybody ready? Yeah. Yeah. Let's sing along with Disney songs. It's Disney sing along. Uh, so I'm going to hit him with the shrapnel launcher. Full auto. Okay. Um, he does have a size modifier of a plus 10. <clears throat> cool. Uh, you are not point blank, though. Although you may not want to be that close. Well, I was going to see if I could uh, intercept his action with my own. <laughs> like, you know what? Nah, fuck it. We don't need that. We don't need that. We're better than that. <clears throat> no aim. Not um, point blank. Short Where are range. the other Kurokos going to be? Move the Kurokos where you want them to be before we engage. Fall auto! Also, move yourself where you want to be, Kuroko. Boom. There we go. Damn! I hit him with all six. Roll damage for all six. He does not even notice until you're just like... All right. Uh, so that is a twenty-eight. Mm. Uh, these are all pin four blast one. Uh, shut the fuck. Sorry. Loser, you're talking in my head. Uh, Kablam! 38. Okay. 49. What about the pen? It's all pen 4. Okay. Um, 49? 49, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, 28, 38, 49. Uh, 15. Oh, wait, nope, sorry, wrong button. Uh, 31. My mistake. I accidentally hit the shock pistol. Do you I have the right have super ready for yourself, or you? Oh, I am. I'm loaded with super. Yes. Okay. Which one. Uh, so I have a 28, 38, 49, 31, 27, and 27. Okay. Uh, they're Are you all doing a support super, air. a tether, a nova bomb, like. Um. What do you guys think? Because if you remember, the tether for the 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 hunter class, whatever is tethered, all allies and you do additional damage to it. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, let me get that. <laughs> let me also let me remember that shadow shot. Slows and. Uh... I think tethers. But again, you have a nova bomb, so you could just fucking nova this thing. You know this. Thing will probably shoulder it, but you know you don't you don't know how bad it's going to be. But again, you could stacking debuffs are always a powerful way to take something down. Yeah, and right. No right. damage. Right. Teamwork makes the dream work, Folly. It does teamwork? All right. So what you're saying is you want uh you guys want me to hit it with something that. Uh, you could also put well on and have it end up like back here and everyone stand in the well and just uh, fucking yeah, just empowering it. rift and well it. Mm -hmm. But you can also empower rift and <clears throat> tether. So you got a lot of options. You go for damage, you go for support, like you're a warlock with all the, I mean, you could fucking bubble, Titan bubble. Hell, Chamonet has Titan bubble. Mm -hmm. So you could drop that. Uh, you could drop that weapon, or you you could drop that weapon's a light titan bubble, and then we could have increased damage, and then I could shadow shot it. I have titan bubble. I don't know how it works. Um, I give you a bunch of light, and then you go ham. Uh, yeah, basically, light, yes, no, got, actually, you use, I do. You use one bar. I know that. But who, uh, 
I have a bar that I kept on me. Yep. Or it kept in me. I had a bar that I kept in the lantern, and I yep. had a full bar that I keep in Vic. Okay, right. That was the other one. I was wondering where the other – because I know you used one already. Yeah. So, Shamane, so... all you do is uh, grab the talisman when you are charged with light, and uh, just it, it, you just activate it. Uh, all right. Does that so mean I... I'd get to hit things with my sword? I mean, you could, yeah. It it would deal like uh 1.5 damage, like an extra 50% damage or double damage. I don't remember which offhand. I don't tighten extra main. 0.5. But I, I couldn't get close to it because of the wards, though. You can, can't you like yeet karma blades now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I could do that. Yeah, you slash the air and the blade, the, the, you, you basically get a uh, anime like crescent. And what's that? Like her willpower modifier in range, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Um Yeah, we have the Wraith is the wrong kind here. Um we need either Way of the Pathfinder or Way of the Trapper. Let's go Way of the Trapper. Shadow Shot's anchors have increased range and duration and attached to surfaces to wait for prey. Um, tethered enemies are marked, making them easier to hit. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm probably going to roll Way of the Trapper then. Yep, I always run that when I'm yeah. doing pretty much anything in any raid. Tether's the only time I ever pull out anchor. the other ones is in PvP. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. It's just too good. Um, so it also gives you, I can Way of the fire... Trapper gives you uh, invisible dodge. It's true. Mm -hmm. It also gives the you smoke bomb. Dodge. Gives you smoke bomb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so if I fire, if I drop a shadow shot on it, I can fire up to three times. The no. first one will tether that'd it. The, that'd be the Moby's quiver. That's not the Way of the Trapper. You get one. Oh yeah, wild. never mind. Wild. There yeah. you go. Never mind. You're right. I was okay. Yeah. So we hit it with way of the trapper. It gives us increased range on the shadow shot anchor and duration, and it attaches to surfaces to wait for prey. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, we'll let it get in the in the field, and then hit it with the fucking mm -hmm. uh, void anchor. All right. Here we go. Ready. Uh. Yeah. Boom. 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 Uh, so I unload on it with the shrapnel launcher. Did any of those deal damage? Not a single drop of it. Yeah, that's what I fucking. Not even the forty nine. No, that was that's what I was asking. It was it was getting there to where you might scratch part of the armor. Yeah, it's irritating. Even though it's light infused and paracausal. Yeah. Well, shit. Fuck me running. All right, time to go. Face uh, stealer and the afflicted. It's what he says. The whirling dervish. Six, seven, eight. Nine. The um, its combat, the combative prowess cannot be over exaggerated. No, that's fair. All right. Um, so we need something with more pen than that. Ah. Yeah. No. Uh. Yeah, it's gonna bowl over those Kurokos like a. Well, golly, like a bowling like a fucking ball hitting smoothie pins. machine. Okay, that's fine. Good. Poor yep. little Crocus. Um, Goodbye. Just yeah. uh, bloop, bloop, as he murders them. But unfortunately, he does get uh, cross shards. And he's going to just slam in here. In or out. All right. Trap's going to go off. I still need a dodge from uh, Milo. You're one step oh. too close, unfortunately. That's well, like my other trap step was... swung so hard, the trap didn't permit. It didn't immediately trap him at me, uh, right out of the gate. All right. so, can I? Hook is actually can going I to... assist Luke Milla since I'm right behind her? Can I like pull her back? Uh, yeah, you'll get a plus one. Uh, it is going to be a. No fuck. Uh, so that chain's gonna hit you. 
You might want to free roll. The way I've been re rolling all night, man, it, that, that just fucking. Hey, if you, if you talk about it, it's going to happen. So <laughs> might as well just, just do it. it Can I not ask? Get its, it will not get it uh, inescapable because the trap that went off. This is okay. a base dodge. Base dodge is all you need. <sighs> Shit! How many degrees of success is it sitting on with that twenty-four? It, don't worry about uh, that. It, does, it Just doesn't roll matter. And pass. Uh, the That's trap. Rem- the trap is removing its ability to use inescapable. So all you need is a base pass, even if it's right on the dot. Unfortunately, um, no. That's but it. If the chain does hit you, it will try and take your face. Whack. Uh, cool. Then the bisected mask activates. It automatically fails to take my face, and it's mm-hmm. stunned. Yes. For I think uh, uh four rounds. Would you like to roll that, Matt? Um, no. But I'm gonna hit you for chain damage. Please do. You've got a plus <sighs> ten over shield and one. I have. Again. I do. All right. That, that it way. won't kill me. Does um <laughs> 50 70, 75. 75 75 75 damage. 75 damage at 50 uh, pen. It will, it will yeah. All right. So, here's what happens. <laughs> um it's going to completely wipe my guardian shield, which drops it down to 65. Um, it's Pen going does not affect to, shields. Uh, Pen does not work against shields. So it's, but yeah. it's, the damage immediately applies, so it cuts the damage, but you still have that pen. So it, it goes to 65. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, here's the question, Matt, and this will decide if I die or not. Mm-hmm. My plus 20 to all physical characteristics that I get from trait retention from the red mask. Yeah. Does that give me more wound? Mm-mm. It does okay. give you additional flat reduction towards toughness. Which reduces by an additional two. Okay. That doesn't help because pen 50. <laughs> Right. Uh, so yeah. what happens here is a massive harpoon spike fires out between its ribs and just just pierces right through your chest. Yep. And it goes yeah. to spin to win, and it uh, it it does not have a good day. So where's that four? Let's roll that four turns. Let's one d four. One Oof. turn. <clears throat> But it's that's that's a that's a strong singular stun. Okay, uh, you've you've lost your light bar, but that's fine. You got another one available. Mm-hmm. Um, what is okay. the um, turns down? Is the question. Um, that is a good question. Um, you are going to. I think it was a 1d4 last time, too. To yeah, be it's going to be a 1d4 for you this time as well, because that harpoon would have significantly made it longer if it wasn't under such incredible debuffs. And it also stunned. I want to see that angel pop up. Uh, Turn order. Actually, no, that'd be we, we got to resolve. How many yes. turns he's down for? Uh, Roll one d four, please. Excuse me. Me. All right. Oh, no, no. Uh, Guardian down. No shit. Okay, so the the catch here huh. is I have sixty three wound. Um. Uh, pen does not reduce. Pen does not reduce um, wounds. It only reduces armor. It's the only okay. Thing pen, does. pen only reduces armor. All right. 
that's and you're including that extra know. plus ten, right, from Ali's overshield. Yep, you have that overshield. So you technically I have, do have okay. seventy. So hold on, hold on. At that point, because I have sixty-three wound, I have. 10 for my guardian shield and then 10 from the overshield that I'm going to be honest, I completely forgot about. And another plus 10 for wounds. And one regen. <laughs> Technically, I have a three regen, uh, which good. is nice. So uh, I think you live. I think yeah. you straight up live. I think I, I, think I survive this uh, in the worst good. way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. I can do an MK on you once it's my turn. Let's just I mean, at this down. point, yeah, just draw down on this motherfucker. I would appreciate a Medicaid in the very near future, but right now, I want him to not do that again. Okay. He's going to do that for each and every one of you. I thought he couldn't reach beyond the barrier. No, if he if he gets out of the barrier and gets through, uh, if he gets right. through all of your debuffs, he's going to harpoon you all. Okay, so I drop back. I drop the void anchor into the into the trap circle. We're he gonna go by spears time. me. Well, yeah, oh, yeah that was you, my that was my yeah. turn. Okay. Well, and then then the motherfucker uh, ran me down and ruined my day. Yep. So just A so that I'm poor clear, combat face dealer for you. Sixty-three, seventy-three. I would have a total of plus 10. I meant to feed everybody those three. I forgot. It's okay. So um, you got all right. 73 so HP, and then... I have 83 technically because of my, my overshields, or, uh, my shield and my overshield. Mm -hmm. And he said he dealt 75. Mm-hmm. Minus pen does not, my pen does not apply to toughness. Pen does not apply to shields. It does not apply right. to wounds. It only applies to armor and armor alone. So my toughness would drop it to uh, 68, and then 58, and then 48 as he chews through my shields. 50. So I have five wounds left. That's good to know. <laughs> He does have a crippling 15 on that, which means if you take anything more than a half action, you take 15 direct damage until you are fully healed. You have to be fully healed for the crippling effect to go away. Yeah, that's which not means great. For, for, fortunately for you, it only has to be 13 wounds. Yeah. All right. Okay. Shamane does her special thing. You put up the bubble. Um, um, does, does Shaman have light? Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, okay, it's given to you. Okay. Completely yep. out of light. Yeah. I am out. Vix out, and the lanterns out. Excuse me. The lantern has thirty-four percent in it from all the people that have been killed in here. Yeah. So the um, bubbles down. Uh, tether shots down. Uh. It's stunned. Uh, the barrier is up. Uh, an angel fucking shows up out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. nice. This is an old school angel, too. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and it's going to lay down some fucking smiting on this bitch. All right. So we should be dealing double damage. I'm not sure if pen or anything matters. But weapons of light and him being shadow shotted. Well, okay then. Yeah. No, it blasts it <laughs> hard. Pew, pew, pew. Fortunately, unfortunately, that is the only the only thing it's here for, and it will try and use that a holy ability to try and apply a debuff. It does not. Uh, that'll be the end for the angel. Um, damn. Massive damage smite with a potential for debuff. Still nice. That was that was a good job, Constantine. Um, it does have thirty stacks of ice on it. Yeah. What does that mean for us? <laughs> it, it means a yeah, very cold boy. Um, for now, what it'll apply to is if he does start to get free, he um, 
he's going to be taking a lot less action and doing it a lot less effectively. Back up, back okay. up, back up, back up, back up. <laughs> You're just like... <laughs> Uh, so, top of the turn order. <laughs> Ludvilla's sitting there with a harpoon in her chest and her gun in one hand, like, ow! Um, for damage, uh, if you are in the Titan bubble, so you three, uh, double damage for all weapons. Uh, it also um, will, it also will double the pen. Nice. Mm. Should I just attack, or should I pull Loot Miller behind me? No, nah, fucking let him have it. Light him up! Okay, <laughs> so I'm just I'm doing like the ranged attack with my Karma Sword. Yeah, you can go that way. Oh uh, no, she doesn't have to approach. Uh, just oh, I wasn't like I was saying the aiming instead of going through um, folly. Yeah, absolutely, so you can't. Um. So just karma sword damage. Uh, mm -hmm. um, I wonder if this thing has magical defenses. Um, well, it probably does, considering the um, the amount of ice stacks on it, and it's still functioning and not a popsicle. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'm gonna go all out, and I don't. All out is a full turn, right? So there's no aim. Correct. It's okay. like it's giving you an extra plus ten, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Um. And do I put in the a modifier? No. The modifier will be. For it has damage, a plus right? ten. Yeah, it's for size. You get a plus ten. Oh, nice. Okay. Bing. Nice. That'll be a hit. Nice. So um. Roll your damage, I guess, and then, then we'll times that by two and your pen by two. So this is plus strength plus agility, was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, agility. I think you already got that in, don't you? It never rolls it, though. I have to type it, put it in. Okay. Do you even have any pen on that thing? What? Do you have pen on your sword? Yeah, I do. I think so. Um, pen two. Guys, it's gonna be pen four. Not that much, but it's something. Well, it's double pen. It's uh, yeah. yeah. Where do I add pen? Don't worry about it. We'll just we'll get it later. We know how much it is. <laughs> if you filled up. But all the information on your karmic sword, you can just hit damage and we'll just double whatever's on it. I did, and it's there. And I think Matt filled it out for me, but it doesn't roll, right? Weird. Because there's it's saying plus strength, plus agility yeah, instead I think of it's that. instead uh, of actually putting in your number. Yeah. I think you can also put in the So twenty four pen four. Okay, but you do a little bit more than just damage. You do wonky because yeah, did did it actually do any damage at all? Is the question? Uh, not to if it if you're to consider the armor, the shield, the magic defense, all that stuff. No, but okay. it's in. You have a a debuff on a debuff, or a debuff. Yeah, no. We have buffs and debuffs and double debuffs on him. Yeah, and he's also trapped in your um, your prison. <clears throat> so, um, you're really close. You need at least a 15. You can but hit a 15. Hmm? But he'll get hit by karma because of my karma sword stuff. If you will. So that's um, good. Go ahead and... Roll influence with a plus 20 to apply negative karma to this individual. Nice. Delicious. Ah. Good job. Not this time. 
Should I reroll right. that? Do you have a fake point left? I have one. Uh, it's up to you. No, I don't. I think that fake point might save my life later. Okay, Rocco. So, can I reform my ice clones because it's with they were still in with my aura? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to reform with two actions, and then my actions for them are going to be um, to go hug that guy and explode. All right. <laughs> More ice for you, buddy. Yep. So that's going to be my turn because that's all I can during this turn. Uh, but it was. All right. You have enough yeah. ice to physically assault one of the masks on its head. So I'm going to have you roll um, willpower. And if you do, you'll crack one of the masks. Willpower. Well, you know, as long as it's not one of the. Well, I mean, shit, any of them could be useful. A four. Fuck it. All right. You crack one of its nine faces. This is also a moment. You may pull fluidium charges equal to the number of ice stacks on the guy. But pulling the ice, pulling the fluidium out of that mask. It's going to be hard. Removes the ice stacks on him. Okay. Per okay. one fluidium charge. So if you pull five fluidium. From the mask you just ripped off, um, so you lose charges. five ice stacks on him, and he has sixty right now. Sixty stacks, right? Um, let's pull ten. Okay. Okay. Um, that is a lot. <laughs> that is a a lot of raw fluidium there okay. um, and it's not just it's not processed fluidium this is straight from the source yeah not even from a person this is um um this is like comparing weed to meth i got you <laughs> <laughs> because what's in the masks is the equivalent of weed like really good shit this is so. You let's just, say you just drank straight octane. Let's say I put um, three purchases of mine select and uh, um, on the mask, the guy's catcher mask. How? Mm -hmm. What? 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 What if we did that? Um, would this change this at all? Or um, for what purpose? Mine select what? Um, the guy's catcher mask. It, right. Um, Specifically, what are you? What are you selecting about the mask? Um, I, I guess we're just uh, either Enhancing selecting the, the suction. Thing. Do you want to use the main the big, the, the large eye as a face dealer fluidium deposit? I I don't know. It's gonna have to if you're gonna hold fluidium. Yeah. Face dealer, it has to go in the big eye. It's it's just it's. A hundred times more potent than normal fluidium. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that. So let's go. It'll increase uh, the reservoir. Locks up that big eye. So what I'll do now is um, mind uh, selected, and then um, guys catch a mask, and then after that, I I love how we do this, Matt. Uh, copy paste, and then one more. So large. Large eye. Right. And so, uh, this to give you an understanding, from what you, you're feeling right now, this is the first time you've come in contact with raw fluidium. Yes. A normal person has 10 fluidium, average, average person in their identity, in their soul. Right. Um, you pulled 10 times the amount of fluidium that would exist in a person. If you try and put this in your body, you explode. I figured as much. That way we have the gold mask. You, your soul bed. <clears throat> right. But we that's, hate, the that's, gold mask is, is that's, void. It that's because your soul is mortal. It does right. not have. It, it's not a vessel capable of housing that much power, that much potential. You need but, an immortal soul. But I have an immortal soul, don't I? You're. Still developing it. Okay. Yours, yours is not there yet. You do. Mine's because not. Because all demons do. You don't either. You're, you're, 
Yours is a pseudo synthetic, yeah, like, paracausal thing. So, eh. like technically, yeah. Jamine's soul is immortal too, considering he's an elf and he's had seven past lives and has gone up. So, technically, you're not your base foundation for what you're. I, I'm getting. You're all probably gonna try and do. It's there. It's just there's no room. You're gonna have to make some improvements. Well, I mean, has be... got space for seven lives, right? She could hold here. He could hold seven fluidium at least. Uh, no, uh, he's getting access back to those seven lives. That's why I'm having her take her time and opening up to those seven lives <coughs> cautiously, okay. because that also that also immediately attaches all the karma, good and bad, of those previous lives immediately to this the, his soul, ah. and that can be. Powerful and dangerous. I think the I think the only pl- way that we have to store this fluidium, if you want to, uh, yeah, Kuroko, is is the the golden mask. Mm. No, he uh, he he built a power. He enhanced the guy's catcher mask and reserved the super large eye. Oh, um, yeah, no, that would work too. As a, as a reservoir. I'm just wondering if it should be mind or spirit here. Uh, it'll be. It'll be mine for this one. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Excellent. So I've spent three checks. Fluidium, fluidium will be mined for the guy's catcher mask. Spirit will be Ron S. Okay. Because yeah, it's um the only the only reason I say that is because our our talent, the one who wears the mask, spirits in, enabled me to see how much fluidium was in something. Mind That's soul reading. That's soul yeah. reading. Right, 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 right. That's fine. So, um, perfect, perfect. Um, nice. Uh, so, three checks, large eye. Um, I don't know how much this increases it by, but I have ten stacks within it. Cool, cool. Uh, you need to very much differentiate. Fluidium and from a... Yeah, it's, it's, well, face dealer fluidium. So, in this case, it's not orange fluidium. You're looking at basically... Crimson fluidium. Red. Okay. Angry red. Meth red. Red like the blood of angry men. Cool. Yeah. cool. So uh, that's my turn. Mm-hmm. And um, I, don't not happy. I don't know. I don't happy. imagine. I don't imagine it would be. Uh, good, 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 guys. Good, 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 good. Um, <clears throat> it's also in your domain, so I still need to. Roll, um, it will pass. It will, it will okay. shrug off the uh, additional stacks from being your domain. Okay. Constantine. Um, Constantine. He's going to smack a bitch with his whip. Oh, yeah. 37. 34. Right. I don't know why 37 came to mind. He, uh, he's he's, he's going to get double double dice on this one. He's also going to increase the double damage and double pen. And then he's also doubling the um, technically he's got a poison on it. Cool. Not a not a type of poison you would think of but more of a it's, it's got a blessed status. Okay. Poison to it I guess. Yeah. So he smacks his shit out of it. Sing. And a theme Fortunately, it's resistance is very strong. Okay. All right, Ludmilla, this thing. Fuck. Nobody's managed to hurt it yet, have they? Uh, Kuroko has dealt a severe blow to it. Oh, fair enough. Uh, uh, all right. Also, that angel just <clears throat> went in and smited a hole in its back. Yeah. Just. All right, guys. Is this harpoon still in my chest? Oh, yes. Okay, so it could reasonably reel me into the circle once its stun is over? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, uh, I'm going to rip it out. Um, I've got a, I've got some stim packs, but I think I have to wait for my turn. Um, strength minus 50. Oof. Strength minus 50? Yeah. I can't make it then. Absolutely zero percent. It's not designed to come out. I mean, okay. 
Um, thoughts? <clears throat> what about switching masks to like maybe that um, iron and blue one or something? Not a terrible choice. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. I think you might uh, you might be onto something there. Uh, what are you retaining from the mask? <coughs> um, I'm going to retain the plus 30 to Enten willpower. Also, make sure uh, you, re you apply your regen to your character. I, I did. That's why I'm at 8. Yeah. Um, but that's going to go the fuck away. <laughs> that's going to go down to 1. Um... Since I have traits retained from the red mask, can I keep those? No. It's or the, can I keep two of those? The last one. one. It's what it was the currently worn mask. Okay. Well, that's butts. Um, well, it's the blue mask you're wearing, right? Yeah. Pick the pick the traits from the blue mask, and then... Yeah. Um, all right. So I'm going to keep the uh, burn one fate point for 200% light. I'm going to keep the plus 30 to int and willpower. Uh, and plus one check mark to all normal skills. Great. Slap on that new mask, though. Willpower. Uh, righty. <clears throat> um, you do need to roll that willpower to do a mask swap. I know. Um, i trying to remember. Where did I put the fucking current trait retention? Three traits. So that's... Plus 30 and. Ay, 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 ay. Well. Uh, plus one, two, normal. Go. Check my normal skills. Uh, burn. Point 200% light. All righty. Um, <clears throat> yes, there it is. Uh, Holy fuck. Okay. Go ahead and um, increase your willpower score by 1d3. I'm guessing you don't even have to roll. Uh... <laughs> you no longer need a willpower test to swap masks. It is yeah, that's nice. done as a bonus action. You get one bonus action a turn. Bonus actions and free actions are separate from ha from your actual actions, including movement. Um, unfortunately, Desperado is a bonus action. So you can't... Is it? No, it's a free action. It says so specifically. Oh, then the yeah, bonus action and free actions are separate. So you could do both. You could fucking shoot your Desperado and do a mask swap. Um, but yeah, you can you, you can do a mask swap as a bonus action without having to roll a willpower test. You just uh, change masks on the fly. It's a lot more bookkeeping because you're going to have to... Mask retention just all the time, but you could literally jump in the middle of combat, air yourself over, swap to the iron mask, and just drop it. Yeah. Alright. Um... Bonus actions are not reactions, though. So you, if you're gonna get fucked up and you want to swap over to your, your iron mask, because it's not on, unfortunately, um... The uh, uh, it's not something you can just reactively do. It has to be done in your turn. Okay. Uh, there you go. There's that one. Just poo -poo. All right. Wow, we're getting ones at yeah. fucking dope spots here tonight, boys. Right. Man, these these is the new threat. The old that I remember just. Holding out, shit's going bad, going down. Shit, 
potentially going even bad, and then one comes out, and you're just like... <laughs> All right. So does that mean that this mask swapping is a bonus action, or is it still a half action? No, it's a bonus action. Okay. Can I take a bonus action and a half action without proccing the uh, crippling? Mm-hmm. Crippling only applies to half actions. Bonus actions oh. don't apply. Same yeah, with free actions. actions. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, same with free actions. We all right. I can no longer be moved against my will. Um, yes, really good. I need. Yeah, it does that. mean he might just pull the harpoon out of you. Uh, yeah. Which would deal damage. <laughs> <laughs> Where this mask can only take one point. Grant more. Okay. Uh, so I now have a shield equal to intelligence and agility. Score. Which is, mm -hmm. yes, score. So that's uh, 80, mm -hmm. 90, 100, 110, because I still have the plus 30 to int from the other mask. So I now have a 110 shield and yep. an armor score of. So 50, uh, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 166 armor. In addition to your, uh, oh, that's that's down for a bit. And then, yeah. Yeah, yeah you got, you got defense. 166, 100, and I have 177 armor right now. Okay. Now we're in business. Uh, Hank Miller has arrived. <laughs> Thud. Uh, I am Reinhardt. I will be your shield. All right. All right. So now you have your half action. action. Now I have my half action. Um, but uh, fusion grenade. Actually, no. I'm currently on a void setup, aren't I? No, nah, it doesn't fucking matter. I've been switching freely this whole time. Because it's the red mask that limits me. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna uh, sink a void grenade back here. Uh, bless you. Yeah. Oof. Oh. Nope. Scatter. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Five. Roll, Shit. Um, roll 1d6 for um, meters. One, two, three. Oh god, it'll still hit him. Mm -hmm. Just one square away. That's scatter for you. Okay. Roll um, damage, because it's within... Uh, the, yeah. The grenade hits um, pretty much everything in this area. It I will am... destroy these two corpses permanently, though. I, I figured... You also, know what? you might be hitting hmm? that um, ward paper. Bye. To the corpses. Oh, yeah, yeah. They went by. Um, that grenade will also be hitting that ward paper. Can I Can I change my decision? Use a fate point. <laughs> uh, you have to use a fate point to change your decision. Uh, Vic, loan me a fate point. Um, I he has he one. Got... He's like, you gave him uh, one yeah, fate yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, there you go, bud. Thanks, homie. Whew. All One right. Safe grenade. Um, it literally has to land. Like. Actually, yeah. No. No. no, actually, as, no. There's no safe spot as, for the grenade. As much as I'd like to, no. There's. It wouldn't. Um, fan of knives. That should be three melee damages. Because yeah, he's right no. in front of me. Uh, uh man, damage equal to will, so that's eight d ten per knife. I still need a ballistic test, right? Mm -hmm. Point blank, though. Yeah. Uh, so that's plus thirty. Uh, ballistic. Did we get the um? Hot damn. <laughs> yeah, roll damage. Uh, Did you get the what? Sorry, Matt. Oh no, I, I checked it. Got it. So that's 33, 65, and 50. Do these count as one attack? Um, They're all separate. Okay. 
But roll your tens. Oh. I did. It. Okay. Uh, I put the exclamation point on the second too. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um. So that's yeah. Thirty-three, sixty-five, and fifty. No, no, it's not. Uh, we're doing double damage. Yes, you are. So that's sixty-six, a nope, hundred thirty, and hundred. roll the dice. You re it's, so it'd be sixteen d ten. Okay. So yeah. All right. Uh, it's 107, 92, and 112. Whack! That does a lot of damage. <laughs> All right, that's your turn, right? That's uh, that's my that's my turn. That's my half action. Um, uh, this is its stunned turn. Door. Shaman nominee. Shaman nominee. Na -na 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 -na. Sha -na 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 -na. Um, so Ludmilla, I could try to get some karmic bullshit going on, or I could heal you. Um, uh, whatever you want to do. Uh, your last instance of, uh, of rampant fuckery seemed to work pretty well. You could technically try and drag me backwards into the, the healing bar, or in, into the, the Titan bubble? into the, the Ward of Dawn, and see if that disconnects me from his harpoon. No, he, he, she cannot move you. Yeah. That's oh, yeah, that, you're that right. Harpoon, you can't move harpoon, me. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, before we continue, I need to ask this question. Is Shamane's bubble already being times two? Or is are we incorporating this? Um... Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a point five, but we're also including... Um... Uh, the empowering rift from the Milla. Okay, and that empowering rift is being doubled, right? Oh shit! So we should be doing times and a half damage, because it's three instances of point five damage. I was just thinking because of um, the trinket that Blood Milla has that mm -hmm. doubles um, support abilities and buffs. The last gift of a lost friend. Mm-hmm. We're including this, right? <coughs> no, I did not include that. Okay. So just, shit. Just box need... for everything else. Don't don't reroll everything. I've I just figured it out now, so we don't have to go okay. back. Let's just do it for everything else. Just just thoughts. I will apply okay. the damage retroactively. It is not doing well at all. Excellent. <laughs> Kuroko. <laughs> not only did this thing take extensive damage, um, but four more of the masks have cracked. See if you can pull anything. Um, Wait, is it my turn? Yeah, just let uh, <laughs> let Shamane do can his go? thing first. Yeah, and Shaman, then do you think, Shamane? And then I'm gonna pull um, like a bitch. Could I stab Folly with a stim pack for a half turn and then mm -hmm. attack with the other half? Damn yeah, right, you can. Sweet. <gasps> <laughs> I've only got one Thank spin pack much. left. You can use your um I was gonna say your green mask does a lot of things. It allows you to I don't know double heal, but allows you to do something with it. Yeah, um, I don't have to have once per session you can convert pack. harm done from a single source by the user of this mask to a target. So you can technically I, just stab somebody and heal them with your sword. But you can it also it also adds damage. plus thirty healing. I think it's better just to use the stim pack. Yeah, I think honest. the stim pack's good for now. I'll just roll the hit. Yeah, you use the stim pack. Uh, Go ahead no and. Uh... Um, Jackie, air hypo! And it was a plus 10 for my. What, what, what was it? A plus 10 for my bubble or something? Um, my sword. Oh, plus 10 for hitting it because it's size. Oh, because it's size. Because it's a big yeah, boy. It's, it's, a, it's a thick old boy. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Just roll your weapon skill, whatever, first. Remember that it's times and a half damage. Uh, so more, whatever your normal damage would be. It's more, it's more than that. Is it more than you that? Guys, you guys have times two, and your buff is another times two, so it's times four. Oh shit, you're right. Yeah. Oh shit, you're right. I did double damage on all three of those hits. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, that's uh, and it's, it's like, also this taking, thing is in, yeah. yeah, 
and its armor and, and stuff are at half as well. Mm -hmm. so and it's blinded that. and suppressed. Perfect. Um, I don't know if Ali's damage is correct there, um, but... Uh, it um, needs to be times four. So 36. Because people mm -hmm. have been doubling their dice is the only thing I'm Yeah. Thinking. That's fine. 3d10... 3d10 plus 3 plus 4 more. And then more so, pen. Yeah, go ahead and roll uh, another influence test with a plus 30 this time for that nasty karma coming in. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> oh, good try. <laughs> it's a good try, though. So, how much... Sorry. Out of... Out of weird quest or out of left field question. Um, how much does the stim pack heal me? Allie, do you have the stats? Uh, no, I do not. I believe the six is the only one with stim pack stats. Stim mm -hmm. stats. Yeah, I'm Stat pretty packs. sure I got these from six. Um, what I do, Allie, is just roll a Medicaid and heal from there. Include uh, degree of success and include your intelligence bonus. What? But uh, that's that's what I would do. But I don't know what the stim pack would do. Yeah, we've used them before, but I don't remember where, how we used them. Uh, unfortunately, stim packs cannot be used with Medicaid because they're not really medicine, so to speak. They're just okay. here's HP. Right. Anyone can use so, it without Medicaid. It's a health. Bomb. So it's basically a health potion. You stab yeah. them with it, and they just get. Mm -hmm. Like a certain um, number of it'll D10s be, or it'll, static the health quality is not exactly the highest. It's one D ten plus three. I mean, shit. You want to roll that, Shaman? If you roll a five, I'm fine, and I can get full actions again. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, I'll do Until he rips the harpoon out of your chest. D I'll take it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I get an action before he does. You have to hit slash nice job. Uh, uh, yep. You, you know what? You did exactly as I told you. You rolled a one d ten plus three. <laughs> it's right there. Do, do I get a plus thirty for this healing roll? Uh, Just, no. From my mask. No, that, that'd be the plus thirty to Medicaid, not. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was just general healing, but. Oh I'll yeah, never mind. Well. Yeah, no, it says plus thirty to healing. Add another plus three yeah. healing on that. <laughs> That's right there on the mask. <laughs> Damn. I'm, I'm fine, yeah. Ooh, I'm good. Woohoo. Oh, there's still a harpoon in my chest, but I'm perfectly healthy around it. <laughs> Actually, with that much healing, does it just force the harpoon out? No. No, it does not. Damn. <laughs> I can uh, It does fill up your overshield. Oh, okay then. Because the, the little plant overshield. Yeah. Nice. So you should be at uh, See what happens when you eat strange fruit. Yeah. Yo. All right, shamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanamanam
between the four masks, you can easily pull up to the the maximum. Yeah, the, which is um, I would have twenty eight total then in my mm -hmm. in my mask. So I'll pull uh, eighteen stacks out of the. Um, you could the... feed your geists the fluidium, but they would get stupid strong and they might break out. Yeah, well, you could also feed your mask wearer some fluidium. So uh, this this is this is interesting. I don't know. I don't think you want that to happen just for how powerful it is for for you, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you know what I'm saying. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to just inject you with heroin right now. Matt. Right. It's just math. <laughs> math. I mean, on the uh, on the other hand, um, you could try and uh, refuel the uh, the sparrow heart dreamcatcher. That um, yeah no. All the all trinkets can be fluid, or they are fueled by red fluidium. And we've already used it once, so we don't know how much of a charge remains. Just that it's still functional. So what I'll do is take eighteen out of the um, eighty stacks. Um, I will put that stack into my in my uh, in my mask, um, and then. I will try to um, to transfer fluidium, mm -hmm. just like I do a fate point. I want to see if this is possible. Um, I will send it to the sparrow heart, and because I don't want to overtax it with something, I will only. Uh, what do you think? One. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking right now. Um, I mean, we used it once. We could send one. We get a general idea for how much that affects its capacity. I just don't want it to explode. No, absolutely. I'm totally 100% with you. <laughs> this is a soft experiment in the middle of combat because we now have access to a fuck ton of a resource that's incredibly valuable to us. But yeah. ultimately, like, it's more important that we win this fight than that we, you know, ha harvest and, and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, stockpile every last ounce of this there will be more face dealers to fight there are more face dealers to fight in this room we could get more let's not yeah. be greedy so so so, <sighs> so what about if i gave you two into it two. i mean whatever you want to do all right um two would probably be okay it might supercharge the thing a little bit but if it that's, again that's if it does that's still new information that we have on the yeah nature. so i'm going to send two to make it 20 to make this even and easy for myself so there's 60 stacks left on um ice stacks yep. um and yeah two went to the transferring over to the trinket hmm. um it gobbles it up. Uh, make me oh. a logic test. Uh, I will make the logic test. Uh, also, roll me... Uh, <coughs> I think this is a survival to look at. Uh, trinkets and stuff? Or yeah, the fluidium, fluidium and the trinkets. Fluidium. fluidium. With the 17, 7 degrees of success. Um, and then go ahead and roll uh, any mask roll you have. Uh, folly. Oh, uh, mask roll? Like what? Any, I think it's just survival, like isn't it? That's what you've been doing uh, for everything else. Yeah, I survival. Okay. I actually have that, so let's go. Mm -hmm. What is this? This is perception. Yeah. Okay. Based off perception. Fuck yeah. it. Fucking do it. Okay. Which, nope. Um, not a fucking clue. He's only he's only use it once. <laughs> yep. And looking at the other ones, and even the ones on the creature. They're not fully charged. None of them are. So it looks like when you get a trinket, it's never fully charged, even upon its creation. Okay. As, so, as they look half charged. So what I can do then is I can apply this to all your trinkets instead of just your one. Sure. I'm down so with that. So let's put five into um, your... <coughs> Into your um, scarf. Oh, okay. 
let's put five I into your um, ability to find mask people. Oh, okay. Let's put... Um, trinkets only, though. It has to be only a trinket. Only trinkets, correct. Mm -hmm. um, let's put five into your... Um, uh, half face. He, gave, he, he gave away the shoe. Yep. So and all that's left have... is your half face and uh, what else? I have, I have a tiny mask on a keychain, the, the sparrow's heart, the bisected mas mask, and the last, last gift from a lost friend. Uh, so I have four trinkets right now. Yeah, and I've already given two. Um, all right. um, they're all at five out of ten charges, except for the uh, any ones that's been used. Every use right. uses up one fluidium. Okay. It only okay. takes crimson okay. fluidium. Yeah. This is, this is good information. Ten. Yes, this is good. Okay, so that means so the last gift gift of a lost friend is a passive one. Does yes. that mean that it's constantly running out of like it's constantly burning fuel, or because uh, I yes. mean technically it speaking, it constantly burns it constantly burns fuel when it is applicable. So what's the rate? Because it it we're using the hell out of it in this fight. It's been applicable um, eight times already in two rounds. Uh, it uses one fluidium per one. Full round. Everyone gets one use or gets a use of it, so it uses up one fluid in per round, and it doesn't matter how many people in that round get the buff. Regardless of number of times used. Okay, so this one should be at three out of ten. Mm -hmm. um, the bisected mask is at 4 out of 10 the sparrow's heart is at 4 out of 10 but he just gave me 5 for it so that puts it at 9 out of 10 I only gave you 2 I only gave you 2 for okay one. sorry okay so that's 6 that's still good um, and then the mask on the keychain was used once you said um, you gave do you remember the uh um, the ones you got from level zero. Yeah, the the only two that I have left from level zero are the sparrow's heart and the bisected mask. Okay. Um, <coughs> those have twice the number of charges available to it than a normal one. So those can be twenty. Th those yeah. have a full capacity of twenty. Uh, unfortunately, okay. they start at one fourth of the the capacity. So same right same amount of power available to them, but a greater capacity to hold mm -hmm. it. Or to Which is interesting, because oh. that's a fucking powerful item, then. Yeah, they that's why Silverface was so crazy for it. Mm -hmm. But that also means he's fucking filthy rich for Fluidium if he's got hundreds of these things and they're always working. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Mm-hmm. It also right. did say you can't get these any anywhere else. Gotta get them from floor zero, mm -hmm. which means that these two just became my most important trinkets mm -hmm. just because people will try and rob me for the fluidium in them, if nothing else. I think we, not, we you got maybe... Not just uh, for their, their rarity. You might have gotten yeah, robbed. The, from the mask lady at the very beginning because we didn't know uh, that. Yeah, I mean, we almost certainly did. <laughs> but the thing is, is that we didn't know no, exactly, about right? that. <laughs> and then there was the fact that the ones that I traded her, the one I traded her uh, was the three swords, was yeah. the three cross swords, which would have meant that every time I picked up an exotic weapon I didn't have proficiency with, yeah. it would have burned a charge. And I only got three proficiencies, yep. which, I mean, honestly, of all of them, that one was probably the weakest in terms of uh, sure. utility. But just having a well of 20 Crimson Fluidium would have been a huge burn boon to her anyway. Yep. So ultimately, we got paid a lot. Like, we have resources from that transaction we're still using, like the mask tokens and stuff. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a bad deal. We got shafted, but we didn't get sh utterly ruined. So, so let's I'm take gonna that. I'm going to put another um, 
I still up need the you to decide about the four maps that are dropping. You need to decide them now. What do you, what do you mean? Like how much I've already taken out of them? Uh, well, no, you get to you get to see how much you can pull from them. This is this has nothing to do with the 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 ice charges. This is just fucking damage that uh, Folly did. She did so much damage, she's cracked and destroyed four more masks. Four of its. Oh. Okay, I got what you mean now. I, I've been taking away from stacks this whole time. You can. I'm just saying there's more dropping for free right now. Yeah, so... Grab it while you can. Let's, uh, let's put those... It'll be an influence test to pull. Yep. But um, there's so much of it, I'll give you a plus 20. Sure. Um, just holy crap, with there's 13, so much. Uh, yeah, let's just fill up your trinkets total. Uh, so just um, fill well, in each mask... Houses, um, two D ten fluidium. Okay, so let's do four. Minimum five. What about my Titan bubble? Was that a trinket? What was that? It is actually, but a different kind of trinket. It's a different kind of trinket. It runs off of light, which means it actually has its own reservoir. So, so six for one, five, seven, and eleven. Well, no, no, no. You have to roll w- ones for each. That is one for each for the so the first match. Influence for each. Oh, I got you. So six for that one. I got you. I got you. Yeah, uh, well, well, here's well, the next well. one. Here's a one. Oh, hey. oh they roll your one d two influence. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, Matt, why? Why did this happen to me? Uh, twenty nine. I got twenty nine now. Holy fuck. Um, let's finish this off. Okay, and, so uh, no, 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 you can stop there. <laughs> if there's fluidium in the air, yeah, you can grab at least minimum of five without trying. More than that will require a influence roll, but you get a plus thirty. Okay. This is also really fucking good practice for pulling or dealing with fluidium because this stuff is so volatile and so hard to deal with. Yeah. Uh, dealing with normal orange fluidium, that's like easy shit. Um, this might mutate how you pull fluidium now. You will actually have to roll willpower not to rip fluidium out of people. <laughs> like a face okay. dealer does. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, it actually, the harder it is, the, the better it is. So, white masks you get a plus 40 instead of a 20 and then you go ten, and then you start from down there one by 10. Yeah. Yeah. You know? okay. So you actually have to be careful not to pull, be a face dealer. Yeah. Because you kind of are right now. Okay. Um, yeah. Does this one mean I get more shoulder rubs later? <laughs> sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Good. Okay. okay. So, um, oh, fuck. Let's uh, roll the uh, 2d10 for you. Uh, slash. Yeah. So. Um, uh, three. I guess it's, it was so all for this this particular <laughs> mask, roll yeah. 3d10 because you roll the one on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, you get 15 from that mask alone. Okay. Um, so. I've got uh, six from the first one, 21 total. Also, your cap for what you can store in your mask went up by one. Yes, it did for, for influence. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, okay. Um, Anyone want to, do you want to use a fate point to see if you can get two influence instead of one? I don't have any oh. influence. I mean, any fate points currently on me, so I wouldn't be Constantine able to will give that. you his one. You want a fate point? Okay. What are you Constantine will give you his one. Good luck. The... With a oh, two, I, I now have. Go. I now 30. have thirty. I have now reached thirty influence. I have now a bonus of three. I don't know if that means anything for my bloodline or anything else. Another ice clone. Another ice clone. If that does. That is true. That is true. Um, more pages. Cool, 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 cool. Your bloodline gets colder by twenty degrees. Okay. Um. So, let's do the next one. Uh with the plus 20 uh, for, for getting for the next mask, whatever. Um, uh, so 2d10. 
uh, 17, Jesus Christ, and another, another 20. Uh, and... <laughs> oh no! Oh no! What are you gonna do with all this? I don't know. I don't know, Matt. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You um, just want to fill the trinkets up, homie? Yeah, well, that's what we're gonna do right now because we just right, got one, um, 15 plus 6, 21 six. plus um, 58. 58 total. And that was just from you doing damage. Yeah, so that's 10 and 10, 11, 15. Uh, so, so I can use 1, 14, 11, that's 25, 26. I, uh, I can take 27 of it. Okay. Uh, no, yes, 27 of it, and then I'm full, uh, which leaves us with uh, 31 left. Um, do we want... To empower its trinkets? I mean, we could. Yeah, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Because they they're not they're not static. Um, they're I mean sorry, that static's not the right word there. They're not. They they're empower 20, by use. Twenty charges. Yeah. So. Um, so we're we're going yeah. to put five into each one of those four that's on that trinket. <laughs> okay, so, so that's seven. That's the seven fluidium left. Um. Oh. Can I try and I have Jolder's ghost, mm -hmm. like the fragments from it. I also have a couple of other things. Can I try and make a trinket real quick since I made the last one out how of about, How about ball? we empower the masks you've been using instead? That'll be tough. I would also uh, would that's going to require. That. To be careful, just draw shooting them up with red fluidium, not orange. I just feel like you've been using the blue mask a lot lately, and you've you been have. using that the takes red mask. orange fluidium, not red. Right. If you shoot these up with red, you're good. That's going to be interesting. So, how about one for each one of those? Uh, um. Well, I mean, like I'm saying, like he was saying, I don't know if that's safe. Right, yeah, these things use unleaded. You're putting premium octane in them. Yeah. So I have a couple of things that would be uh, easy to turn into trinkets. Okay. Uh, if you wanted to just dump a bunch of that into something as I try and make a trinket out of it, uh, we I, could definitely do that. Can we do it while in combat is the question. I don't see why not. It took me literally an action okay. to create Jolder's Trinket. That well, runs off light. light. No, it's, not a, it's not a face dealer trinket. Yeah. I'm not sure how they're crafted either. I mean, if given that, it might be better to just let it go. Let it go. Um... So let's just let that go into the ether. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll take two of them, though, to put okay. mine. The moment you let it go into an ether, it floats up, goes to dissipate, and then it gets pulled. Okay. By what, exactly? You're not sure. It all gets pulled gently, but it's, it's like a lodestone. It's almost like pulled by the cycle. other base dealer, isn't it? Maybe. All right. Which way is it going as it's being pulled? Uh, top right. Top right? So towards this face dealer here, maybe? Is it moving along this vector? No, that guy's dead. Oh, is he? Oh, he's super dead. He's a, he's a fucking popsicle. Just floating past oh, him. Okay. Okay. We can 
deal with that in the in, at a later date. <clears throat> okay. All of it, all the rest is go. Um, okay, so, then. Damn fine turn, Kuroko. So, um, <laughs> 80 stacks worth of, um, or 60 stacks worth of uh, uh, ice on that guy right now. Okay. Um, Constantine. Uh, crack of the whip. Pa! I mean, technically, he's within range, and that does does have a high hit. And it's a big creature. Forty total. So, depending mm-hmm. on if it's a ninety or not. Yeah. No, you'll hit it. That's right. It's a double double. All right. Fucking. This for bam. <coughs> We're fucking flat out. Lamilla. Cool. Um, I want to spend a half action to blink over here and leave the harpoon behind. Does it stick with you? Is the question. That's what I'm trying to find out. Because if I can, it's fuckery. a teleport. Yeah. Yeah. But it's fuckery. If I can just literally teleport away, uh, like it is embedded in the ground, you are not able to move to use escape actions or teleports okay. while you are okay. harpooned by this creature. So my ass stuck right here, no matter what. Yeah. Until All right. Harpooned. All right, motherfucker, you won't play that way. Yeah. Well, all right, no, that's cool. I mean, he's currently blind and suppressed. If he's suppressed, do his powers still work? Because generally speaking, that shit, that shit turns off. Trinkets working. Okay, got it. Understanding. That's has why he's not occurred. getting. That's why he's not getting inescapable. Okay, because that's, that's intrinsic why... to him. And then... Yeah, yeah. Basically, he's using items to to still apply, which is nice uh, because if it's a trinket that does this harpoon, I can take this shit. <laughs> oh god, I can have the calico. Oh my god! Imagine applying that to your um your your arrow you just did. Yeah, no, my void shot. No, I I would put that on a freaking a jacket or something. Never mind. Ludmilla probably wouldn't, but I want to. There's a uh, there's a game called Seventh Sea, and I saw the guy who literally, like the the original creator of the game, run a campaign for people. And one of the magic items he had was a calico coat, like a pirate captain would wear, and he could manifest a hook on a chain. And the person who originally had it could like snatch people up with it and shit. <laughs> Uh, and I've been so fucking jealous of it, and I have it in a as a as a an item in all of my campaigns just to see if somebody happens across it because it's just cool as shit. Um, but that's not really important to the here and now, is it? Sorry. It's okay. Um, I'm going to. Fuck it. Uh, I'm going to burn a fate point for 200% light. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to Nova Bomb him. Isn't What about the area of effect on the Nova Bomb? That's actually a good call. I'm not going to Nova Bomb him. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm already being a Night Stalker. Uh, let's go Way of the Wraith. Okay. Spectral motherfucking blades. So, um, you gonna move into him? <clears throat> um, I mean, we're right here. We're on each other. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm in blade range. It's melee attack, but it's it's yep. it's paracausal melee attack, so this should work well. Par- paracausal melee attacks, and I get like four of them in action. Mm-hmm. Do blade. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and I have two weapon wielder. Yep. Cut a, cut a bitch. Uh, all right. So, how much damage are these doing? Um, same as your uh, uh, your lucent blade. 
your your dawn bite. Oh, which was my willpower in damage in D10s? Yeah, willpower modifier in D10s times Six, four eight, now. Eight, 16, 24, 32 D10. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Two no, attacks let's do for half action for this. Okay. Uh, Fortunately, fuck. what the way the Wraith does do is it still allows you to make a move action, even if you make use both your turns. Cool. Uh, is that gonna uh, as attack? Is that gonna sidestep his? You don't get to go anywhere because harpoon's ability. No, it's still a movement thing. You have to be able to move. Okay. It's, you still can attack. Yeah, so. no. Um, so could I hit him with two light attacks and then a heavy attack on the other half action and deal double damage from the the normal attacks? Um, the for the remember the way of the wraith, the heavy attack actually is a restealth ability. Yeah, you can do damage, but it's not a heavy attack per se. Fair enough. Uh, unlike unlike Arc Strider, where it is a fucking slam. Uh, the way of the wraith, when you right click. It does a basic attack, but it restealths you. That's what it does. Cool, 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 um, cool, 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 cool. But your your best bet is just a fucking swing. Just yeah, just all right. So uh, yeet, 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 yeet. None of those uh, have exploding tens. God damn it! Good try though. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, so that's only two. Okay. Do you want uh, me to explode this the tins? lethal damage, but it has trinkets. It's been using two of them so far. The other two are survival trinkets. One of them kicks on. Unfortunately, it's equal to the amount of charges in it because it uses them all at once. I got you. Oh, no. Damn. It gets to remove a debuff per charge, heal, and and or add a buff per charge. So thoughts. What about my ice that's already on it? Is that considered a debuff? So would it be taking things from that as well? Uh, it could choose ice. Yeah, it could choose ice. There's a debuff. It would if it chooses all the, ice, the ice, would it, remove it would remove all, all of the ice. <laughs> Guys, a very I'm taking that trinket. All right, so... <laughs> It has 10 charges. First yep. thing it's going to do, remove all ice. Okay. So we'll type that. <sighs> okay. All right. Um, one. All ice. Two. Uh, move. Remove gravity. So it took away my tether. Three. Move tether. Okay. So it's taking Four. away all our debuffs. Heal all wounds. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> Five. Restore all shields. What? Six. So can I take away five from this thing right now? Uh, since you just gave me that one ability to take five away, yes, you could. You could be like, "Oops, no, don't do that." And then <laughs> you're like, no, "No, no, no, no!" <laughs> I think I need to do that with because uh, six was going to double all damage. Seven would be double all pen. Seven, yeah. eight would be get an additional turn. <laughs> Run, <laughs> Vic Transmet. <laughs> Um, the, uh, second survival trinket, um, kicks on, it removes all charges, um, but basically it, uh, for every charge, if, if it, it were to die, it pauses its health bar at one, and okay. then for every charge, um, it gains regen, Times 10 equal to the number of charges on it. Okay. For turns equal to the number of charges on it. Okay. So it's got 10 charges. So it gets 
100 regen, oh, regen per turn for 10 turns. It is now a raid boss. Four worse than that. Fortunately, Kuroko can steal another five from it. So it's yep. only 50 for five turns. Putting it back to what it would have been. But, right. uh, you know, you, I, this is very important information, though. Mm -hmm. Because trinkets have charges, but face stealers have the ability to use these charges differently. Right, because it's theirs. Yep. Um, so, so are we going to keep fighting this thing, or should we, like, leave and come back? I'm I'm in it right now. I won't be able to escape this thing. Um like it's got me pinned. If you guys want to run, run. <laughs> As you have seen, I have other characters I can bring. Right, but I so can't. So the third trinket is the harpoon one. Mm -hmm. Um they can use a charge to actively fire a harpoon to anchor one person permanently to it until either it or the person is dead. Okay. The fourth trinket is a no escape field. If you have done damage to this, you cannot leave farther than 50 squares. So let's let's go back to karma. How's karma working on this thing right now? <laughs> it's not. I haven't made it. I haven't passed my insight yes, test. Yes. He hasn't been able oh. to land it. Oh, okay. If there this... is a stir, the amount of energy that had left this thing trickled. <clears throat> you guys need to get out of the way for a whole nother reason. Somebody's hungry. Oh, lost soul. Okay, I got you, I got you. But top right, I remember it now. I remember what that was. So I need everyone to make me an influence test. Balls. 92. Any modifiers? Ooh, 11, nice. Nope. Holy shit, I actually passed. I was expecting more like your role, Kuroko. Can I give hope to um, to Shabane? And uh, to... You can have one person. Okay. One person. Uh, I will give it to... Uh... What's your influence right now, Allie? It's 13. Oh, oh, Constantine! Pass. I'll, I'll give it to you. Uh, I'll, I'll, um, survival, you're going to need it here. So I'll give it to through you. And uh, with you get a plus 10, plus um, 20, plus, uh, plus 25, you have to your influence. Nice. <laughs> I okay. it. Thank you. So I'm the only one that that failed this, by the way. That's fine. Um, you are far enough away that you will actually get the opportunity to dodge. Okay. Unfortunately, it is an inescapable roll. Okay. It was pretty average. Pretty average. So I need you to do me a dodge at a minus 60. Minus 60, you say. And I pass. Okay. Look at that. In Black Orb, it raises a scepter. Like a casting uh, scepter. And a black orb floats up out of it. And like a fucking sunshot slices through this thing. Killing it instantly. <laughs> Boss music gone. <laughs> yep. And uh, that's why we don't deal with the, uh, you know, the lost soul. All of the. Uh, you can grab five Kuroko without it noticing, but all of that fluidium is going to flow to that that creature. It doesn't particularly care about what's on it, though. The sunshot, unfortunately, was does enough significant damage that it has the opportunity to destroy all of the items on it. So luck here. Okay, yeah, yeah. 
the influence test allowed you to temporally sidestep it. So, um, everyone, uh, you get to roll a luck test to see what came away. Uh, um, for you specifically, Ludmilla, no matter what, yeah, pass or fail. Hmm? The whole trinket belt. I'm going to snatch the trinket belt when it uh, cuts this thing in half. Well, not necessarily the trinket belt. You get you get to roll luck on each item. Oh, that's nice. So each trinket, you get to roll luck on each uh, grouping of masks. If it's a colored mask, you have to roll for each individual one. If you want to roll for white masks, it's groupings of 100. Um, and there's a couple other things. So you may use a bonus action now. To swap to your orange mask. That would be wise, yes. Okay. As I'm like, so you are guaranteed, Ludmilla, to get the spear trinket because it's embedded in your chest. Hey, okay. I'll take it. Okay. We'll first start with Shamane. What would you like? From this creature. There are some interesting things. The bell actually is a thing. Something like a that would bell. be not necessarily. It's a it's not a trinket, it's an item made of fluidium. Um there's the bell, there's the masks. There's the colored masks, there's the trinkets. I'm split between trying to get the green mask or just like a bunch of white masks. Grab the green one. It, it, they, they usually have a specific beneficial utility effect. Or maybe I want the bell because you were suggesting it to me. I don't know. They are basic white masks, but they're, you get a hundred per pass on the the. Um... And um, we know we need masks to get in here. We're probably going to need masks to get into other places too. But mm -hmm. one of us is going to have to grab some white masks. Well, I get to, I get to fast hand Luke this shit and try and grab a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'll I'll lay I'll lunge for the white masks. You guys try and get the other shit. Everyone gets to have um uh, well you have two hands. So you have two hands, you can grab two things per person. <laughs> okay, I'll try and grab the green mask and some white masks. Okay. These roll luck on both. Um what about her trinket for um reducing bad luck? What does this do? Not sorry, you're not trinket. Her talisman for is it? Does it give like a a plus ten to it or something? Or I think mm -hmm. I did have a lucky talisman. Um, Matt's tal. Uh, sorry, not Matt's. Shamane's talisman that uh, reduces bad luck. Does, is this coming in account here, or what would that do? <laughs> it give you a plus ten. Okay. Okay. Oh. So I'll just roll, and we'll add that later. No, you. You you add it retroactively. It increase it basically. You have to roll sixty or <laughs> six zero. So okay. well, I'm going to go for the bell. Actually, is what I'm going to go for. Okay. So I'll roll. Shamane, you grab yeah. yourself a green mask. Nice. And a hundred white masks. Oh. They're basics. They're basic ones, but they're full white masks. That's good. I like. No that. features though. They're 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 basically perfectly oblong and smooth with two eye holes, but that's a hundred of them. Yeah, that's more than I invest. That I got I got a good return on my investment. Mm hmm. Um, each white mask, since an average person has a maximum of ten fluidium in them, a full white mask means each one of those has ten orange fluidium in them. Which is more than your um, ma uh, white mask of solidarity. So you got a significant upgrade. So if you have a hundred and each one has ten, you have a thousand orange fluidium. 
It's beautiful. It's a lot. Heavy, though. I'll just stick... Um, the whole oh, belt weighs 20 pounds. Okay, well, that's... Hmm. But you, you can sling it over your shoulder. It's fine. I'll put, I'll put it in my bag for now. Mm-hmm. Okay, Shamane, you got some stuff. Um, Constantine is going to try and grab the blue mask. And wait, 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 wait! Shouldn't it be double? If it's a plus ten, or unless unless it's just a plus five, then I take it back. It's probably just a plus five. Um, the trinket, right? If it was double than 10, then it would be 20, but I think it's only a plus 5 here, which is doubling to be 10, so I, I apologize to getting excited there. And then uh, he will grab one of the trinkets for you, Folly. So says on Trinket of uh, I think Folly would have been fine. Alex he should have just got himself a mask. Alex oh, the imagery much of this thing no. just like uh, exploding into <clears throat> nothing. We're just like, oh shit, and then we all scramble to get <laughs> shit off of it. Before it all uh, you said I already got the harpoon trinket, uh mm -hmm. DM. I know. That's why I'm putting it in there. Oh, okay. Um, so you're listing all the successes down. Okay. All right, there's two trinkets left, the bell, 200 white masks, and uh, a couple of trinkets. Yep. Do I have a chance to get something else, or was the bell like a two-handed item? Uh, no. It's a, it's, you can get one, one other thing. So, go so ahead and roll. with my... Um, I'm going to roll first for, for luck. Um, and then I'm gonna. I'm using my mask's ability to see which each one in the mire. Um, there was a, another type of mask in there. Um, is there a, one of the ones that were on his face? The nine. Like, what was there? What was another oh, one there? Oh, you want to grab a face dealer's face? Okay. Cool. This will be a toughie. Okay. You get the bell. Yep. Thirty-eight. It's going to be a twenty or less to pull a face dealer's face. Because that shit's gonna go. <laughs> oh god, oh my god. god! Good job. It comes yeah. off with a slurp. It's <laughs> you cut it so tight between the blast, yeah, <laughs> and getting your fingers on it. It, it. You don't even do anything. It just you don't even pull it. The whole thing just slides off as it dies. Okay, that's that's what you get. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. I'm proud of you. You've been having a good session tonight. I think so too. <laughs> My good luck wore off on you. Oh, thank you, babe. Um. And that's why I get shoulder rubs. So. <laughs> okay. Um, you can grab two trinkets, uh, a trinket and the blue mask, or some white masks. Holly. Oh, is it my turn to pick stuff? Yes. Yeah. The only things that are left are two belts of 100 white masks, the blue mask, and then the trinket of no escape, or, and the um, trinket of pyretic rebirth. Right, hold on. Give me that shit again. There's two trinkets, the blue mask, uh -huh. or two sets of 100 white masks to grab left. Okay, and 
And I can and I can cool hand Luke this shit and try and grab a bunch of them. Two. You get one per hand. Okay. Can you have I orange mask on so you get a lot of rerolls. Can I try and have Vic grab something as well? Yes, but he doesn't get he gets to try and one grab one thing. He can't grab the belts, they're too big. Okay. He, uh, and uh, he only gets 40 or less, and he can't inherit any of your orange rerolls. Ah, uh, that sucks. All he right. Dexterous is you, but he can try and um, try and float off of one of the. Um, the tr- he can try and float off one of the trinkets. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have him aim for one of the trinkets. No. Uh, he is not dexterous and nimble enough to pull it. Damn. Oh, you were going to roll for him. Okay. All right. Uh, then I guess I'm going for the trinkets. I don't know if the blue mask is better than what I have. You'll never know. Nope. So I get it. I mean, I could tell, but I'm, I'm for just... But you're bailing. Yeah. <laughs> I was busy, sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh... All right, let me let's roll them two d hundred. Nice, you got it. I think I got them both. You did. Um, um, all the white masks and the blue mask turn into raw fluidium and flow to the creature. Kuroko, quick, fill these up. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, you know this creature. I only have five. Packed. I only have five you, to you send. Can only over. grab five safely. If you grab more than yeah. that, you might piss this thing off. So I'll send five to one of your trinkets. Choose, and I will. I'll put it in there. Okay. Uh, I can also spend it evenly if you want. Like I can do one, 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 and then an extra one. An no, extra. I mean all the all the other trinkets that I have are full. I mean, out of the four we got, those four were. Sorry, two survival ones were used all, right? Yeah. I think the no escape trinket was almost full too, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. It didn't get um, very used. Okay, so that means that means <coughs> the two survival ones. I could put five into either one of those. Um, let's go with the piratical rebirth one. Okay, just chucked five in there. And okay. Uh, all right. Okay, so we go over the har- we go over the trinkets. The harpoon one is a a little keychain with a shackle on one end and a harpoon on the other, and there's this chain that connects them. What it does is, if someone is within Three meters. You write it down. All right. Yes. Within target. A within. target within three meters. Use trinkets to fire a uh, harpoon at target. Uh, uses BS yes, uh, and applies on hit abilities. I'm going to go lay down. Any? Yeah, it's time. <laughs> oh. Come on, guys. We have a daring escape now. That thing's coming for our booties. It'll be fine. Uh, applies. Uh, and this one's out of 10, right? The harpoon? Yeah. It's got, it's a, it, it's got a 10. It's a 10 charge. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Uh... 
Okay. Well, I'm really glad I, I picked up that Geist before um, we did this. Right. Right. Because that just uh, that changed everything. Damn, this harpoon one is almost worth it on its own. Um, because if I can, depending on uh, what innate abilities I develop, I can do all kinds of tricksy shit. But the uh, the d tens of damage equal to my strength bonus is fucking hefty. What's your strength bonus at now? Four? What's that? What's your strength bonus at now? Four? Um, 40 strength? Uh, I believe it's a 30. Um, okay, so no, 10. it should be a 40. Or did you take the strength stat? I, I took the strength. Then it's the 30. Yeah. But still, 3d10 is nice. Yeah. I mean, just 3d10 that I can yeet at somebody as like a bonus action or some shit. Mm -hmm. No, no, um, it, it doesn't matter. You can. It doesn't require an action. It's any targets within a three meter. Radius. Oh shit! That means that I can fucking snatch up every fucking buddy. Yeah, you can jump in a group of eight people and be like, everyone gets one. <laughs> it does come out of beneath your rib cage, though. Uh, okay. It's really weird. You'll literally be having chains in between your ribs to attach um, onto people, and it's attached to some sort of thing in your body. Uh, maybe your spine? I don't know. It sounds itchy. I mean, a little bit, yeah. But it also sounds cold. Like, imagine it like a chain wrapped around your, your spine, and that shit's going to be room temperature. I'll be like, Kuroko, and I'll pull my shirt up halfway and be like, warm my chains up. <laughs> oh, fuck. Take the cold away. It's so cold, Mr. Stark. <laughs> okay. Um, mighty dm -ly one, since it appears that other people uh, comprised of weak flesh wish to depart for the safety and warmth of their sleeping platforms, do we want to uh, evacuate the area and then... Uh, oh, no, if, you, if you guys aren't ready to play for more, we're stopping here, because th this is not over. Getting out is going to be just as hard. I figure as much. Yeah, um, yeah, Matt. It's it's like what almost two in the morning there too, and you have work tomorrow. So I'm not gonna force that on you anymore. Yeah. So you guys go to bed. I'm gonna start typing shit. What a session, boys. Oh. That's pretty fucking wild. Ah uh, man. The merit though, you're gonna get some hefty merit. Well, learned a lot of stuff. That's for sure. You did. Mm -hmm. Johnny, you're um, becoming a face stealer. <laughs> Which is bullshit! <laughs> like, how are you the one acquiring all the cool face stealer powers and I'm the one that actually uses them? Oh, fuck. Well, maybe if you try using this you're, face stealer you're face... The, you're, the, yeah. uh, you're not a stealer of faces, you're a wearer of faces. Uh, <sighs> in tandem, we must operate. And Shamane is just an enabler. <laughs> oh, in the worst way. Can I'm bored. Let me hit this vague, vaguely magical symbol with my vague, vaguely magical sword. Clonk. Oh, look, something happened. Mm -hmm. So, well, um, uh, Johnny. Uh, yeah. I, uh, I got a one I really wanted to, and then I got another one out of fucking nowhere, and I was like, holy shit. <laughs> 
Like this, you this got stuff. two ones on influence roles, like critical yep. influence roles, and I'm just screaming on the inside, like, no, <laughs> let me have that, let me murder them. <laughs> oh, I was fully prepared before this bitch kill stealed us. I was fully prepared to stand here and be like, y'all can run if you want. <laughs> I ain't leaving. <laughs> No, that's the that's the that's the problem. If you start doing significant things and other entities catch on, they are going to kill steal and they are going to rob you of stuff. It could be very beneficial, or you can be like, really, fuck. Really, I really would have liked to carve that harpoon out of your body and seen what happened. I mean, I'd had a hole in my chest. It would have been a bad, it'd have but, been a nasty fucking hole. But I could have used my mask power. I don't think you understand power. how big that harpoon is. <laughs> yeah, no, I figured I, that thing was like at least eight inches thick. I've got that mask power that lets me do healing instead of harm for one. Uh, it is a whaling harpoon. <laughs> <laughs> That's it would have been a lot of healing. A whaling harpoon, funny enough. It isn't all that girthy. It's about three inches around, which is still a fucking lot to get shoved through your torso. But it's more about the fact that three quarters of it is covered in cork wood and it's barbed to fuck. Right. That's why it's not coming out. It's for a whale to, to submerge. And it never fucking leaves the body. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure my mask power did not specify excluding whale and harpoons. No, it, it, you would have, you'd have been, you'd have been. You oh, that's right. You'd have just ripped it out and be could, like, you get healed instead. Ripped it out, <laughs> like regen by the power of rock. <laughs> that would have been, been a lot of fun. <laughs> and um, I've been like, ah, wait, what? I haven't it hurts. Used that power I yet either. Wait, what you're not down? Experiment. Okay. <laughs> Guardian <laughs> is fine. Okay, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's that. Um, um, I'm going to privately type to you what the bell and that mask does. Johnny. Cool. Cause, um, You're not going to give those to fucking... <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to give those to Folly when you realize what they do. You're I've already given... Like this. <laughs> I gave you that orange one, and I was like, "Damn, I should have." I even though the boons actually, know what? Never mind. Those boons were worth it in the end, but it was just like, "Oh fuck." Well, the thing is, is that he had to specify that Vic couldn't inherit my orange rerolls because I can yeah. use no those one, for all of you no guys. No one can inherit. No one can inherit the orange rerolls. No one. Yeah, that, that's only that's good the information. Wearer gets, only yeah. the wearer gets to use them, but the bypass on it is you get to retry a roll as many times as there are stacks on it. That's even after fate points. Oof. So if you want to try eight times on a roll, fuck it. Problem is, is you can't pass these rolls on. I'm just, um, I'm just so mad that I burned that fucking fate point. Perma burned that fate point so that I could like throw down with this thing and then got fucking kills... Kill stole. Uh, yeah, that sucks. At the back end, because it was fucking worthless. It was like shit. Well, no, you. I thought we. You. You burn the fate point for two hundred light charge, right? Yeah, Alton yeah. with the, with the and spectral Alton. blades caused it to go into survival mode, and then after it used all that fluidium, it got. No, the problem know. is you guys have been roasted. He he yeah. no longer was affected by any of the debuffs. Yep. Um, and I'm glad there was debuffs on it because otherwise they would have all been buffs. And uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. the piratic victory um that one's gonna be one of your strongest is it piratic or pyric pyric victory okay because i had it written that as piratic victory it was like this is gonna be awesome <laughs> no no pyric basically okay um, yeah no nah, i know well yeah pyric Re pyric rebirth pyric rebirth how the fuck you pronounce that um, well, that's the one that uh, freezes uh, wounds at one when lethally injured 
uh, heal. It doesn't heal you to full. It gives you regeneration. Return. Uh, regen uh, times 10 per charge is spent. You don't get to choose how many are spent. It uses all of them at once. Spent. Mm -hmm. Uh, Spends all charges in trinket when procked. Uh, and this one has this one's empty, right? No, this is I'll put the five out of ten in this one. Because that shit's um, <laughs> that shit's useful. <laughs> um, basically, um. Actually, uh, put, that oh, that right. specific yes. one is a uh, a barbed wire wreath with an actual flame, a little tiny kindled flame inside the barbed wire wreath, and a skeletal hand charred and burned reaching up out of the flames. Barbed wire wreath, uh, kindled it's, flame it's the size of a still, the, 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 the circle's the size of a silver charred dollar. hand in middle okay um, so the, barbed wire wreath kindled flame held by charred hand in middle the uh no escape trinket um <coughs> that one is just a rail spike on a chief chain like a, a rail uh, a railroad spike i feel that i do it's a, it's a rusty one real men baby yeah. Um. The, probably the best one of them all, which has a very critical condition, which is hard to use, but not with Pyric Victory. That is the one that it used to. Uh, reverse fortunes. Um, this one, one is a. This one's called Last Chance Reversal, and oh, it is a Memento Mori on a keychain. It is a coin with a skull and crossbones, one on each side. It's black, and the eyes ha are this pulsing red, and they glow brighter the amount of charges you have in the thing. Um, it only applies if you have one HP. Eyes glow uh, brighter. Eyes glow brighter as it holds charge. more charges. Uh, only works at one wound. Mm -hmm. Bam. It uses all charges at once. It allows you to fully heal, add a buff, or remove a debuff for each charge. Uh, well, no, it's more than that. Um, there's a lot of options. You can remove one debuff. And all of one beat up. Like, I had yeah, 60 is... stacks on that guy, and he's yeah. like, no. <laughs> uh, potential uses. Remove <coughs> of all uh, one uh, type uh, of debuff. Heal to full. Double all damage for your next turn. Uh, Double all pen for your next turn. Store all shields. For sure, all shields. Oh, yeah. Restore all armor. Uh, Double all pen and shield pen. Uh, 
next turn. Gain one additional uh, action. Well, full action next turn. Double damage. I have it all written down. Are you just writing your notebook? I'm guessing. For winter and return. Uh, oh, I'm writing everything down. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. Problem is, is, you cannot finagle the one HP, and the moment you hit one HP, it activates whether you like sure. it or not. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And it uses all the charges, whether you like it or not. Auto. Activates at one. So, unfortunately, if you ever just get one sniped by anything, you survive. You go to one HP because of Pyric Victory. It auto kicks. You get all those charges you use instantly. And reversal, last chance reversal kicks instantly. And you just use two trinkets out of nowhere. That's one of the downsides. Like. And, but, uses all the charges. and bear with me on this. <laughs> it keeps me from being to dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, like, no, these these are very if powerful. Something can, if something can one tap me like that, then it probably is going to kill me regardless of my ghost. Well, that's the, that's the that's the beauty of that. You 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 have trinkets now that go. Oh no, um, that's not how that works. We're gonna try this again. And that's the power of trinkets. I'm gonna I'm gonna see about making a power with trait retention or morphing trait retention and my conflicts power. That'll let me just turn a mask into a trinket and get the effects of a mask. Don't you need to do the whole person, not just the mask? Mm, trinkets are actually... How they are made is a secret. So They're pulled from people with heroic natures. Yeah. Like, like th this is something that defined a person is how this thing works. It, 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 and, and was pulled out of them. Like Jolder's Maul. How that method is done... Is a mystery, correct? Is, is yeah. the key of that because I mean, Johnny could end up figuring out how to do that. Maybe mm -hmm. he goes and does that very same thing when you kill a face stealer, just <laughs> to turn or, that or, into oh, a trigger yeah. instead. Yeah, face stealer face mask. Holy shit balls. <laughs> well, you're, you're like, You steal my face? No, I steal your face. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Like holy shit. Oh man. But seriously, um Shamane. Thoughts. We need them. I think Shamane's in, in bed. Yeah. <laughs> Alternative thoughts. <laughs> um now here's the thing. Could she make a talisman that was an empty vessel for fluidium? No. Talismans are not strong then, enough. You would have to have some sort of artifact. Yeah, the like, only reason I can uh, even do this is because I have a level zero mask that had a that had one big eye. It was like he has a level <laughs> zero mask, by the way. Yeah, we gave two of those away like dummies. I I was very adamant on what I told you. I was like, "Are you sure?" No, you were absolutely 100,000% <laughs> correct. <laughs> but, you know, oh, you we know couldn't what? have used them. It, yeah. Besides, with, with it set up this way, you have the ability to keep acquiring wraiths yeah. or geists. And we don't have to split that power acquired by those geists with anybody mm -hmm. else in the party. We well, have independent I means of powering up. One of my biggest things with this guy's mask too is the ability to store ghosts and then bring those spirits back to the reincarnation cycle. So this is going to be this is going to be nice. I mean, you can now direct transfer them to your hell corridor. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
So when you say hell corridor, do you literally just have a hallway in hell that's part of your domain now? Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a door. He opens it up. It, it's an ice crack in reality, and he steps in, and it's like a corridor of, well, frozen hell. I'm gonna have, gonna have to get my domain up. Spinor. Well, yeah, no, this is the thing. Was it was literally. This is literally a thing that Ludmilla had, and she's looking at you having it, and she's like, I miss mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a corridor. Like... It's like a arched hallway with pillars and that, whatnot. It's not really... like There's no room other than the corridor. There's no throne. There's no like chamber. It's just a corridor, and it has an ending to it. It's not very long. It's only 100 meters. Yeah. But again, that could expand. And this is kind of a space lost between spaces of hell. Because, you know, hell mm-hmm. has a lot of roads in and out of it. It's <clears throat> one of those fucking frozen ones. So anything going in there is going to be a chilly motherfucker. And uh, this guy's just like in there. That spirit, he's just just chilling. <laughs> no, no, he's, he's literally chilling, pun intended. I know. <laughs> Like you literally just stuck him to a wall and he stuck there like a moron who licked a pole in winter. It's more of Mab decided to turn you into an ice sculpture. I mean, don't even joke about that shit. 